Hello, hello everyone. Can you still hear us? Can you still hear us? They can see your... <laughs> you see nothing. They can see your captions. You see nothing. Oh, they can see our captions. They can see nothing. They can see nothing. <laughs> oh, Kana can't see these captions right now. <laughs> you, should, you should advertise him or something. Just <laughs> just give oh, Ohana yeah, I should do that. captions. I should do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be sure to follow Always X Ohana on Twitch and make sure to like and subscribe all his videos. Subscribe. 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 <laughs> subscribe. 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 Don't forget to smash that messenger. like button. <laughs> subscribe, 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 subscribe. 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 <laughs> I wonder if he knows what's going on. Like, I, I don't have his volume. I don't think he does. I, I really love that it's. I don't have up. his volume. Up. Hi. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, hello. 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 We were just playing uh, with the captions. Yeah, we we're looking. <laughs> yeah, I, I figured as much. People love to do that. <laughs> yeah, we we're looking at your screen. I was like, huh. Hmm, there's a lot of subscribing going on right under there. Mm -hmm. Yo, big deal! What's going on? What in the sussy baka is this? Yep, yep, yeah. I like the, I like the, the captioning a lot. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna switch over to the collab screen so that we can actually see all of the 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 captioning and not just she knows. <laughs> that's because I'm just yelling out. Ooh, that's fancy. Fancy. Hold on, I gotta pause that music in the background and then turn on the very gay Dream Daddy music. <laughs> it's <laughs> fabulous. What are you talking about? It's so fabulous. I love it. It's good. All right, let's see if I can do my last shout out. How are you guys doing? Hello. We're doing well. How are you? Doing great. How are you? I'm okay. I just woke up like three hours ago. <laughs> Fair. That's, that's fun. I'm glad you're feeling better after I know. the sickness. Right. Yeah, I'm glad I'm feeling better too. That cough was really freaking annoying. Oh yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> Shar, how are you doing? I'm alright. Did I'm you also just wake up? Because it was supposed to be like one o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> no, really not. I've been up for a little bit, but I was just kind of like dream daddy. Uh, it's a dating stuff this morning and editing, and then I was like, huh? We're, we're... I should probably like check my my DMs. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my. Oh, I'm glad you got to check PNGs your DMs. Today. Look, uh, yeah, I don't know. I got, I'm glad you did. I got invited I'm to it and I said yes. PNG so PNG. that's how it's going to be. <laughs> yes, I'm excited. I like seeing your PNG tuber. It's, it's cute. It's so cute. It I is love super cute. <laughs> I and I love the sweater it's dress, just, uh, possibly. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, hey. Okay. Let's go, big daddies. No, what the heck? Right, I just want to do a check. Um, are you guys able to hear the people on Discord well? I need to like lower Dream Daddy on my end because it's all I could hear. <laughs> it is all I could hear. Dream Daddy. Oh, does OBS not no, want any of this? I think oh no! I'm gonna lower. You're right. Everything's going bonkers. I'm sorry. Just quite a bit on OBS. OBS. You guys are peaking. You guys are peaking a little bit. And I think oh, I'm gonna have to raise Shino's voice a little bit. Oh, hello, baby. Drink plenty of water. Th hydrate, everybody. This is true. That's mm -hmm. the dream That's daddy the, tip. That is the dream daddy tip. You're right. We're gonna need it. Yes, everybody hydrate. I have uh, four bottles of water right next to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. I paid points. Oh. The streamers must do the thing. I don't know what the heck. <laughs> do the thing. Drink the water. There you go. I, I, do, I do need that. I do need it. It is refreshing after, especially if you, you stream for a while and you don't remember to drink. And then once yeah. you get that first drink, I was like, oh, geez, my, uh, my throat. Especially mm. these read heavy games, Merlin. For when y'all get thirsty, yes, mm, mm. exactly. Yes, exactly. 
I'm gonna get thirsty a lot, I'm sure. Well, I mean, there's a lot of oh, daddies yeah. here, <laughs> so. Fun fact, fun fact, actually. So I have started this game before. Really? Um, once before with Maluna. <gasps> um, exactly <laughs> one year ago today. Oh um, yeah. Yeah, when I was when I was making the advertisement this time around, I used the advertisement I had with with Luna mm -hmm. from last year, and I looked at the date. It's exact. It was exactly today. No way. Nice. Um, easy um, editing. Yeah. So uh, Luna and I played this exactly one year ago today. It's really funny. Yeah. Right. Um, it's animated. Yes. <laughs> like what a coincidence. Yeah, we we didn't finish it. We didn't get to finish it. It was so much reading. Yeah, that yeah. I think after a few hours we were like, okay, yeah, what kind of yeah thing? for two people? I'm, I'm sure <laughs> I was it's like tough. I uh, yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah, like I still don't think we'll necessarily finish it. We'll probably get further though than we did, and it'll be a lot less workload. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Definitely. Faith in ourselves. Um. So finish. I'm. Think <laughs> yeah so i'm thinking what we'll do is we'll start in a second um and maybe at about the two hour mark we'll take a quick break yeah um mm -hmm. just to make sure everyone everyone's doing well and you know no one's losing their voice or anything oh, no. Sounds good to me. <laughs> absolutely <laughs> but thank you guys for joining me today i'm excited i really wanted to do a collab this month so i'm glad i'm glad i got it in no happy yeah, pride. Thank, thank you for inviting us happy my goodness pride, everybody yeah um <laughs> does anyone else here is like static no mm. i'm trying to figure out whether or not that's my end or yeah if you is guys it don't know are talking or i have it... two new uh, animated it's mostly emotes. when people are talking talking morbid mm. hello how are you doing maybe it's my headset hold on one moment mm, i can talk more Eat plenty of carbs the night before a big game. Oh, I hear the static when she yeah. talks. Is it with me? Why me? Okay. <laughs> oh, do you guys hear it too? I, I hear it when Sheena stuff. talks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so it is. It, it's coming from Sheena. Oh. I don't hear it from. Yeah, I think it's. Okay. Okay. Let me. Just think. Sorry, but... No, 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 no. It's, it's it's all good. <laughs> hold, on, hold on. Let me let me change do things. Dream dad. Hey, please work. Thank you so much for the like. I really appreciate you. Let me get a shout out for Kate. All right, I'm testing. Right, I'm testing. Testing one, testing two. one, two. Hello. Hello. Um, it's still there. No, Dream Daddy. Oh. Um, are the people on your stream able to hear it? I don't know. You guys, what do you guys think? Can you hear me okay? Am I a little too pitchy? Um, any staticky? So you sound crisp on your stream, but yeah, it just seems to be through Discord. It's Discord. Hold on, let me jump back into the. Let me hop out and jump back in. That's probably. Discord's being a bug. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, there's definitely an audio issue. Okay, people on my stream could hear it. Okay. Which makes sense. No. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> like a ninja. He's back. Huh? Like uh, you want to try talking? All right. Uh, What do you want me to say? Uh, Still anything. a little bit. I don't think it's anything... Yeah, it's, yeah. it's just a tiny bit. It's just a tiny bit. Dream I Daddy, Dad Director Cut. Good tire pressure is essential to optimal mileage. Anything? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a very tiny bit. Maybe we'll be fine. If it gets yeah. bad, we know. can deal with it. <laughs> yeah, we can deal with that. Yeah, I remember you playing this game last year. Yeah, I'm excited <laughs> to get back into it. We're gonna start. We're gonna start over, obviously. Yeah. Um. So we it's get we get to make a new ending. daddy. I'm very excited. Ooh. Are you guys ready to make a new daddy? Yes. Born ready. All right. Let's start then. How do we play? All right. So we we um. It's it, it's an audio novel. So we get to create our character. Um. He is a single dad. He has a daughter. 
Um, and he is just waking up. Um, but they are they are they are moving into a new neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think they're on a cul-de-sac. Is that what it's called? Yeah, um, I think so. Um, and on that cul-de-sac, there's a bunch of other single daddies. <laughs> um, and I th- I don't know. I think we got to catch them all like Pokemon. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. We got to like talk to them all. It's like a dating sim. We got to like talk huh. to them all, get to know them, probably like have one you know, as like our dream daddy, mm-hmm. you know, that we pursue. One, two, three, uh, four. One true daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I say let's go for all of them. Ooh, is that an you option? You can never have enough never... daddies. Hmm. Yeah, you could probably run a whole run to... <laughs> uh, yeah, I think you could date around for sure. <laughs> so, but let's let's find out. Let's find out. We didn't get... Maluna and I didn't get too far into it, so... No. I think we get, like, what, three hours in and it's, like, five hours, six hours later? Yeah, probably something like that. Yeah. So, all right. Thank you for snoring. You're welcome. Wait, who's Amanda? Be the daughter. I can take Amanda. Dad. Dad, wake up. <laughs> Wait, these are our options. <laughs> yeah. No. Pretend to be dead. Yeah, I like the new dead part. <laughs> Pretend to be dead. I let my tongue roll out of my mouth and stop breathing. Oh, God. <laughs> Amanda shakes me. Come on, Dad. This hasn't worked on me since I was six. I'm sorry, Amanda. This is the end for me. <laughs> Dad, I swear to God. A- Amanda, I bequeath to you all of my earthly possessions. Spread my ashes over my recliner. Okay, well, your corpse better get into the moving van because it's leaving soon. (laughs) I finally open my eyes and sit up. I'm lying in the middle of the living room, spooning a moving box. I yawn (laughs) and stretch. Morning, Manda Panda. Yikes, dad, breathe. (laughs) Yikes, dad, breath. (laughs) Go brush your teeth. Forty-five. Do what you love, and the money will come. Build that dad. <laughs> oh God! You finished organizing your puzzle. That's awesome, Nixus. Hey. All right. So, what are we feeling? Ooh. Hmm. Oh my God, Dad bought Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> um. We got we got some trans options too. Well, that's fun. Hmm. My personal, are we looking, do we want to look or how, what we're attracted to? Are we wanting to be attracted to ourselves? This is how we're going to look. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my question is, do we want to be attracted to ourselves or what do we want to be our average type? I mean, self-love. I I like being attracted to myself. Self-love is always important. All right, all right. Should I set up an intro up to hurt us? What? Yes, Rose. Good thing you're here. Try threatening her community. I love it. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Uh, sorry, what were you saying, Maluda? <laughs> My votes on the like furthest left, the two that are there on top of each other. Those two. The you're one I'm on? on? Yeah, the one you're on and the one at the bottom. Those are like my two votes. Uh, yeah, bottom left is my vote. That's my mm. that's my body type. Alright, alright. Mm. How about you, Shino? Mm, bottom left. Bottom yep. left. All right. Oh, I'm, I'm going to go for yes. bottom left. Nice. Nice. That's a right. Right. Let's go. How about skin color? I do not mind. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, that I don't really have much of an opinion on. Mm. What are we feeling? I'm going to go with what I like the most. Mm, go for it. In terms of like what looks realistic to me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Pretty, Nixus. Pretty, pretty. Ohana Bot saying, drink water. Everybody drink water. Hello, Davo. I was about to read what you said. Daddy. I'm not about to call you that. Daddy. <laughs> Daddy. Are we going to call Daddy. everybody in chat Daddy? <laughs> yeah, Hello, Daddy. Everybody's Daddy today. Hello, Daddy. 
You can't clip it. It's on my face today. <laughs> you can't simp for others if you don't first simp for yourself. Period. That is true. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna go for this. I think this is the glass. I think this is the color I went with last time too. Hot. I like it. Do we want body hair? Yes. Yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah, yep. I like body hair. Ooh, Does anyone have a preference on head? Oh, um, well. <laughs> oh, you're talking about, oh, you're talking about the body part. Oh, my bad. Oh, geez. I was like, oh, uh, <laughs> oh let's, uh, let's rephrase that. <laughs> Whoa. I said what I said. <laughs> this turned into a very different stream. No, this turned out to the, the stream that we knew was going to happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Drinking a hydration drink just as good as water, period. That one's nice. The triangle head? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one I kind of keep going back to. Yeah. I think I like triangle head. Cool. Do we want a five o'clock shadow? Yes, man makeup. Thank you. <laughs> Go for it. Man makeup. Man makeup. Uh, That's basically what it is. Uh, what kind of hair do we want? Long, short. Mm. Goku. Oh my god, there's a Goku. <laughs> 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 no way. No. I am Fortnite flashbacks. He's, <laughs> he's gone even further beyond. No, 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 Rose. We are building. This is us. We are going to be dating all of the dads. We gotta look good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we gotta look good. Do you allow links, Ohana? Do I have links for uh, for chat? Do you allow links? Oh yeah, I allow links. Yeah. Oof. No way! What did you clip already? Oh, it's for the head. Ah. Uh <laughs> nice. I love it. <laughs> oh, you know that's actually that works perfectly with my new sound command, actually. Or didn't hear it. Yeah, I know you guys have it muted, but chat just heard mm -hmm. it. Novel likes Novel the Goku, the Goku hair. hair. No, not the Goku <laughs> hair. <laughs> <laughs> horrible flashbacks. But it's great hair. It, it, I know. It's fine it's... until you get murdered by Goku's every single Fortnite match. <laughs> oh, no. What? You don't want Goku hitting oh. that gritty? What? It's 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 Goku's, it's the bananas, and it's the Christmas people. I always oh. get murdered by those. <laughs> Rose, Rose, we're working on it. I like Rose? the swoopy doop hair. I like I like personally the like far right one, the the K-pop boy one? band hair. Oh yeah. my god, that does or the look one like below it. <laughs> uh, do we want a color um specific color? We like colored hair. I do like colored hair. Yeah, it's it's bright red look like. I just want to see it. I know we probably won't choose it, but I want to see bright red. Mm. This one? Yeah. I'm mm. a redhead fan. Interesting. I like redhead. I'm, I'm open to whatever you guys like. Oh, yeah, all these colors look really good, though. This. <laughs> this I red might work better with his skin color. I like it. Yeah, nice, like a nice auburn. Mm -hmm. It's nice. It's nice. I'm, th I'm thinking we go with this one, maybe. Mm -hmm. All right. I agree. Rose says that we're ugly. By the way, we're not done yet. Yeah. <laughs> right. We could give him some nice hard eyes. <gasps> Do we have anime eyes? Yeah, some good anime looking eyes. Yeah, we got the space warrior eyes. We also got some snake eyes. Prince Zuko eyes up there. Oh, oof, that's rough, buddy. I watch an avatar oh my god! Who <laughs> are those eyes? <laughs> oh my god, the pretty, pretty anime eyes. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Space warrior eyes. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like any of them. <laughs> I don't, I'm not a huge fan of any of them. I kind of even enjoyed the like weird squinty one. Not weird. This third, one. Third two. Like that one's that one's kind of sultry. I don't mind that one. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't like that one either. Mm. That one is pretty yeah, funny. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. Whichever, whichever. Let's go with that one. I like that one a lot. It seems right. to fit. Prince Zuko eyes. Let's go. Prince I'm a fan of uh, a dark skinned man with light eyes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why so feisty, Rose? That's just fully the Goku eyes, the Space Warrior eyes, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with the green. I like it. Nice. I like it. Uh, Ooh. We get to pick the nose. We're we gonna get a big old schnoz. Oh, is this a broken nose? I don't have a preference. Does anyone have a preference? No. Um. A small. Maybe nose. a small snub nose. Yeah. yeah just in okay. case. Fine. We gotta give them some DSLs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hana, please. Whoa. Luxury flips. <laughs> Got some lip filler. Why is this time now? <laughs> Oh, it's sultry. It's high noon. That's what it's telling me. Yeah, like, that screams cowboy to me. <laughs> uh -huh. Kind of like the third one myself, but... I think I like the third one as well. Yeah, it, like, fits. Hmm. No, me, oh, oh my, oh my, oh me. <laughs> hey, no. Good news, Rose. What good news? Good news, everyone. Good news, Bad everyone. News. Hopefully, Ooh. if you don't want to share, hopefully, it's going to be amazing, though. Sorry, I'll make this really, really quick. Well, novel, I like Christmas, so therefore I am killer as well. Then. <laughs> but, uh... The Christmas. Yeah, people. I don't know why. The Christmas. People. The Christmas people in Fortnite. They're so scary. Wait, what are the? Th I run away Who from them. Who are the Christmas people? It, at Christmas time, they gave out or they had Christmas skins. So just uh, um. you can customize your character in any way on Fortnite. And uh, yeah, they were always the really, really, really good players that donned the Christmas skins for some reason. <laughs> and so anytime I see a banana, a Goku, or a Christmas skin, I'm just like, no, not today. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be no. traumatizing. <laughs> it's so hard. They're so difficult. Goodness. Oh my, stop. You're okay, not no, looking we'll for a daddy. Notes. Don't simulate this. Look, I I just got invited to this. They're 10 How are you doing, by the way? Oh, dear. <gasps> so, yeah, happy Tuesday. Don't um uh -huh me doubt. What kind of games do you play? A lot of cozy games. Some do. I do try to do some RPGs. So I'm playing Berseria currently. <laughs> oh yeah, Tales of Berseria. That's really a good. How are yeah. you enjoying Berseria? Sorry. How are you enjoying it? I am loving it. Well, this is really nice. Comfortable with the difficulty. I like all the little cutscenes and interactions. The characters are super compelling. <laughs> nice, nice. Me, I just play a bunch of variety yeah, games. Uh, jeez. Uh, lately, I've just been getting to Honkai. Honkai Star Rail a lot. And Final Fantasy. So Final <laughs> Fantasy 16 comes out, I'm definitely gonna be playing that. But literally anything. Yeah. Especially Power Wash Simulator. I usually do YouTube videos about that. Ah. Yeah, that's fun. Power Wash is fun. Yeah, super fun. <laughs> I see that on uh, Xbox Game Pass. I might have to. It's just so cozy. It's yeah. so comfy. It's just relaxing and satisfying. It's super oh, yeah. relaxing. It's fun to play with like you people wanted too, to play like, this. They've got like extra map, like they've got some maps from Final Fantasy VII too now. Yeah. It's great. And the next next map is gonna be a uh, bikini bottom. SpongeBob. Yeah. It's so <laughs> ridiculous. What's gonna be bikini bottom? Power oh, wash is coming out with bikini bottom. Oh, I need to try that out eventually. You should. Yeah, yeah. I mean they already have the oh, yeah. Final Fantasy back. and the, the Laura Croft Tomb Raider one. That's free. Yeah, I saw the Final Fantasy pack. That looks cool. Yeah, both of those are free already. It's super nice. Mm -hmm. uh, Do we have a preference on eyebrows? 
Um... Mm, depends on how, kind of just like how, basic how sassy do we want our daddy <laughs> to be. That's the thing. Yeah, how much we... attitude do we want to exude? Right? We pretended to be dead. <laughs> True. True. So pretty much normal sass, dad sass. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't mind. Do we want to give him a unibrow? Oh, God. No, no, I, <laughs> I prefer not. Couldn't take him seriously. <laughs> Every time your, your, your character shows up, I'm like, oh, who is this Joker? <laughs> what do you like, Ohana? I think I'm between these two. I like the scar. Yeah, I think the scar is cool. Yeah. Maybe we make it a... Uh... Oh, I like it. I think I like that dark brown. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Alright, some facial hair. Ooh, that stash is not cute. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, Wilford Brimley stash. I'm Wilford Brimley and I have diabetes. I'm leaning towards no on the, the facial hair. Yeah. yeah, I'm also kind of leaning towards no. I think the stubble is just fine, honestly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Do we want some glasses? Ooh. Oh, interesting. We got smarter. Smart. That's not too bad. We can make them pink. <laughs> Why not? What do we think? I'm okay. Yeah, I like the horn rim glass. We could give him the hair. We could give him the Harry Potter glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, wizard. With a scar. With a scar. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're a wizard, daddy. Wow. <laughs> I like the thick frames. The one, the ones I have on right now. Yeah, yeah. Everyone else good with this? Yeah. 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 Do we want some piercings? I kind of wish you could do multiple. Yeah. I'm a sucker for some uh, for a nosing. I don't know if I like the placement of it though. Yeah, I wish it was a little bit higher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like the earring though. Maybe a single earring? Like, like this a one? stud piercing? Yeah. Or like the multiple ones. Ooh, interesting. The multiple? The multiple yeah. one's kind of cool. It is kind of cool. Do we want them to be gold, black, or silver? White. Maybe maybe we could choose the fit first and then go back to the color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Our uh, so we have some options here. <laughs> Welcome in. Yeah. We have a basic white. Yeah, tea. we're making a daddy today. This this hamburger ensemble. Oh my! We could God. be a luchador. Why does it look like what's his name from Ninja Sex Party? Danny. <laughs> yeah, it's called. Uh, did you say his name is Danny? Oh my god, it actually is called Danny's Clothes. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. my god. Egg Nips. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. Welcome in. Maple Bay. We can have a cat suit. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Oh, like that's. Suits. The suits are styling, though. Yeah, mm -hmm. they look real good. Uh -huh. Does anyone have a preference? Special to like the blue like polka dot that you're hovering over. Oh yeah, bottom left. This one. Mm hmm. But I like this me. one too. What do you think, Shyvana? I like it. Mm hmm. I think I prefer mm -hmm. the suits over the like the t-shirts. T-shirts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The the suits are nice. Rose, congratulations! That sounds awesome. I want to go to Toronto. Could you take me with you? Mm -hmm. Novel and the egg nips. No. Yeah, the egg nips. Uh, you silly. <laughs> <see me? laughs> 
Hey, it's it's a full breakfast right there. What are you talking about? My eggs aren't correct, sir. <laughs> I think I like the silver. Right. Yeah, it fits. Yeah, it stands out. It fits. Um, I nice. also now want to change the glasses, though. Don't want to make like them that. anymore. <laughs> what do we think? Looking good, Daddy. Yeah, looking, yeah, good, looking good, Daddy. Good. <laughs> looking good. Name that oh, dad. Um... <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna combine our names. It's gonna be cursed. Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> MOCS, oh, no. -C Mux. Or. Oh, but... <laughs> <laughs> that works out not as badly as we thought. <laughs> oh, Vana Melbishi. Oh, uh, <laughs> is... Vana Melbishi. <laughs> That's not. Oh, Vana Melbishi. <laughs> Yeah. Not bad. I like it. I no, like I, it. Yeah. yeah. Be, that be that dad. You be that dad. Be that dad. Be that dad. Boy, 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 Amanda, boy, Amanda got stuck stuck with our, that that last name down. <laughs> oh. Amanda Melbishi. Amanda Melbishi. Wow. Oh. Uh, did you fall asleep packing? I got most of it done, I think. Yeah, we're daddies right now. <laughs> Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. Wait, straggler. Hmm. What's in it? Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos and little photo albums. Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen these in years. I pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile and we begin looking through oh. it. That's the coolest baby I've ever it's seen. so cute. <laughs> it's adorable. <laughs> All right, do we want a father or a mother for for mm. her second parent? Ooh. Mm. I, it's Pride Month, so I'm leaning dad. Yeah, yeah, let's go for fair. it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Father and I. The only way your father and I could get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. But whenever we tried to take them off, you'd start crying again. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. <laughs> nice. It's Pride Month, be gay, do crime, period. <laughs> Wait a minute, <laughs> what's that last one? Halloween when you were maybe four. Oh my god, that dragon costume. You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon, so you went with both. Princess dragon. <laughs> Cute. I mean, it makes sense. Mark. I love it. Hmm. Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Oh. Seeing yourself inside the dragon's <laughs> mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Great. Yep. Yeah, definitely repress that memory. And this was you in your horse phase. She's so cute. cute. She's adorable. Oh. Dad. I believe you named that plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave. <laughs> I don't think that was his... Amanda lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatch it away and hold it above her head with my superior dad arms. Superior. superior. Nice superior. tie, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. <laughs> Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you in your ska band. Ouch, kid. Ah. The ska Munist manifesto had us chance back in the day. God. <laughs> I look up into the distance and reminisce about that rad horn section. Hey, it's Emma P. Ugh. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two up. <laughs> Dad, Emma R has been my best friend since I was seven. Give it, like, a little bit of effort. All right, Emma P was the one who... What did Emma P do? <sighs> oh, God. Police station! Yeah, like the <laughs> flaming... <laughs> the flaming yes. tennis ball. <laughs> Lighter fluid, tennis ball, tennis racket, right? <laughs> Dad... That was you. <laughs> hey, worse. Oh. oh wait, I was a wild child. <laughs> I was six when you did it. 
Okay, Amanda, I wasn't aiming for the police station. It just happened that there was a police station in the vicinity of where I wanted to hit the flaming tennis ball. <laughs> yeah, I remember you explaining that to the police. They didn't believe me either. Ah. Anyway, I gotta show this to Emma R later. She'll get a kick out of it. The first photography award you ever won. Yeah, and it got us a $20 gift card to McFridays. Not for like one person now. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got food poisoning from the cheesy Tostada Blast. I think you mean food poisoning, you know, with a Z. Ugh. Oh. Dad. Still can't drive past McFridays without gagging. Still proud of you, though. Amanda reaches deep down into the box and pulls out one last photo. Mm -hmm. Neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. Aww. Yeah. This is the dad. Mm -hmm. I finally decide to break the silence. So was she born or adopted? Uh... I mean, both, right? <laughs> well, let's say born like surrogacy. Yeah, sur yeah surrogate. Oh, yeah, it could have been, been a surrogate. Gotcha. Gotcha, mm -hmm. gotcha, gotcha. And technically, our father is trans, right? The the character we're playing? Technically. I don't know. Let's say the day you were born. When yeah. Now? It's kind of a funny story. We got into a car accident right there in the hospital parking lot. It wasn't anything big, just a fender bender. But of course I was freaking out. And the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out. And I didn't know what to do. But your father? Oh man. Ovana? Oh, yeah, I know, right? It's a great name. <laughs> <laughs> he holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes, the calmest I've ever seen him. He says, It's okay. It's all gonna be okay. He was right, you know. I stare at the picture for longer, maybe too long. I miss him. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. Okay. She pats me on the back. Huh. Come on, pops. We gotta finish packing. The moving van won't. Uh, the moving van won't wait forever. You're right. Huh. Amanda and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. So many memories here. Hard to believe your father and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. Can you remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? You always had very strong arms. Hey, remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? <laughs> what? Oh, no. You were a very imaginative child. Yes. Hey, remember when I broke oh the back God. window? <laughs> We get it, Amanda. You break stuff. <laughs> and there will be plenty more to for me to break in the new place. Memories to make and stuff to break. Hmm. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I watched my daughter grow up in this house. It will forever hold a place in my heart. But it stings a little bit to leave it behind. I'm ready. Is the moving van begins... Right? <laughs> the movie man begins to pull away and I get the car into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear into the rear view, movie, rear view mirror. Wow. <laughs> so... So what? Hmm. So sell me on our cool new pad. I clear my throat and do my best cheesy announcer voice. Nested in beautiful scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features... What do we got? Mm, we gotta impress our we gotta impress our daughter. How we're we gonna do this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, what's gonna be what's impressive? Man, I don't know what's impressive to the daughter, as... but I like the watch and drive. <laughs> <Yeah, okay. laughs> <Wow. laughs> <laughs> the simple pleasures in the wash it. The wash and dry hookups is good for me. Let's go, honey. Have you ever had dirty oh, clothes? God. For most of my life, yes. Well, worry about that no longer, as our new place features m m m machinations that will not only clean your clothes, but dry them directly thereafter. An upper-class luxury, I fear. True. The concept of clean clothes is no longer in the hands of the fat cats upstairs, sweetie. Anyway, it's also smaller than our last house. <laughs> Cozier, one might argue. 
Good spin. Yeah. I think it's great. Won't we be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to so I don't have to waste gas? I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know. Amanda, you know you're going to have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? Mm -hmm. Not going to happen, Pops. Zavrana, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hi ho. Multiple places to sleep, a bed and a couch. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think someone needs to do a three point turn on their attitude. Oh. I don't know how to do that either. Uh, have you met the neighbors yet? Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. I have anonymous follows on, but feel free to introduce yourself if you'd like. And welcome to the Ohana. Not yet, but the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. Hmm. So you won't have to chase any ratty teens off your lawn? You are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. Hmm. I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. Oh, that made me feel old. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> just like, what if, if she's dust, what are we? <laughs> yeah, my, my back just creaked. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, God, my knees already. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, you're real. Eh? Don't you dare. You're definitely not here if anyone is looking for you. Okay, I won't look for you then. <laughs> Senior. Hmm. Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen. Oh. <sighs> I'm just gonna ignore that. Oh. But I won't forget it. So what's item number one on the new house agenda? Well, first we'll need to forge a path through a, the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer and dryer. We need to go grocery shopping. Pops, cool your jets. You have to promise me that we're going to take a break and explore the neighborhood. How are you doing, Kat? Okay, okay, you're right. We'll get some work done and then check the area out. We pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mown and the for sale sign is still in the yard. Hey, yeah. And with a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. <laughs> nice one, QP. You want to feel even older? People that are 18 years old today are born in 2005. Merlin, if you want to fight, just say that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I got a problem with authority. It makes sense. Her dad was throwing flaming tennis balls at the police. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Runs in the family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm so proud. Yep. <laughs> there it is. Man, all that karate chopping tuckered me out. I could really go for a sandwich. She's done literally nothing. <laughs> <laughs> An ice cream sandwich. Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. Why not? Oh, I need some coffee ASAP. <laughs> yeah, that one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Coffee? I, I, mm. I know, like, coffee's uh, Maluna spirit animal, so. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I gotta get my hands on a nice hot cup of the old bean juice, or I'm gonna be useless all day. Dirty bean water, nice. I think we pass the coffee shop on the way here, and maybe we could check that out. Let's do it. All right, so we'll be meeting a daddy shortly. Uh -oh. oh. Who wants to voice him? Always help a friend in need. Mm -hmm. We walk down the street to the Coffee Spoon, a cute little place on the corner. Yeah. And man, this is such this is in such a convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess. You guess. What's wrong? Huh? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could just drink better coffee at home on my own couch and not have to make awkward eye contact with other people? Aww. I felt that. <laughs> <laughs> I felt that. Yeah. <laughs> at least when I'm home, some random guy isn't going to come up and sit on the recliner next to me and I won't feel like a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table, but he's very much within my personal zone. Hmm. That... And what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you go set it up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? 
Or do you leave it there and feel your face flush hot with shame as you consider the possibility that there is in fact a bin somewhere just out of sight, and now you're that jerk who left the mug? Dad. <laughs> Dad. Are you just afraid to meet new people? Yes. Yes, Amanda. <laughs> we walk inside. <laughs> At least he's, you know, self-aware. I love it. <gasps> oh. We have our first daddy. Hello. The inside Great. of the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records line the walls, and patrons lounge around on well-worn in couches. Some cool tunes spin on a record player next to a little stage. Oh. All right, who wants to be Matt? I think you need to cast it, Ohana. That's true, Ohana. Uh, I gotta cast it. Yeah, you're the you're, you're right. the casting director. Chino, <laughs> Chino, give us your best daddy voice. Okay. Ooh, what 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 kind of vibe does he give? I don't know. Here we go. Welcome to the coffee spoon, guys. How's it going? What's with the name? Oh, oh it's uh, it's kind of dumb. Hey. It gets mentioned in this poem I like. I think it had it was a good idea at the time, and I suppose now it's still a good idea. But like, the business is still running. But people ask me that question all the time, and I give them this same answer every time. And now I'm standing here rambling, and I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking. But man, we're in it now, and I can't stop. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> now all the dot dot dot. So what'll it be? Huh. I scan the chalkboard menu and immediately overwhelmed. I'll have a. What do we want? <laughs> An iced Tegan and Sarah, a chai ant word, or well, just some block healthy. Personally, <laughs> I like the second option just because it reminds me of Dragon Age. But again, I'm open to <laughs> yeah, I love the name in that one. Let's go with it, yeah. yeah, iced Tegan. The ice tea and Sarah. The ice tea and Sarah. Good. Oh, we got one. Yeah, you like that. Uh, uh, Dragon Age wins again. <laughs> <laughs> Good choice. I don't get it. Oh, it's a pun. Tegan and Sarah are this really awesome Canadian indie band formed in 1995. They were nominated for a Grammy in 2013, and are known for being masters of not only pop hits, but meaningful lyricism. Hey! Ah, hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm doing that thing again. Oh. But coming right up! Mm. And for you? I'll have a macchiato de macchiato, please. It's a great name. Hey. <laughs> Coming right up. Do you want that in small, medium, or big smalls? Cute. Not big as small. Biggie smalls. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Biggie smalls, please. Uh, medium. Oh, he's boring. Wait, is Biggie smalls big or small? Yes. Uh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I should change that, shouldn't I? Next time it's gonna be the notorious B.I.G. <laughs> <laughs> Matt sets to making our drinks and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. What's his deal? What's the Matt make his puns? They're cooler bands. Uh, they're cooler bands than you listen to anyway. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Scott was cool once. <laughs> this couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's all right. Good lumber support. You sink right into it. I like how you just like had to suddenly like pump yourself up in that moment. It's like not as good as ours, but, yes, but <laughs> it's quite comfy. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's comfier than our couch. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Amanda nudges me. This place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only cool, but also just as uncomfortable with talking to other people as you are. Nice. You should totally become friends with him. 
Uh, I don't know. Come on, what do we say? What do we say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I always stay inside and also don't go outside and also don't talk to people. <laughs> See, we're making progress. Yeah, but that's a lot of work. <laughs> Matt sets our drinks down at our table and I have a sip. The iced tea glen vera is delicious. Did the name just change? I thought it was. I thought it was, Ice Tegan. Yeah, Tegan, Tegan and, and Sarah. Sarah. Wait, doing? what? Cockney thing? Why did you ruin it? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Somebody fire that at her. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Teagle. Teagle. Hi, who are new in the neighborhood? I'm Amanda. This is my dad, Ivana. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh. oh. Oh, right on. Pleased to meet you both. Hey. Hey. You ought to come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop. You two might get along. Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. Amanda kicks my leg from under the table. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. <laughs> oh. You know what? Let me get your guys' opinion on something. Matt goes into the back and comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. I'm working on a new banana bread recipe, and I need help coming up mm. with a name for it. Well, I think we're going to have to taste test it first so we can uh, yeah, exactly. get the full <laughs> flavor profile of, you know, and really appreciate the flavor <laughs> sensations of. <laughs> Amanda nods vigorously. She knows this game. Yeah, we need to give that banana bread a taste. If you want us to do a free creative flavor, I think that would be commens <laughs> that would be commensurate with uh <laughs> I I've taught her well. We have trained for this day. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna give you guys free banana bread anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is so wholesome. I love him. I love how he's like, Hello new customers I have never met. Will you help me with business decisions? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's how it works, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah new, name, new names for your uh, Biggie Smalls and uh, banana bread. Yeah. Right, yes, that. That saves us each a piece. Amanda and I help le happily chow down. Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. Hey. hey, thanks. The secret ingredient is bananas. <laughs> <laughs> So any ideas? I'm stumped. Are you guys pushing like a soundboard or is that in the no, game? That's, that, like, no, that's no, that's 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 actually me. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I was like, <laughs> that is totally fine, but I'm like, that's random. No, yeah, that's that's, that's me. Like, that, is, the game. that is just me. I love it. 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 Well, I think I might only be able to give you dad band puns, but I'll give it a shot. Oh. Ooh. All right, what do we want to call it? <laughs> banana bread Kennedy's? Grateful banana, banana bread. bread? Right said banana bread? Mm -hmm. I think I like Kennedy's. Banana bread Kennedy's, yeah. The only one I know is the second yeah, one. Yeah, I only know the so... second. I only know Grateful Bread. Top two. Uh, okay. Grateful. Marlon says Dead Kennedys is dope, but Wright said Fred is the gayest. <laughs> <laughs> also, are we playing this just for our own preferences or are we trying to get the dads to like us? That's the other question. I mean, ideally, we'd want the dads to like us, right? Yeah, ideally. We or want to catch the them all. Like. I, I'd like them to like us for us, you know? True. True. But I don't get thanks in those games. True. Oh. <laughs> there's, there's this game called uh, Five Dates or Ten Dates that you guys should play at some point. And every time I've just tried to be myself, I can't get anybody to date me. <gasps> no. No. Oh, no. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm the best at making these choices. What are we choosing? Mm. I think I'm going with Banana Bread Kennedy's. Go for it. All right, Go for it. Decision. Lock it in. Banana Bread Kennedy. Lock it in. Oh, it worked. We got hearts. <laughs> you know, like the punk band. Uh -oh. 
I thought you said you only knew dad bun, <laughs> dad band puns. I'm a hard dad. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That uh, actually has a nice ring to it. Really? Yeah. Banana Bread Kennedys. Strong decisions. That's art, baby. Oh, we got dot dot dots. Oh. oh. I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said it, I realized it just doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth, and maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professionals. Hey. Hey. More dot dot dot. More dot. <laughs> oh. Uh, enjoy your coffee. Connor, stop looking at us with that goofy grin. We know. We know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, baby. Hey. Oh my god. See? Sounds good when you say it. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we have a second daddy in the mix? Oh, snap. Oh, oh. Across the way, a man catches my eye. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet, just for a moment. More dot dot dots? Mm. I hastily look away, hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? We finish up our drinks and head out. Hey. Hey. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay, now that we're full of caffeine, where to? Mm. Alright, do we want to go back to unpacking? Do we want to take a nap? Or do we want to get some fresh air? Hmm. Unpacking sounds... Caffeine, unpacking sounds way unpacking. too... too responsible. <laughs> <laughs> it's too responsible. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. Yeah, like, who are we? Ahead of a household? I know, right? Gosh, jeez. <laughs> We're not responsible dads. <clears throat> so, we want to take a nap or fresh air? Can't take a nap. We yeah, we can't have, yeah, I was about to say, we can't take a nap because we're full of caffeine. So, fresh air, fresh baby. Air, fresh air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you, didn't, you didn't grow up with caffeine like me then. Gosh. Because, like, caffeine could put me to sleep. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. get to do it. <laughs> <laughs> my my grandma funny. would make us a cup of coffee every night. <laughs> oh, wow. My grandma does that a lot. Yeah? Yeah. All right, so let's go get some fresh air. Time to soak up all that vitamin D. Make our bones nice and strong. Yeah, our skeletons are gonna get so strong they're gonna hop right out of our bodies and crush cars with their bony fingers. Oh, God. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda, I already have an irrational fear that my skeleton will one day escape this flesh shack and run amok. Please don't cur encourage it. I love it. You're right. Sorry. Um, to the park. Woo. All right, Charvana, you're, the next daddy's yours. Oh. All right. Mm. Who's it gonna be? Amanda and I begin to stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. I don't know why I said beautiful like that. <laughs> Our kids are playing <laughs> in the street. The flowers are in bloom, and the faint smell of a nearby barbecue drifts through the air. Oh, I love barbecues. This place is nice. I love Amanda and her weirdness. Amanda's such a good character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Also, did anyone else notice that she also she has an egg on her? We should have <gasps> we should have went with the egg, egg dips. Pin. Oh. Oh. and a panda. I didn't even notice. <laughs> Manda panda. I get it. And eggs. Manda panda. I don't trust it. I'm about to join you, Nixus. Some more coffee in a minute. At 3 p.m., but we'll ignore that fact. <laughs> you can have coffee at any time. Yay. In mm -hmm. fact, Maluna, didn't you just have coffee? <laughs> I have <laughs> coffee up? currently right now. Oh, gosh. We're all going to have to get some coffee. And I'm going to make more when we go on break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> coffee doesn't put me to sleep. It doesn't do anything. I love the taste. Nom, nom, nom. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in the stroll over there? Government operative. <laughs> We're on to you, baby. <laughs> Cute. It's a nice relationship they have. Yeah, I love mm -hmm. it. Walk for a... <laughs> yeah, I love their relationship. It's cute. 
We walk for a while and eventually end up at a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground and dogs of all shapes and sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over to it when... Heads up! Hey! Ow! <laughs> that, was, that was hard. A frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. Oh, we got a dog. Who wants to be a dog? <laughs> a quirky with a neat plaid handkerchief ties around tied around its neck bounds up to me, wagging its tail. Look He's at that so good cute. Look at that face. Oh. <laughs> Hello, did you throw this thing at my head? I like your necktie. That's a full sentence. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> Those three options together just make a full sentence. Oh, that's true. That's the biggest corgi. It's so cute. Oh. All right, which one do we want to go with? Uh, if I want to compliment this dog. <laughs> yep, I like your necktie. Yeah. All right, I like your necktie. <laughs> <laughs> he runs around in a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh, God, this is the cutest dog. <laughs> Can I help you impart upon me your wisdom, <laughs> tiny dog? Yes! At the dog? Do we want to give dog pets? Ooh, Ooh, those are two good options. Right. Impart on me your wisdom or pet the dog. As the gamer in me wants to pet the dog. Pet yeah. the dog. We gotta pet we the dog. You pet yeah. the dog in a game. Yeah, anytime. But where happens. do I pet the dog? Oh, where? Ooh. Do we give him the head rubs? Do we give him some sc chin scratchies? Or do we try the butt pet? It's gotta be chin scratches or head rubs. I was gonna say the butt pad is the most. <laughs> no, uh, I, don't know, I don't know. I don't know if we're there yet with the butt pads. That's a little too. Okay, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. True, true, yeah. A little too personal. We gotta get the trust yeah, exactly. first. Exactly, and then we work our way to the butt pads. Right, right, right. We're, we're trying to go for a relationship. We're not just going. Exactly, to you know. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. So head rubs or chin scratches? Chin scratches. Chin scratches. Consensus, yes. I give him some little scratches under his chin. Nala, Ooh, stop. his tail is wagging at top speeds. <gasps> Yay! Yay! You definitely could have caught that. Wow. A guy in a Hawaiian <laughs> shirt jogs over to oh him my God. and takes the fish <laughs> from me. I, want, I, I love it. <laughs> hey, Great. you're a redhead. Let's do it. Woo. Hey. You know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands, not your face. Well, you're traditionally not supposed to aim for people's heads. Ow. It's mm. a new technique. I'll catch it with my teeth next time. Mm. Ooh. That is the daddest of dads. He is totally yes. a dad. Mm. <laughs> Alright, which do it, one? Do it. I'm leaning towards I'll catch it with my teeth. Yeah, same. Yeah, the first the first answer seems way too spicy for me. Wait, what are the Nala stomps? Yeah, kind of like a aggressive. Yeah, aggressive. Yeah. Aggressive. Yeah. Aggressive. Aggressive. Yeah. Aggressive. Yeah. aggressive. A little grating and aggressive, you know. You caught me off guard on this round. Not again. Not ever again. Uh, oh, I'm just oh, 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 wait, oh, 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 I'm Ovana, and this is my daughter, Amanda. I look over at Amanda only to find her sitting on the ground, rubbing the dog's Aww. tummy. Hi. Huh. Your dog's cool. Uh, oh, man. Oh, Maxwell sure loves the attention. It's great to see another farmer, a father, and daughter of you on such a sunny day. Obviously, I play a little started, too. Sorry. <gasps> oh, I love that. <laughs> That's great. Oh, yeah, uh, Shavana, um, Shino, Maluna, and I, we have a Stardew farm mm -hmm. together. Let's yeah. go! I'm gonna unlock the multiplayer so that we can have more people. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Nothing but farmers. It's great. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Where's yours? Brian just is over to a grassy knoll. Take the shot. Is, is that right? <laughs> where, where, Take the shot! Take the shot! Young, where a young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads over to us. 
This is Daisy. She's reading the Brothers Ka what? Karamazov. Oh, gosh. Her teacher tells me that she has the reading comprehension skills of a high schooler. Ooh. She cute. Oh, my God. I know what's coming up. It's going to oh, be. Oh, yes. <laughs> hmm? Here we go. How old is she? <laughs> Ten. She's a precocious little youngster. Hey. Whoa. Oh. My natural dad instincts kick in. Oh. I must brag about my child's accomplishments. What is, no, what is this? Oh, this yeah. sounds like Pokemon. No, wait. <laughs> Listen to that music. Oh, no. It's happening. No, wait, it actually no, is. Oh, my gosh. Gosh. <gasps> Isn't this beautiful? <laughs> All right, who wants to be Daisy? Huh? Who wants to voice Daisy? Jeez. You gotta cast them, Mohana. You gotta cast. I know. Cast, her. cast director. All right, Maluna. Do you wanna? Do you wanna voice Daisy? Sure. Um, I. That's my girl. <laughs> Amanda, get in there. I choose you. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. We each have eighty. Char gets to play Pokemon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We have brag item. What the hell is this? Daughter, probably. I forget. It looks like daughter. Oh yeah, daughter. Daughter, daughter. and then flee. Mm. All right. Um, what do we want to do? Do we want to brag? Let's sure. start off with a brag. Yeah, classic brag. Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. Ooh. Wow! Congratulations. Ugh. Ooh, Brian loses ten HP. Daisy Total actually just won a statewide poetry contest. <gasps> you lose 15 HP. Hey. <laughs> Ooh, we're Ooh, losing. We're losing. Uh oh. Alright, bag, daughter, or item. What does the daughter have? Yeah. Oh, yeah, what's in there? Can't switch daughter? I'm bad news, you got daughter. <laughs> 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 That's funny. All right, do we want to look at items? Let's, see, let's look at let's items. See what yeah, what's in there? All right, we have a grade card. We have child art. We have a spelling bee photo. We have a band aid. Oh well, what? <laughs> what? Why? We can't. We can't go back, so we gotta choose one of these. Um, what time. about a spelling bee photo? All right, spelling, spelling bee photo. photo. Yeah. Fumbling through your phone's browser, you managed to pull up a photo of Amanda winning her tenth grade spelling bee. Wow, congratulations, Amanda. Daisy is getting prepped for her annual spelling bee right now. Hopefully this will be her third win in a row. Dang it. Wow. No. Like, oh. I made three. Ouch. Ah, uh, Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. She's the president too, of course. Dang, my high school doesn't have a chess club or a computer lab. You lose 10 HP. Ooh, no! Ooh, ooh. <laughs> this hurts! Why are you dragging? Do we just try to, like, brag, like, uh, at right? We got a band aid. I don't got know. Oh, do we have a band aid? What are we gonna do with a band aid? What are we gonna do with a band aid? I don't know. Alright, ooh. Does it heal our emotional wounds? <laughs> Wait, wasn't there, like, a. Heal the emotional What about the grade card? <laughs> All right, let's go the with the grade card. card. Yeah. Grade card. Yeah. All right. You pull a wrinkled copy of Amanda's last grade card out of your back pocket. That. Awesome grades. Yes. Brian loses twenty five oh, yes. yes. Let's go. You really carry that around everywhere. Ouch. Maybe it is kind of. Weird. <laughs> you lose five <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> oh. They sold enough candy bars this year to get a top prize—a canoe. Wow. We're taking it out next weekend. How is that even possible? Amanda could barely get one of those sticky hand things. Hey, the sticky hand things are It's actually nice. powerful. You lose 20 HP. No. Oh no. my god. Wait, we need that band-aid. I need to see what happens. <laughs> All right, we're going with the band-aid. Band-aid. What? <laughs> with a flourish, you produce a band-aid for your body. What? <laughs> Take a knee <laughs> and start to apply it. What are you doing? What is this? What are you doing, Dad? You're being a protective parent. <laughs> ah, no! <laughs> no! 
Wow. I was playing for Brian Steve the whole time. <laughs> Did I mention that Daisy said her first word in 10 months? Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda's was <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Maybe this isn't the time to make it. <laughs> we just lost. Oh no! Uh, oh. Okay. I think we're gonna what? have to go with the brag. I think we gotta go with the brag. Brag. <laughs> Last week, unprompted, Amanda helped an old woman with her grocery bags. It's extra powerful. Yes. Brian loses twenty HP. Daisy here has all of her adult tea. Never had a cavity either. That's it. We're done. Yeah. <laughs> Amanda self-consciously pushes her lips together to hide her teeth. Oh no! no. Wow! Damage. Dang, he's really got us beat. Boy, it's been such a great getting to meet you too. Treat. Sorry. Ah, uh, did he have to add insult to injury by being such a gracious <laughs> winner? Ah! Uh, so oh. You guys are new to the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to get that. Maybe with a guide. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Pulled out a band-aid. Sorry, I think he's bragging a whole bunch. What happened? Maybe you shouldn't pull out a band-aid. I know, maybe you shouldn't pull <laughs> yeah. out a band-aid. Yeah, maybe oh, maybe not pulling out the band-aid. The band-aid was so good. <laughs> we just moved in. Do you live around here? Uh. Yeah, we live that cruel de sac down next to the coffee shop. <laughs> what a coincidence. That's where we live, too? Small world, yeah. Daisy and I are in that little ranch-style house in the corner. I know that house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscape. Does this guy have to outdo me every time? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what a lovely place. Well, I don't want to take up many more of your time. Really nice to meet you guys. You have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye. Brian and Daisy walk further into the park with Maxwell happily trotting along in town. <laughs> you get the feeling that he was trying to one-up us? I'm trying and succeeding. I can't believe that kid's only 10. When I was even... What was, what was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe you had a bit of a thing for horses. Shame that didn't pan out. Could have majored in comparative horse studies. <laughs> it's not too late to minor in horse creative writing. <laughs> Too close to the truth, Dad. <laughs> Let us never again speak of the fantastic adventure of, her of Sir Horsington the Brave, an epic in seven parts by Amanda Melbishi. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful name. I love it. <laughs> we laugh off the house. House. <laughs> we laugh off the horse epic and walk around the park a bit more, enjoying the day. All right, do we want to go unpack or do we want to take a nap? Let's go unpack first. Yeah, fine. Let's, yeah, let's unpack. <laughs> Just get it out of the way. Okay, fine. So Horsington the Brave needs a story? Wow, that's I mean. <laughs> <laughs> we should head home. I'm going to need four hours minimum to figure out how to build in my new bed. And I'd like to not have to sleep on the floor tonight. Actually, a good idea. <laughs> Exercise regularly and you'll stay healthy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Thank you, game. <laughs> Everyone remember to hydrate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I get to work unpacking the various boxes around the living room. A couple hours pass and I get some good work done. The washer dryer unit is both washing and drying and we can actually walk through the living room nice. without tripping over boxes. Nice. First visitor already. Oh, thank you for that. I, I walk over to the door and open it. Maluna, do you want to be the next daddy? Ooh. Maluna Daddy. Oh, I guess, sure. Go oh, ahead. Sorry, one sec. I was putting up my glasses. Hello! Oh. A handsome, clean-cut man Dang. stands at my door, brandishing a plate of cookies. Ooh, that pink shirt, though. <laughs> Hello? Wow. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next-door neighbor. Oh, yes, hi. I'm Ovana. That's what my name is. <laughs> yeah. I saw the movie van that thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter, Christy, wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. Cute. Joseph leans in and whispers. But between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chip. <laughs> we both share a laugh. Kids, right? <laughs> yeah. Wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. Well, thanks for the cookies. 
Oh, cracker. <laughs> Amanda disappears <laughs> with the cookies. Did he just say, oh, cracker? Not the oh, crackers. Did he just say, oh, <laughs> crackers? <laughs> he said, oh, oh crackers. Oh, crackers. <laughs> oh. Amanda, come back. And she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. Oh. Her daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. Hmm. Children in general are just tough. True, true, mm -hmm. true. I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to try to raise more than two. Oh. I have four kids. Oh. Oh, damn. Oh. Sorry, you need a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a hobby. What? He's done. <laughs> what? <laughs> done yeah. You made this bed. <laughs> Oh, uh, I meant. <laughs> Don't worry, he didn't mean to be rude. I think that is his hobby. Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, wow, he he's suddenly on the top of my list. <laughs> <laughs> did you read that, Maluna? I did. I did. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met and my social life is already in a tailspin. This is not the first neighbor we've met. Yeah, this is not the first one. I wonder if it's too Sorry, late to move home? again. Technically, yeah, the first neighbor in his home. Like it? Uh, in our home? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Because we just met Brian, who we know for sure lives there. That's true. Yep. He's I don't yeah, think but I guess we gotta show his intent pack first anyway. So had we... Yeah. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Feel free to introduce yourself if you'd like. Um, otherwise, you are free to lurk. And welcome to the Ohana. Um, where was I? I've met and my social life is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. Uh, yeah, um, okay. Is the missus around? Mister, actually. And, uh, no. Not anymore. He died. I mean, there are better ways to say it, but okay. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Uh, oh, it's uncomfortable. This is gonna make it real awkward. Oh. I'm sorry for your loss. No, no, it's all right. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can you close the door real quick? I look at Joseph quizzically, but comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. Oh. Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise not to talk <laughs> about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the cul-de-sac, and I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? That was sweet. That, that was cute. That's yeah, sweet. except for he didn't have to mention that I promise not to talk about your dead spouse. It was still but, smooth. You know. It was still smooth. I'll give him that. Smooth gesture. Mm -hmm. Attempt. 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 You're right. I'll, you're take, right. It. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> that sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. <laughs> <laughs> you shake hands to seal the deal. Much better. Much better. Mm -hmm. at least well, neighbor, I'll check. see you at 3 p.m. sharp on Saturday. Short thing, neighbor. Joseph starts walking away, but stops to think for a second and turns around. <laughs> Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister at a church down the street. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. Nice. <laughs> you look pretty on to me, but suit yourself. A youth minister, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like to corrupt the good. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Whoa. <laughs> and with that, Joseph's gone. You seem nice. <laughs> Of course, he's a youth sinister, uh, minister. <laughs> <laughs> he looks pretty, like, cookie cutter and clean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He wants to talk to you about stuff. So. Amanda <laughs> walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face and cookie in hand. That was the smoothest recovery I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. See? You're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? Mm, they're gone. I'm sorry. If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. Oh, <laughs> So you ate all of them what anyway? The heck? <laughs> ah. 
I guess that makes it break time. It is. More cookies. Oh, we only have one option. Oh. Yeah, I guess All that's right. it. Let's go see Joseph again. I think we get a ton of good neighbor points if we bring this yeah. back. We're going to be the best neighbors in the whole cul-de-sac. Mm -hmm. He had waited like 30 seconds. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be like, I literally just delivered this. Dang. Yeah, <laughs> like what? Did you even taste it? My goodness. Yeah, my... My, yeah, my my daughter inhaled it. She just threw him in the trash. It's fine. Here's your oh, plate. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, here no. go. we got rid of him for you. Trust me, it's better this way. <laughs> We're gonna kick all the other neighbors' butts with kindness. Hey. Amanda and I step outside. Okay. Shoot, I'm actually not sure which house this is. Mm. I'd hazard a guess it's the big one with all the well-groomed blonde children sitting in the yard. Oh. Good eye, kid. Ah. And remember, we need to make a positive first impression here. Keep it light. We walk up to the kids and wave. Just walk over like, kids suck. I know, right? <laughs> oh, no. Why, <laughs> why do they all look so Oh, mean -y? my gosh. Um, what's with the... Just walk up to them and kick up. What's with the children of the corn over here? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, is your dad around? They all just stare at us blankly. We just wanted to uh, return this nice plate and thank you for the cookies. Jeez, these are definitely Joseph's kids. They all look exactly like him. Christy with the dot dot dots. They were really good. Christian with the <laughs> dot dot dots. I mean, I heard they were good. I didn't get to eat any. Chris with the dot dot dots. I, I see a pattern here. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I I chuckle nervously. What is Chris so mad about? <laughs> yeah, why is he so angry? Come on. Are he angry? Hmm? Oh well, okay. We're just gonna set this plate down on the ground real gentle and then back away slowly. Right, Dad? Right. That's what we're gonna do. The kids' eyes bore into us as we scurry away. I can feel their gaze on my back even as we approach our house. Huh. What the heck? Oh my I need something to get my mind off of those carbon copy kids. <laughs> he wanted a pink shirt and not a blue one. <laughs> oh. Oh. I need to rest of my eyes. Nap time, baby. You've been awake for what? Three hours? And that's three hours too many, period. Yeah, he knows what's up. <laughs> Liquor, Liquor before, before beef. beef. I know, I read that too. Liquor before beef. Drama currently going on in an online game I played. Someone leveled up a tune, screwed over some stuff without actually trying to. Now others are mad about it. Oh. Man, that sounds like something Chris would be mad about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. Why are we walking over here? <laughs> we, yeah, what are we doing wait, now? Wait, I thought we were going we we went... to go home and yeah. sleep. Yeah! <laughs> Um, we're, we're, we're be we're, we're, we're gonna meet another daddy, though. She knows. Second daddy for you. Alright, what do we got? <laughs> As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. Bro, oh, it says bro. I got, I oh. got, I got it. Uh, Ivana, bro! Hey! I turn around yes. and, and am greeted by a familiar face jogging up to yes, us. Yes, he's hot! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Craig? Oh. Bro! Bro, mm -hmm. holy, wow, I haven't seen Craig in forever. Mm -hmm. It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow, you look great. <laughs> yeah, I cleaned up my act. You cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped. Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. <laughs> Amanda, dude. Probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Yo, I absolutely adore his baby. I know. Look at him. Look <laughs> at him. He's so just cute. like, he's look just look at his look eyes. At his eyes. <laughs> the big eyes. He's like, what is going and on? And they were roommates. Dang. <laughs> no, that baby is just staring into my soul. What is going yeah. on here? Oh breaking the fourth wall. Just breaking that fourth wall, too. I mean, like, they all are. They are. <laughs> yeah. Especially that baby. That baby knows. <laughs> yeah, that baby knows. Yeah. 
<laughs> that baby's like, there's four of you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Ah. Hello, and hello, cute baby. Oh. Oh. Ah, thank you. Last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. That baby has experienced every playthrough of this game already. <laughs> <laughs> I know what's going to happen. That baby's, that baby's like, I know you met like five out of the men you slept. Uh, yeah. like, <laughs> Leave my dad <data> alone. <laughs> Goo Goo Gaga. <laughs> this is River. Say hi, River. He picks up her tiny wrist and weighs it around. River gurgles happily. So cute. Aww. <laughs> Are you babysitting? Oh. Nah, dude. River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers, and the next we're both fathers. <laughs> Where you been, man? I was working out in California. Just got just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding, Amanda and I just moved to this to this side of town. How's Smashley doing? Oh. I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her name. Oh. She actually still goes by Smashley, and uh, we got divorced last year. <laughs> Not her still going by Smashley. <laughs> yeah, Smashley. Still going by what Smashley. the? Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. Oh. <sighs> it's old news. We take turns, Kate. Taking care of River and the twins. It's all copacetic. You know, lake and pond, river, they all get along. <laughs> <laughs> twins? You have three kids? <laughs> uh, ain't life something, bro? Right? <laughs> Peg Stan Craig is a father of three. <laughs> Peg Stan Craig? Oh, <laughs> yeah. It was my old college nickname. You got that because he did a lot of keg stands. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the baby's little blowing bubbles. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is so <laughs> cute. Oh, wow. it's adorable. It, it's that thing where you do a handstand on a keg, then drink from the keg. Thank you for explaining. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> he was very good at it. Ah, oh, bro. I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog. Really got to keep my heart rate up. Brought River along, you know, resistance training. <laughs> you jog daily? I jog yearly. <laughs> On January 1st, when I promised myself that I'm going to jog daily mm -hmm. for the rest of the year. Mood. But give up after 30 minutes and just walk mm -hmm. home. Mood. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. Uh, I don't know. Hey, <laughs> come on, it'd be fun. We could grab breakfast ap afterwards, catch up. We could do a bro brunch like the good old days. All right, sure, sounds great. Hmm. Great. Let's get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Craig gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back in, and jogs off. I like Craig. Craig's cool. <laughs> I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm reeling. Breakfast after. One thing I dislike more than running is early mornings. <laughs> oh my god, I hate early mornings. I have to wake up at 6.30 tomorrow. Because I have work. Oof. I hate it. Mm. I just want to quit. <laughs> <laughs> I feel, hey, I feel, I, feel, I feel that. I feel that. Trust me. Mm. Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara <laughs> sauce for dinner. Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce, and then he drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. 
It was unholy. <laughs> and then I asked him what the hell he was doing, and he said, and I quote, it's basically a smoothie, bro. <laughs> I, can't. I, can't. I mean, it is smoothie. I will give him that. I, mean, I will give him that. You get your tomatoes in. Technically, <laughs> he's not wrong. God. <laughs> I can't I agree. I like how we're all like standing up for him over here. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sounds like he, a was dog. he was jogging. <laughs> He's like a totally different person. Anyway, we better get home. I'll have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. <laughs> Pet every dog. Pet something. <laughs> good. That's a good advice. Mm -hmm. Amanda and I flop down onto the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Huh. Too bad we're going to be putting my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months. Oh. She's going to college. Oh. Oh. Yeah, because she's a senior in high oh, school. That's true. Yeah. That was pretty privileged at work. No, don't say that. Hmm? Oh, Dad, it's going to be okay. I'll be fine. I know, I know. It's just... You're my little girl. It's gonna be weird not having you around. I'll come to sit, and I'll text you every day. And I'll take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously. I'm a photography major. You promise? Of course. Are you gonna be okay by your lonesome? Oh, come on. I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. A dog? Forget art school. I'll stay for the dog. I'll stay for the dog? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it's gonna say? Mm -hmm. Medium-sized dog, handkerchief around the neck. I get to name it. That's what it will cost me for me to give up all my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the spins, Shana. Of course, anytime. <laughs> Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. Amanda laughs. Huh. Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slide through the mail slot. You're a wizard! <laughs> You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of college, huh. Amanda darts over to the envelopes and shuffles through them. She pulls one out and throws the rest back on the floor. Yes! Uh, this is from the McGowan College of Art and Design? Open it. Hmm. But I'm scared. It's just yeah. an envelope. Hmm. Yeah, it's just like my entire future. Not a big deal. Uh. She takes a deep breath and rips the letter open with her teeth. We have a letter open, I better bet. <laughs> <laughs> I hold my breath while Amanda's eyes dart back and forth, scanning the letter. What does it say? Come on, Amanda. Uh, the admission committee has reviewed your application. Blah, blah, blah. Um, we... Oh. Her face drops. I'm glad to inform you that we are unable to offer you admission to McGowan College of Art and Design. Aww. 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 <laughs> Amanda throws the letter on the coffee table. Oh, sweetie. Mm. It's okay. I kind of saw it coming. I knew I shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. Their admissions officer told me they just want to see portraits or whatever. Yeah. I pull Amanda in for a big hug. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put into your portfolio. Some other school is going to want to snatch you up for sure. Yeah, I know. It's fine. Are you actually fine, or are you just saying that? Hmm. I'm fine. Really. Her face says the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. Mm -hmm. Oh, and before I forget, Emma R. and Emma P. are sleeping over tonight. Girl, we just moved in. Dang, yeah, we just right. moved wow. in. Like, damn. We haven't got the boxes out of the way yet. Come on. 
We're like, just we're moving quickly. Not swarming. Not swarming. <laughs> <laughs> like, does she even have her stuff unpacked? I'm confused. Yeah, like, what? I know that's uh, that is her stuff, so. <laughs> Maybe they're gonna help her. Sure. Yeah, maybe. Fair, fair. I guess they could help her. Dad. So. Do you need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool? <laughs> I would choose more delicate phrasing, but yes. Ooh. Well, I'll have you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight, so you'll have the new place to yourself. Yeah? What are your plans? Quick, take your plans! <laughs> <laughs> Dang, I'm going I'm secretly the mayor of this town. Double A. Going clubbing. Gotta attend the union <laughs> meeting. I'm going clubbing. Dang. Are we gonna go clubbing? Gonna go clubbing? Let's go clubbing. Ooh, We're gonna go clubbing. Let's go clubbing. I love that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on a nice outfit and go tear it up on the dance floor. All the hottest dance moves. The lawnmower, the sprinkler, the running Dang. man. You know, the ones all the kids these days are doing. Wow. Hmm. All right, but I'm not gonna come pick you up if you pull anything this time. Not again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to. Are we going to bed? Or are we gonna go watch the game? Bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm being honest. You're just like sleep. I was like, oh please, sleep. bed. I love sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a bit. Well, you gotta go out and meet other dads. There could be a new daddy at the game. That's true. What? We've only met. Yeah, but there could be a new daddy. Yeah, in no, I was gonna say there could be a new daddy in bed. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Whoa. Oh, <bad. laughs> Hopefully, that daddy is Craig. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm gonna Thanks stay honest, man. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to bed. Uh, Alright, we go to bed. We're going to bed. Go sleep. <laughs> I'm wait to have fun with Emma's. No, we'll try to keep it down. I know you're not going to, but I appreciate you saying that. Ah. And don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. Alright, Mr. Vega. Yep, totally remembered. I'll be there. Awesome. Night, Bob. You know the worst part about the being the, like the the lead Retro, person. Retro, you're amazing. Is that I don't get a break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. I wake up to a text from an unknown number. Oh, it's Craig. Ooh. Oh, Charvana gets a gift sub. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> which one's Craig again? Oh yeah, hey, yeah, uh, yeah, Craig, 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 Craig. That was hot. Yeah, the guy who was hot. Yes. Rise and shine, early bird. Still wanna work out? This is Craig, by the way. Craig is baby dude, exactly, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Holy crap, it's 6 a.m. Who does 6 a.m. anymore? Without realizing it, I drift back to sleep. <gasps> oh. Whoops, must have winked back out. I checked my phone again. Hey, bud. So want to get your swole on? I'm ready to tear up the track. Uh, Hit me up! God, the last thing I want to do right now is work out. But it is, Craig. I do want to catch up. Are we going back to sleep or are we going to the gym? Go to the gym. To the gym. I want to go to the gym. You gotta... Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Hey, my man. I need a few minutes to wake up, but let's meet in 20. <laughs> After a few seconds, another text comes in. He's quick on them texts. Sure thing. Meet yeah. me at the gym. <laughs> <laughs> Emphasis on. I like the I like the gym's name. Right. I I stretch and my bones creak. I gotta stop falling asleep on the couch. I throw off my blanket and hey wait, I don't remember falling asleep with a blanket. Amanda must have tucked me in after I fell asleep. Bless that child. I reluctantly brush my teeth, throw on the only clothes I own that are even kind of gym, appro gym appropriate, and head out. The neighborhood is quiet and serene this early in the morning. Birds chirp and the grass is still wet with dew. Surprisingly, the gym is pretty crowded. 
I spot Craig standing out front, stretching. Of course. He spots me and waves enthusiastically. Oh. Oh. I mean, hey, bro. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he sounded like. Hey, good to see you, man. I'm definitely, definitely not as pumped up as he is. Maybe I should have had some coffee before I left. Hmm. You ready to kick some butt? Gotta stay posy, dude. With your help, I am. Help! <laughs> <laughs> the last two options mm. are appealing. With your help. I say with I your am. help. I always say with your help. Kagani! With your help. All right. Welcome in. I get the feeling this is gonna be less of me kicking butt and more of the gym kicking my butt. But I can handle it with you here. Hey! Ooh! Yo, dude! Ooh. Bro! That means a lot. We head into the gym, and I'm immediately intimidated. All of these people look like they could break me in half. And it seems like Craig is friends with all of them. Oh. <laughs> he high fives and finger guns all of the cool jocks in the room. They look like they could and would steal my lunch money to spend on protein shakes. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bud. Let's warm up. We head over to the treadmills and start walking. Okay, I can walk. Walking is good. This is a decent place to be. Walking. So, I know we're on treadmills. Oh. Yes. And those over there are ellipticals. Oh. Very good. The <laughs> Oh. <laughs> what is all this other stuff? <laughs> Craig laughed. Hey. Uh, they might look a little scary, but I guarantee that all of them can serve a specific purpose for building muscle mass. Oh, have a good one, Amy. Thank you so much for stopping in. I watch in. as a dude in a muscle tee flexes a muscle I didn't know existed <laughs> on a machine I think was once used to process grain into flour. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Why is that guy doing that to himself? <laughs> That's a good question, bro. What do you think he's doing? He's training to crush people's skulls with his thighs. He's using a medieval torture device. He's praying to some sort of pain god. I like the crushing, you know, people's skulls. What do we skulls. think he's doing? <laughs> skulls. Skulls? That's what I want Craig to do to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's trying to make his thighs so strong that he can crush people's skulls with them. Bro. Yeah, that's pretty much the only reason I work out. Ooh, my chances are high. Crush man skull. Oh. Like sparrow egg between thigh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh no, <laughs> oh no. I think I finally saw it. I didn't see it last time with Brian. Yeah, it's a... Uh, uh... <laughs> They're eggplants. I thought it was confetti. <laughs> Hello, Amy. That's one, type of, confetti. that's one type of confetti, I guess. <laughs> I, I, uh... <laughs> oh no, Craig is turning up the speed. I better do the same. How uh, how long have you been doing the buff thing? A couple of years. And what do you do when you're not dadding or working or buffing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I coach my twin softball team. Sure, I'm sure you can get eggplant shaped confetti. <laughs> you probably, probably could actually. Probably. Also, hi, Halls. How you doing? You're looking up eggplant <laughs> confetti. I am. <laughs> that still counts as both dadding and buffing. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Welcome on in. Hey, hi, huh. I keep busy. What do you do that. for fun? Send that That's to me. That's awesome. Um, let's see. I love learning. I try to live my life as close to a Jimmy Buffet song as possible. I check out my hot bod. <laughs> Who's Jimmy uh, Buffett? Uh, <laughs> the, the Margaritaville guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, any particular daddy you're aiming for? All of them. Mm. Why stop that one when you could have all the daddies? <laughs> mm-hmm. When you can have them all. 
<laughs> Clears up nothing for me. I also don't know who J Jimmy Buffet is. What's the mar <laughs> What's the margarita guy? Jimmy Buffet. I'm gonna look him up. <laughs> Wasting away that again says in Margaritaville. Searching for my lost shaker of salt. Some people say that there's a woman to blame. But I know. B -b 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 yeah, I don't know that song. I'm. I grew up in a Latino household. Let's go. <laughs> what <Yeah>. that? <laughs> so. <laughs> That's the margarita meal song. Which one are we going with? Ooh. He wears a lot of Hawaiian shirts. I love that for him. It's true. <laughs> I am European. This sounds excruciatingly American. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing, except I wasn't as nice about it. I was like, this sounds very white. <laughs> it is very white, trust me. <laughs> um, mm. so I'm leaning towards learning or hot bod. I like a hot bod. Okay. Hot bod. We want we check out our hot bod. Yeah. All right, let's go with it. Mm -hmm. If you've got it for it. It's true. I spend most I spend most of my time in front of the mirror admiring my Adonis like figure that I've worked so hard to sculpt. <laughs> oh he liked yeah. it. <laughs> I like it. Hey. <laughs> I, I I am also very white, so that didn't really work for me. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> uh, although when I think of white, I specifically think American yeah, white. American white, yeah. To be fair. Yeah, I think of like white people in the United States. By that, I mean lay horizontal and watch bad television. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. We're jogging now. Oh God, we're jogging now. <laughs> I look over to Craig who hasn't even broken a sweat. How is he doing this so effortlessly? I'm dying. I can feel my life force draining through every or or orifice of my body. Hmm. Hey, remember when my fish died in college? No, I don't like this story. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, is he really bumping up this lead again? I guess I better do it too. No. Oh, this is fast. This is very fast. <laughs> oh no. no. And we were at that party. We're gonna fly off this thing. And you vowed to make me feel better and tell me to create a distraction. So, of course, I do a sick keg stand and get everyone cheering. And then I try to steal a fish from a fish tank at the party <laughs> with my bare hands like an idiot. <laughs> uh -huh. And then you drop the fish and it was flopping around and you panic. So you run up to me post keg stand with a dying dirty fish in your hand and that scoop that you scooped off the ground. And then you're yelling at me that we have to leave. Bro. <laughs> uh, so we're running out of the frat party oh with a God. fish and trying to give it mouth to mouth oh resuscitation and we get it home and get into a bowl of water. But the prognosis was grim, bro. And the next day he's alive and well. Oh. Bro. They never <laughs> did catch the great fish thieves of Grand Ridge U. <laughs> And they never will. I shoot off the end of the treadmill and crash into the wall. Jesus, man. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Dude, bro. Are you okay? Peg offers me a hand and looks me over for injuries. I'm fantastic. <laughs> I managed to stand up and rub my back. Doesn't hurt now, but I'm sure it will later. Oh man. Oh man. You don't have to push yourself like that. Always know your limits. Well, I think I might call our gym adventure here. Hmm. You sure? Sure you don't want to grab some coffee later? <laughs> yeah. Oh. All right. Well, here. I brought this for you. 
Craig hands me a shaker bottle full of a thick green liquid. Uh, I stare at it with what must be apparent distaste. It's a protein shake, bro. Oh, thank you. He wants me to drink it. Oh Let's boy. Oh no, drink. <laughs> Here goes. Drink, drink, drink. I take a small sip. It's actually delicious. Wow, this is really good. Hey, hey good for you. It's my special recipe. Pretty proud of it. Hey. Let me know if you ever want to work out again. Maybe we can try running around the neighborhood if treadmills aren't your uh, speed. <laughs> no pun intended, bro. Good one. Well, I'm going to go put some ice on this and everything. I'll see you around. <laughs> it's a special protein. Ooh. Oh, 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 no. oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, wow. I'm just going to just. uh. <laughs> <laughs> I leave the gym feeling ashamed. Craig used to order delivery from the pizza place across the street from our dorm, and now he can run circles around me, literally. Man, I really gotta work on this dad bod. I get home and lie down on the couch. It hurts to move. Oh god, I'm so old. <laughs> oh no, I must have fallen asleep. What time is it? Shoot, it's 3.55. I'm supposed to be at Amanda's school in five minutes. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God. Here we oh, go. No. <laughs> I, fr I frantically put on some clean clothes, apply a generous amount of deodorant, and run out the door. That deodorant's going to do nothing for you, buddy. <laughs> You're just going to smell like deodorant and nasty. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I arrive at Amanda's school and check in at the front desk. They give me a bright orange visitor sticker and send me on my way. I'm barely awake and feeling pretty haggard, but hopefully nobody will notice. Sharvana, you want to take this next, Daddy? Sure. I check my watch and I'm relieved to see that I'm only two minutes late. Damn, he he booked it. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wow, actually, was it was it room 103 or 108? I spot a youth standing at his locker and approach him. Fast. A youth? Excuse me. Yeah, you. <laughs> Do you know where Mr. Vegas' classroom is? The youth turns around and looks me up and down with heavily lined eyes. <sighs> Come on, kid. I'm late for a meeting. Mr. Who? Mr. Vega. I don't know. Have you tried the exit? Oh. <laughs> okay, wise guy. Are you going to help me or not? Uh, fine. Up those stairs and to the left. Can't miss him. I head up the stairs and walk around, unable to find Mr. Vega's class anywhere. After a couple minutes of searching, I head back downstairs. That punk you sent me on a wild goose change. I get back to where that low rent Gerard <laughs> Ray is standing, fully ready to give him a piece of my mind, when suddenly, a head pops out of the classroom next to his locker. Mm -hmm. Jushin, don't you have a third period to get to? Oh, fine, Mr. Vega. Mm hmm? Wow. Now I'm officially 10 minutes late. I glare at him as he walks away. We're not cool. <laughs> you must be Ivana. This period's almost over. Would you mind waiting in the back? Hmm? Mr. Vega leads me in and I take a seat in one of the comically small students' desks in the back. I may get stuck in this. Ah. I like his mean bud. All right, here we are That's now. Really handsome. Who can tell me? About the unreliability of the narrator and J.D. Stallinger's Catcher in the Rye. Um. Yes, Colin? Colin stands up and does the thing where he blows into the crook of his elbow to make a fart noise. Oh. Mm. The whole class erupts in laughter. <laughs> all right, all right, everybody. Very funny, Colin. Please sit down. Ah. Now, Holden Caulfield is an unreliable narrator in the sense that... The bell for the end of the period rings. All of the students immediately get up and make a break for the door. Thank you for not spoiling the book. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I read it, but I, I, I like that. Huh? Remember to do the reading and answer the correspondence questions on page 194 in your textbook. 
I finished my first water bottle. Wow. Hey, oh, let's go. Nice. <laughs> I got a kitty cat sitting in my lap. Ooh, I'm jealous. Oh. Yeah. Nobody's listening. Oh. Or not, I guess. Okay. All right, I guess I'm opening the second bottle. Bottles and bottles. Mr. Vega turns to me in size. Hmm. Middle schoolers, right? Don't you teach high schoolers? Hmm. Both, you know, budget cuts. Right. Oh. Thanks so much for coming in. No problem, Mr. Vega. Oh. Please call me Hugo. Eh. I nor don't normally do these impromptu parent teacher meetings, but I'm sure you know Amanda's a very bright student, and I'm concerned about her recent behavior. What's going on? Amanda has never been the most engaged student, but I know she cares. Recently, though, she's been falling behind. She's not completing assignment and assignments, and it has been doing rather poorly on tests. I normally chalk this up to senioritis, but... This is strange. I thought Amanda always shared everything with me. That didn't even cross my mind that something might be uh, wrong. I just wanted to ask, is everything okay at home? We just moved, she's fine, she has a tendency to bottle things up. Hmm. I guess a lot has changed losing her second father and we think. Yeah, that's true. Probably is bottling things up, but I wouldn't say it doesn't sound like she has a tendency. Yeah. So yeah. maybe, maybe we it's just the moved. fact that we just moved and yeah. she's still trying to get used to things, is all? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, so we just moved. Um, but it was only to the other side of town, and Amanda was more excited about it than I was. See if you can talk to her about it. I know she values you a great deal and would appreciate your guidance. If she keeps heading down this road, <sighs> I know how important art school is to her, and I would hate to see her miss out on the scholarship money that she clearly deserves. Uh, make sure to talk to Amanda. Thanks for letting me know, Hugo. Mm. Anytime. On my way out, I stopped, thinking for a moment. I turned to Hugo. Hey, Hugo. Oh. Yes? Did you ever catch that ride? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, you need some hearts. Yeah. Aww. Dad All jokes, right. dad jokes, I tell you. Oh, we cute. All right, let's pause right here for a second so we could take a quick break. Ooh. Hold on. Coffee, coffee. Sounds good. Um, well, alright. I'm gonna switch to the BRB scene. In the meantime, enjoy some clips, my friends. Oh. Be back soon. BRB. Be back soon. Okay, I am gonna order myself food, and you guys are free to do whatever you want. Delicious. Yeah. You wanna reconvene in about <laughs> maybe like 10, 15 minutes? 10, 15, yeah. okay. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna go catch the rye. Oh, <laughs> all, all right. Um, give me a sec. Um, I'm gonna take a little small break, and we'll be back soon. Okay. Yay.
I have. I have returned after foods. How's everyone doing, by the way? Mmm. Ah, delicious. I had a little small snack. Oh, hi, no! <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is so much fun, by the way. I'm still fresh and revitalized. Welcome back. It was just a small snack anyway. I know I only- what I have? Um, some leftover pasta and chicken. And... Some peanut butter. Just randomly peanut butter. <laughs> so it was nothing really that special. <laughs> uh, I'm like my dog. Even though she looked at me, I didn't give her any peanut butter. Yeah, like, I, I got, like, alright, I, I got my pasta in, I got, like, some vegetable in there, and some chicken, and then, afterwards, I just got some peanut butter that I have in the fridge. <laughs> like, afterwards, I was like, alright, drink, 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 peanut butter, mmm. -hmm. And then my dog looked at me like, where's mine? Okay, she had her snacks, she had her snacks. Ugh. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Wow, that was kind of rude. I'm hoping that I'm doing Void the Voices justice. I have to wait for your food to get here? Oh no, Ohana, I'm sorry. That's right, didn't you said you had to order it? What'd you end up ordering, by the way? <laughs> Ray! Hey, whoa. Really, Ray? Really? You're- I've been on your streams. Don't even. <laughs> you ordered Burger King, it's cheap, but it's- Hey, it's cheap and delicious, that's what's up. Oh my god, I'm actually looking at chat. Charvana, what the heck, the purple eggplant? Foil Fetty. Ew. Oh my god, there's little eggplants. <laughs> and there's bigger ed eggplants. Bachelorette confetti. Oh my gosh, on Etsy. I love it. Oh no. <sighs> oh, this is awful. You were trying to order it while streaming, but it wasn't. Yeah, yeah, trying to do that plus hosting a big old honk and stream. That's, in that's too much. No, you're doing good though. You're doing great. Egg bra. <laughs> Yo, Jet, what's going on? Yeah, I saw your thing earlier. So you were saying like when you think about white, you think the European white or LA white, which is pretty on the nose, honestly. Uh, let's see. What else was there? Da -da -na -na -na. And on that, looking on some stuff. Oh, you guys, tomorrow apparently is the big Nintendo Direct. Big, I'd say, um, I think they're focusing on like other games plus some Pikmin. So I'm not sure how that's gonna go. LA or Cali girls have always been the top of my list when I hear what. Yeah, when you hear the word white people kind of thing, you think it's like, surf's up, brah. Or, yeah, the Valley girls. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, look at her butt. It is so big. <laughs> Something like that. I hear that as well, Jet. I hear that a lot. And Ray over here is like, I'm an LA girl. I don't talk like that. California girls in the banana armor. Oh my god, hi! <laughs> That's what I hear. I don't speak like that. Oh, gosh. Ray. Hmm. I, I mean, I don't think so. Err. <laughs> wait, wait, do I? Does that sound like you? <laughs> Does it sound like you? I don't know. <laughs> Does it sound similar? You gotta play, play back this audio and then play back one of your streams. 
and see how that sounds. I'm just kidding, obviously, it doesn't sound like that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, Ray, it does not. It does not sound like that. Don't give me that scaredy. Oh my god, stop! <laughs> she doesn't even go here! <laughs> you can't sit with us. I don't think my father, the inventor of the post- the toaster strudel, would appreciate it that much. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to do all my best. Yeet you! No, I don't have yeet on right now. You can't yeet me. But... Can... Ooh, I've been meaning to do this from your stream. I've been meaning to do this. There it is. <laughs> because I can. Ooh, by the way, I think I have some more, um... Oh, let me let me check to see if my my new thing works. Oh my god, I could die. <laughs> I missed you. <laughs> Yay! It works. Ah! <gasps> uh, ha! Wait. Well, wait. I think I turned. <gasps> Took down my alerts and stuff. Why? What? It's, that never works. I never understand. I don't understand things. Does my does my fancy work? Fancy. Cute. Okay, see that works. Look, I don't understand my uh, um, thingamabobber. It's okay. It's all right. Have you heard of the critically acclaimed VTuber cosplayer and Final Fantasy lover Meg Farrens? I hope you're following her because I hear lightning strikes twice. Hey. And I think I have another one. <gasps> I think this... Let me see if this still works. Mine has been acting weird to... Right? Wait, do you also use... Um... Do you also use trigger fire? Oh, that's a classic one! Oh my god! I can't believe that still works! That's so cool. Alright, I'm going to raise the volume on Meg's uh, alert. Just a little bit. Want to undeafen? Sure! That was the second time that clip has played. Wait, what clip? Also, I'm back. The clip on my screen. <gasps> oh. Hi. Hello. Hello there. Um, so we're gonna go... Shino, are you, are you East Coast? Yes. All right, we're gonna go until 8.30. Is that good with yeah, you? Yeah, that's good. Cool, cool. Okay. Um, my food should be here in a couple minutes, but I'm ready to start. <laughs> hey, no worries. No okay. worries, yeah. Hey, what is that? Now that that was an old uh, old clip okay. that I that I used Let's to see, use let me a lot. Switch back over. Mm -hmm. Screen capture. Nice. Okay, and we are back. Hello. How was your breaks, by the way? Oh, it was good. It was good. It was yummy. Good. Got some tomato soup. Tom tomato soup. Put it on the way. Uh -huh. hey, just like, just like Mama um, used to make. <laughs> and will you guys want to take another break in about like an hour and a half or so, or do you think you guys are good? Probably to feed my cat. Yes. Could okay. at least check in. Yeah. Uh, sure. We'll check in in about um around seven o'clock for me. Sure. Okay. All right. More daddy um, dating time. Stop I it, I leave Ray. the classroom and make my way out of the school. I'm still a little bit in shock that Amanda was able to hide this so well for me. She's always been a, su such a force for, of positivity in my life, especially after we lost her father. Amanda must be done with classes for the day by now. I'm sure she would appreciate a ride home and maybe I can talk to her about what's going on. Tomato soup, just like Mama used to make <laughs> when she tried to make balagnese. 
sauce. I've never I, I, I've never had tomato soup before. At least not like homemade. Really? Oh, yeah. I love tomato soup. It's very good homemade. This is canned stuff. <laughs> yeah, I think I've tried canned canned tomato soup. I didn't really like it. Um, did I read this? I read this. Huh. I pull up to the car pool, and Amanda hops in the passenger seat. Yeah. So, did you have fun gossiping about me? Mr. Vega and I actually just gossiped about our celebrity crushes. Mm -hmm. So you talked about Mario Batali the whole time? Who's, Who's Mario, Mario Batali? Is, is he worth being a celebrity crush? <laughs> He's not worth being a celebrity. Uh, uh, American chef. Oh, maybe. I do like a man who could cook. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking is a good skill to have. It was a very productive meeting. Oh. I'm pretty hungry. Can we grab some dinner? Sure thing. Um, food court or something at home? Food court! Food court! Do it! Food Do court! It. Might be Bellotelli? Does that sound good to you? Hmm. Yeah, sure. Why the mall? Jeez, can a dad take his daughter to the mall? <laughs> will you buy me things? I will buy you a thing. Singular. Sounds like a deal to me. Hmm. We drive in silence for a short while. Amanda plays a game on her phone. I should say something. You know, sometimes when a kid gets a kid gets older, they find that they have to keep things from their parents. And that's okay, because sometimes that's what kids do. We could get her response in a second. I'll be your back. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, like, oh, wait, are, uh, I, I thought quick. this we were about to have the talk. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> look, I don't know. She's like, you know, sometimes, you know, when a kid gets older. Oh, no, I don't know where this is going. Whoa. <laughs> All right, keep stream um, occupied. I'm going to grab my food real quick. Occupado. Mm. All right. <laughs> Taking over Ohana's stream. Let's go. Let's go take over. Botchery. This is our stream now. This is. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a good lay on screen right now. I really like that lay. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, here we go. Dang. Uh, I don't know if it's illegal where I'm at, you know? Here I we couldn't go. hang anything from my, my mirrors or anything. Oh, we bring in the hype? We bring the hype. Jeez. Ooh, dropping that face. Debauchery. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> hey, Tiny! Alright, I am back. Oh, crap. Oh, alright. Oh, hey, <laughs> Ohana! What are you doing? What are you doing? Hello, Hello. Yasa! Hello. We were doing Hello. anything. Hello. <laughs> Why are you saying my name like that? <laughs> <laughs> like what? What do you mean? Yeah. Whatever could you possibly mean? Yeah. We were not doing anything suspicious. Mm hmm I believe well, you. We weren't having a rave party. I we mean... Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely definitely not. <laughs> mm hmm mm hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> I am excited for this milkshake. Oh? Mm. What kind of milkshake? Uh, chocolate Oreo. Ooh. Mm, that definitely brings all the Is boys they? to the yard. Hopefully, it brings Craig to the yard. Hey yo! Mm. Yeah. Are we? Are we? Are we going for Craig? Sounds like we're going for Craig. I mean, you know, uh, we haven't, we met, haven't met all, all of the daddies. daddies you're right. Fair. Craig, the church boy. <laughs> yeah, we still. Oh yeah, the youth got, minister. With the creepy. Kids. Oh yeah. The I do, I do like to uh, corrupt the good people. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's fun. 
So that that is also an option. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This bag is like full of sauce. All right, let's continue. <laughs> <laughs> And that's okay, but also sometimes it's good to have the parents' perspective. Because, you know, maybe the parents have also dealt with similar situations. Mm. And maybe they're a little cooler than you give them credit for. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that it's good to share. Love you. Have you been reading my tweets? <laughs> you have a Twitter? <laughs> hmm. What? Never mind. Oh. Look, sweetie, Mr. Vegas said you have been participating in class. You haven't been participating in class, and that you're not turning things in. Okay. Oh, I'm fine, Pops. Senioritis and all that. I thought you liked Mr. Vegas' class. Oh. Okay. It's fine. He's fine. Everything's fine. We pull up to a spot stoplight, not spotlight, and I, I Amanda. <laughs> she's still texting. Yes, I want you to know that you can talk to me about anything. Dad. Uh huh. I can tell that whatever it is, she doesn't want me knowing about it. That's frustrating. Mm -mm -mm. Um, I heard Emma R is going to that fancy art school in California. Fancy. That's exciting. Yep. Are you bummed that you guys aren't going to the same school? Yep. Hmm. Amanda keeps sexing. She stifles a laugh. What's so funny? Uh, it's... I don't think you get it. Okay. Who are you texting? I don't you know have what? a fancy command. Oh, you should get a fancy command. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Noah? My friend. Does he Ooh, go to your school? More information. Ooh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. Oh, yeah. What is no one like? I know. What's no one texting you? Do you like, like Noah? Hey. What? No. <laughs> Dad. This is exactly how I send text messages. <laughs> what? No! Ugh. I can't believe you would... Exactly oh. like this. <laughs> Dad. I mean, jeez. Why would you... Ugh. Gross. Right, 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 right. No, I don't think the emo kid's name was Noah. Didn't didn't we get his name? No, it was a different type of name. It wasn't Noah. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was. Uh, uh, oh, I had it in my head. It's on the tip of my tongue. But it wasn't Noah. Hmm. Sorry, sorry. Just asking. Dad, he's just my friend. <laughs> Guys and girls can be friends. He's my friend. Oh, we're getting cooking instructions. Hold on. Lucian, that's what his name is. <laughs> Ooh. Lucian, yes. Yep, yep. Yeah, I knew it was something like very emo. <laughs> Why yeah. was that an emo name? <laughs> Lucian. I don't know. It's just Ugh. emo to me. Lucian. That sounds like a lot of work. I don't like making soup. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crock pot. Get crock pot. It's good. You're real good. Huh? Okay, okay. Jeez. Oh, sorry. I, I like sped by that. <laughs> Personally, I'd call Lucian a more goth name. Yeah, yeah. It, it is more goth, definitely. It is more, yeah. This is going well. Well, good talk. Love you, kiddo. She leans forward and turns up the radio. I guess that conversation's over. So the mall then. We're doing such a good job. Shave with such a good the parent. grain, apparently. We're doing great. 
Lucian's the name that is used in like fantasy novels for vampires and werewolves. Ooh, exactly. True. Oh, yes, that's that's like, true. Lu- Lucian is a vampire name. Mm. Uh, yeah. What does it mean? I wonder. What happened? I wonder what it means because I'm sure there's a reason why it's used for that. Oh yeah, like, I guess Luna, it makes me think of moon. I don't know. We arrive at the mall, a big indoor shopping center with a couple different floors. It's kind of dead, but that doesn't stop a mall security guard from yelling at a group of loitering kids. Probably because it's close to Lucifer. Right, right, right. Mm, maybe. Of the light. Yeah, light. Lucifer Elegant and ethereal. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Oh, and also, I mean, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. You know, Lucian, it, it, it makes me think of Luke. Um, like loose, Lou. It's like like. <laughs> we have I read the. Mo- Wait, I read this already. Let's eat something disgusting for dinner. That's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> this is delicious. I know. Mm. Yes. Hell yeah. Language, Missy. Hmm. Heck yeah. Better. Hmm. Right, Maluna. We approach the food court and evaluate our options. There's greasy restaurant after greasy restaurant. Delicious. My heart burns just looking at the menus. Nobody looks happy to be here. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. What are you in the mood for? Bread dipped in sugar, mm. bread with cheese on it, or do you just want me to inject some fat directly into your bloodstream? Ooh, clog my, all clog of my things. arteries, please. <laughs> yeah. Clog all of them. <laughs> I extend my hand to her. Would you do me the honor of sharing some nachos? Ah. She takes my hand with a grin. That would make me the happiest, cheesiest girl <laughs> alive. You order a giant pile of chips and unnaturally orange cheese from a very unenthusiastic and possibly stolen teenager. We take a seat at a rickety table and dig in. No. These are bad. These are very bad. No. no. <laughs> but also strangely delicious. We have to eat through the pain. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. <laughs> We enjoy the fluorescent cheesy goodness together until we're all out of nachos. Mm, so, eh? something's been bothering me for a while. Can you explain memes to me? Memes? Oh, oh my god, <laughs> Dad. Oh. What do you mean? All, all memes? We have to eat through the pain. It's the true American way. True. <laughs> wow. How else do you get over your depression? Ooh. Just keep eating. Just keep eating. Just keep exactly. eating. Exactly. What do we do? We eat. <sighs> Amanda sighs deeply and places her head in her hands. Ugh. Dad, it's complicated. See, memes are inside jokes shared by a bunch of people that get less funny the more people do it. So the problem is that by the time a meme gets to you, Dad, all of you have already done the joke to death. Mm, facts. True, true, true. It only helps depression half the time. The other half of the time you're forgetting to eat. True. That's true. That is true. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your pronouns, everyone. Ugh. And what's worse than that is that movies and TV and video games will try to jump in on a meme train, but just based on how long it takes to make them, the meme will be long dead by the time it comes out. So it just dates it, and it isn't funny. It's like TikTok trends. <laughs> oh shit, what up? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Dad, please. He's cool. He's hip with it. What are you talking about? Yeah, what do you mean, girl? Anyway, changing the subject. Is that boy? <laughs> Where to now? Want to go to that golf store? Hmm. What? You know, the one that's all black and tries to establish itself as anti-establishment, despite being an exact representation of the establishment. <laughs> 
I don't know what store you're talking about. You know, the one where you can buy chain wallets and it's basically an assault on what people fought so hard against in the punk and hardcore movement yeah. of the 70s and 80s. Hot topic, I know. Man, I, I miss say, hot like, topic. That's hot topic. <laughs> Dude, you gotta be more specific. Thank you, Nixus. The one you threw up in that one time. <laughs> oh, that How one. How do you remember that one? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fun, silly fact. They used to have, like, these, like, gates. These super thorny and spiky gates outside of our Hot Topic in our mall. And my mom wouldn't let me go in because she's like, they look like the gates of hell. Oh. <laughs> Sick. My, my, she's, she's since grown, and they have also since gotten rid of their gates. Aww, but, uh, those sound like cool, cool gates. Wow. Amanda runs into the store with me trailing behind her. She makes a beeline for the back. Hey. There it is. All right, who, can see the outline. Kind are we gonna see Lucian who, who, again? Who doesn't have two daddies at the moment? I do not. At this, mm -hmm. I only have. Wait, no, no I have, have two. two. I have two. I have a uh, Craig and Coffee I think guy. Maluna. Do you I have, have a Craig and Coffee guy. Um, I have Amanda and Daisy and someone else. Wait, do you have a dad? Oh, God. Oh, you have Joseph, right? Joseph. So you have three. All right. Um, all right, Chino, you want to take this next one? Mm, sure. You'll see him in a second. Okay. Which one? Which one? I was going to say, I thought Lucian's going to There it come. is. <laughs> There it is. You can still see the outline, kind of. Gross. Uh, the vomit? Nasty. I'm so proud. <laughs> the speech. Amanda? All right. And speech, 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 speech. <laughs> All right, I'll do it if you stop chanting. <laughs> Amanda stops immediately. <laughs> I clear my throat. <clears> throat. Oh, wait, I just clicked off the game. <laughs> <laughs> Beach, 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 beach. Beach, beach, I also beach, just clicked beach. a random button on my OBS. I'm glad I didn't stop stream. That would have oh, been awkward. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it would have been really, I really, I, I, I really need to move my controls from where they're at. Thank <laughs> <laughs> <Right. clears throat> Thank you all for joining us here today to commemorate an historic moment that would forever shape history. On a day very much like today, some five years ago, our very own Amanda Ann Melbishi <laughs> had too much blue raspberry slushy on an outing to the mall. After begging her father to take her to dead golf and beyond <laughs> to buy rainbow suspenders, she proceeded to throw up all over a display of My Chemical Romance <laughs> merchandise. Her loving father then had to pay for said merchandise, which to this day remains among our possessions. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda's boo. She begins clapping, slow at first, then faster and more vigorously. Several other patrons turn their heads. One of them also starts clapping. I bow my head. <laughs> oh, hey. Chain wallet. Mm. While Amanda busies herself looking at band t-shirts, I try to find something of interest to myself. Not much for a dad to look at in Dead Goth and Beyond. <laughs> I love that uh, name. Yeah, there is. <laughs> Are we gonna look at the t-shirts? We're gonna look at the mugs, or are we gonna check the clearance bin? I know what I would do, but mm -hmm. I don't know. What, then again, again, I haven't gotten any dates in games yet. So. <laughs> <laughs> Ironic mugs are always a safe choice. True. Mugs are good. Mugs are cute. Mugs are cute. But I like a good deal. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I was gonna go for the deal, so I don't know if that's the right way to go. Right. <laughs> Hmm. All right. I mean, how many mugs do we have at home? Just saying. Mm. I don't believe a lot. Anyway. <laughs> he does like himself some coffee. True. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go for the clearance, man. Oh, yeah, let's get some right. on sale. We can get two things for the price of one. Yeah, two oh, mugs. Yeah, two mugs. Oh, yeah, what there. if they're mugs and... Yes, I agree. True. No, they're you got one out of the ten dates with that lady that wasn't an actual date option, right? Uh, yeah, but then we broke up at the end, remember? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
clearance bin. I got some pride t-shirts once from Yeah, there might be pride t-shirts. Let's go. Ooh, let's go. I want the gay Ooh, stuff. I see kind of rainbow-y stuff over there on the wall. There's a big cardboard box of marked on items. I'm pretty sure four dollars for purple eyeliner is a good deal. I think. Yeah, but also you gonna put that shit on your eyes? No. Mm, how long how long has that been too? Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm hmm I have no eyes ever on I have <laughs> Oh no, that's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I would look good in purple eyeliner. Hell yes, I would. <laughs> that's, hey, yeah. that's the confidence I want. All right, Chino, okay. I think this is your daddy. Uh, I don't know what he looks like, but I'll go with... Uh, I'll just do my He's own. in a golf store, okay, so okay. let's go with that. Uh, uh, look, this is very important to me. I don't know. Oh, I was right. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> Whoa, look at him. Oh, man, super goth. I will be here stifled argument over it um, at the cash register. An older gentleman is carrying a garment and showing it to a bored looking cashier with pink hair. Um, I can see that. Don't know what to tell you, dude. I just worked here. Ah, ah, listen, while I bought this online, the website said this blouse was Victorian inspired. However, when I received it, it is clearly held the trademark of Edwardian dressage. Do you want a coupon? I can give you a coupon. Will you leave if I give you a coupon? <laughs> <laughs> Is there a manager present? People have okay, to know Karen. what they're buying. He's secretly a vampire. <laughs> he is giving those vibes. Blur, blur. I am the manager. <laughs> I've come to suck your blood. Well, I see. Well, it, that would seem that I've outstayed my welcome. Good day, shopkeek. Your superiors will receive a strongly worded letter by post. <laughs> you write a letter? Too? This guy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Whatever, dude. The man whirls around and storms out, his literal court coattails trailing behind him. Fancy. I can't tell if they are Victorian inspired or Edwardian in nature. <laughs> Amanda trots up to me with a t shirt in her hand. Oh boy, here it comes. Uh -huh. Hey, Datron 5000. Datron. Yes, I'll buy it for you. <laughs> wow, that was easy. Thanks. Get one thing. At least it's only one this time. Amanda plops the shirt onto the counter and grins at the cashier. <laughs> I love your hair. You know a guy like him in, in real life? He's insufferable yet <laughs> lovable. I love that for you. <laughs> 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 The cashier says nothing and rings Amanda up, radiating hatred. Radiating hatred. I hand her a 20. So what was that guy's deal? The cashier rolls her eyes so hard I'm worried she'll pull something. <laughs> That's Damien. He's in here all the time. He's obsessed with Victorian fashion or whatever. She hands Amanda her bag and it's clear the conversation's over. We make our way out of the store and head home to get some rest. Amanda and I sit on the couch, trying to find something to watch over bowls of ice cream. Oh, cool. Long haul paranormal ice road ghost truckers in Hawaii. <laughs> Your favorite, right? <laughs> That's like all reality shows <laughs> in one. Uh huh. Just need a little competition element there. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> they used to know a guy who thought he was like him, but he failed at it so hard he was insufferable, not lovable. No, no lovable. Oof. Oh. Oof. Heavy on the dis disgust. I'm like. Waiting for like moments where you guys speak so that I could like munch down on chicken nuggets. <laughs> oh, um, uh, oh, hell yes, they have to make it over the Canadian tundra before the ice road melts, but also they're hunting ghosts. Huh. Also, the trucks are haunted. <laughs> this is an episode I've already seen, but it's one of the best. Callum and Flint Dugbone, the twin brother truck driving and ghost hunting duo, find themselves in the greatest peril yet. Oh no, the ghosts got done got control of the truck. I can't see on them there them damn ice roads, damn. Let what me use this is EVP me to try and communicate with the spurts. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Nick, we're about to die. Oh, oh, oh. almost if you got it. If you listen carefully, it sounds like they're saying you're gonna die. <laughs> I love that, bro. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> this is great. That's because we're about to die, you ah. 
<laughs> this is art. <laughs> <laughs> the episode ends and Amanda excuses herself to go and start arguments on the internet. Let's go, Amanda. Oh, same. <laughs> <laughs> She's a little troll. I stay up a little longer, curious about the exploits of Callum and Flint after the disastrous ice road incident. Afterward, I crawl into bed and get a good night's sleep. Shave with the grain. Shave with the grain. Yes, you don't go against the grain. What? Morning. Oh, wait, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, sleepyhead. Five more minutes. You have never, ever let me have five more minutes, so get up. Fine. We have cereal for breakfast and spend the morning putting together furniture. Amanda is much better at interpreting, interpreting the tiny manuals. Ooh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Assume the position. Oh my god. <laughs> We're able to put together a few shelves and one desk, but I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be a bookcase. So, you excited for the cookout today? Ooh, cookouts today. Excited to beef up my grilling skills. Mm. If there's food, I'm excited. And... I'm always excited for food. I was gonna say food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. If there's food, I'm excited. Damn, I just stuck a chicken nugget in my mouth. <laughs> 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 I'm all over those terrible store bought sugar cookies that everyone brings mm -hmm. to parties. <laughs> yeah, those are bad. Everybody brings it though. <laughs> Which means they are more for me. Oh. Don't you want to meet some of the people in the neighborhood? I'll probably end up standing uncomfortably in the corner with a plate of food and hope that nobody talks to me. Oh. Same. Dad, you're a beautiful work in progress. We'll get that butterfly to emerge from the cocoon. <laughs> eh? The social butterfly. Hey. Well, we better start getting ready. We definitely don't want to be late. Ah. What? No, we have to be fashionably late. Mm. Who shows up to a cookout on time? You know what? We're going early. No, Just because you said that. We don't want to be the first ones there. <laughs> I head out the door and Amanda reluctantly follows. Now we walk across in. the street to Joseph's house with a store bought veggie plate. I'm a terrible cook if it doesn't involve a grill. Hmm. Imagine going to a cookout and bringing hamburgers. Like, like, grub hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> like, here you go, I grilled this up. Uh, I have had people do that when they were veggie burgers, and they were like, we didn't know if you would have any. That, so, that makes sense. Not you know terrible. That makes sense. That That's fair. But normal hamburgers, that's just rude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I bought these 100% like, Angus <laughs> beef burgers. I was like, oh, excuse me. No. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> I went to the dollar store. <laughs> 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 Um, not to that too, but also just being factually wrong, like when he tried to say it was nice that Stephanie Brown came out as gay in the comics. She didn't. She's one of my favorite comic characters. She's canonly straight. He just wanted to sound knowledgeable and fail. Oh. We love people who try to sound knowledgeable and fail. Um, I guess we're not as early as we thought we were. Joseph's backyard is already packed with people and the smell of hot dogs wow. wave, wave through the air. Wafts. Small children wafts. wafts. Laughs. Huh. Small children run through a sprinkler and adult chat and adults chat in small clusters. I could speak. I set our veg veggie plate down on a table next to two other veggie plates. Oh my God, huh. so many veggie plates. Hey, there's Joseph. I wave to get his attention. The moment he sees us, he jogs over, arms open wide. Uh. All you, Maluna. Oh, that's me, right? Welcome. I'm so glad you two are here. And you brought veggies. <laughs> so healthy. <laughs> Let me introduce you to my family. Kids, come on over here. This is Chris, my eldest. Yeah. Hi. Oh. <laughs> this is Christian and Christy. They're twins. No. Ah. They stare creepily <laughs> and say nothing. But... Chris, Chris. Wow. Christy. Oh, God. <laughs> then, of course, there's our youngest, Chris. Oh, God. <laughs> First names. Chris. 
Chris? 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 That is the name. That's the name. I mean, Wait. I guess we can't talk. We're called Ohana. Ovana. <laughs> no, 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 Ovana no, no, we have a great name. <laughs> we have a great name. What do you say? Wait, where's Chris? Maybe Mary put him in his crib. <laughs> oh, and how could I forget my lovely wife, Mary? Uh, She's all right. I didn't stop me. I guess everybody couldn't be single. I, I suppose we're going to try to steal from somebody. He's still an option. Oh, that's true. Oh, Joseph picks her on the cheek. We're going to be homewreckers. I'm so excited. Maybe he's in, in an, an unsatisfying marriage. <laughs> Please note their names are Joseph and Mary. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. And all, oh, the, kids, and all the kids are like very, their names are like variants oh, of the word Christ, Christ aren't yeah. they? Chris, Christian, yeah, Christian, Christian, Christian Christy, Christy, and Chris. Chris. It's a bit much. Jesus. Literally, Jesus, yeah. I can't wait to corrupt them. Oh. <laughs> you can show them God. Please ruin that marriage. <laughs> <laughs> We're invested, I guess. <laughs> Well, now we gotta corrupt this marriage. I'm sorry, but she looks evil as fuck. <laughs> She's... Oof. Joseph pecks her on the cheek. She smiles. It's just her color palette. Yeah. She'd be fine in like, a <laughs> rainbow shirt. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Mary, sweetheart, did you put Chris to bed? She's here closeted. Super closeted. You know that. Yeah. Yeah, but she seems like one of those closeted ones who are, like, super homophobic. Well, yeah. I feel like they both might be. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Hmm. Um, who wants to voice Mary? Oh. I'll, just, I I'll can... have to go look for him. I'll do it. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to go look for him. What? You'll have to. Oh. <laughs> Wait, they thought about the baby. I just realized. <sighs> <sighs> yep. Joseph takes a moment and regains his composure. <laughs> Mary, this is our new neighbor, Ohovana, and his daughter, Amanda. Ah. Gotta shake your hand, but I have a glass of wine and I <laughs> that I need to tend to. Mmm. <laughs> unhappy marriage. I love her. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mary. Charmed. Well, I have to get over there now. Yeah. <laughs> My wife has a wonderful sense of humor, but please, we do enjoy the barbecue. All the guys are really excited to meet you. Here, let me introduce you around. Ugh. This is Robert. He lives just across the way. A haggard man nursing a glass of whiskey eyes me up and down. <clears throat> Ooh. Hey, I'll do him. <laughs> I'm losing count on how, how many people you guys have. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, so I'm losing it too. I'm trying to figure out. It's all good. Out. It's all good. Three daddies. So hey, I'm Ovana. It's nice to meet you. He takes a long swig of his drink. Charmed. Yeah. Ovana and his daughter just moved in next door. I'll do him, but who's gonna do the voice? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> wow. Hey. I'm gonna pin that. Hey, yo. <laughs> cool. If you ever need rec oh sorry, that's you. Get off <laughs> get off my line. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> If you have any recommendations on where to get a drink in this town, Rob's your man. I told you not to call me Rob. Oh, Kurt Douglas. Right, got Kurt it. Kurt Douglas? Is that what he said? Oh, Kurt Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> Robert ambles away without saying goodbye. He's not really a people person. Wow, I think I've actually met everybody else. Oh. Huh. Great. I bet you're excited to get to know everybody better. Hope you both enjoy yourselves. Amanda and I mill around and try to s try some of the food spread out on the table. I pick up some deviled eggs. Amanda grabs a small paper plate and immediately begins piling it with baked goods. I love deviled eggs. Deviled eggs are good. Mm. Ugh, I don't want to mm. have to make friends. 
Come on, Dad. Who are you going to party with when I go off to school? Myself. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. Internet friends. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. My friends on Twitch. Which, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't want to have to do pleasantries. <laughs> hmm. Dad. Uh, they're gonna talk about weather. Small talk. Uh. Go do it. Make a friend. But how can I possibly abandon my only child at a social function? That's bad parenting. Yeah. This plate of cookies is my new dad. Bye. <laughs> Traded. You traitor. Amanda, you traitor. Yeah. <laughs> Amanda shoves me into the center of the yard. Well, here goes nothing. I look around the party and I'm, su I'm surprised to see some familiar faces. Isn't that the barista from the coffee spoon? What a cool yeah. guy. And mysterious. Didn't that guy throw a frisbee at my head? <laughs> Isn't that the guy who's throwing a fit in dead golf and beyond? Isn't that Amanda's teacher? Wow, everybody's here. Hey, I know, Craig. <laughs> well, wait a second. All of these people live in our cul-de-sac? That can't be That's right. Too big I better investigate. That's too big of a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I gotta look at these, like... What the hell is Damien? I feel like I'm Damien. Like, the, go <laughs> the goth one? Is is that Damien? Oh, Damien's the goth. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Craig is the bro. I'm just looking at the groups to make sure that, like... <laughs> which one's gonna be where we're gonna have to double up. Here goes the team. I'm gonna have to double up at the top. Right. Who's everybody's favorite right now? Right now. Ooh. Mine is Craig. We haven't really have... gotten a no. Craig. I like Craig, but I haven't gotten a no. I, like, I think I like Craig dude. too, yeah. We also oh. haven't gotten a no the vampire. True. True. Mm. Or Robert for that matter. I kinda I'm I'm also an intellect lover, so I'm kinda liking Hugo as well. Mm, but that's true. Wait, who's Matt again? Which one is Matt? Matt's the barista, so oh in God. that in that group you would be doubled up. Oh, that's still fine. You going crazy? Burger time. Although burger, <laughs> although burgers crazy. though. Oh, burgers though. I think I think burger is the way to exit out. Oh, okay. we can get the meat oh. and the man meat. What do we want? Yeah, so I think if we choose burger, we won't actually talk to anyone. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah. but there's so much meat out there though. Well, <laughs> if if Hugo and Craig are the ones. Ooh. Uh, um, if Uga and Craig's are the, are the ones that we like the most, maybe we should save them for last. Do we, oh, we get to talk to all of them? Do we know? Yeah, I think, I think we could talk to all of them. Oh, okay. I'm right. trying to remember. Do you remember, Maluna? No, I don't. I feel like I'm we could talk to all two. of them. Yeah, I think you go through them one by one. Mm -hmm. all, right. all right. So let's do uh, the Christian guy and the vampire. That sounds that like is... a fun party. <laughs> Yeah. That is so... This is gonna be weird. Yep, yep, yep. Go. Alright. Let me get my vampire voice on. It's Pop Joseph chatting with the guy from Dead Goth and Beyond by the grill. I wonder what they're talking about. I walk over oh. to them. So, I'm curious. Can you walk me through why you had your house painted black? Huh. Where do I even start? The house stays warmer in the winter. It provides an art artistic contrast to the rest of the neighborhood, and it complements the crimson interior perfectly. It's definitely an interesting choice. Oh, uh, thank you. I'm very proud of my abode. <laughs> well, Lana, let's just have a conversation with Damien here about his... Aesthetic design decisions. Taking notes, taking notes. I finished my chicken nuggets. Oh, Vana is very sad right Aww, now. Wait, what, what, uh, <laughs> what sauce did you have, by the way? Mm. Barbecue. Nice, Classic. nice. I'm pretty basic. It's a good one, it's a good one. Red and black, this guy knows what's up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, true, true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Damien regards me up and down with a warm but critical eye. Ah. Hmm. How do you do? I don't believe I've had the pleasure... Edward Cullen, do not look at me like that. <laughs> I think I saw you in Dead Goth and Beyond the other day. Oh. Damien's face turns bright red. I must apologize for my behavior. On that day, 
You see, I take the goth's lifestyle very seriously, and to be caught in a ruse by such a corporation as Dead Goth and Beyond was profoundly frustrating indeed. I hope you know that while my anger may have been justified, it was no such way for a gentleman to act. It's okay, man. <laughs> Do tell me about yourself. Are you new to the area? Yes, my daughter and I just moved in the other day. She was the one I took to Dead Goth and Beyond. <laughs> Very good taste on her part. Does she partake in the goth lifestyle? I think for a second. I look over to Amanda, who's hanging out with some of the other kids in the neighborhood. What? Hey, Amanda! <laughs> Will you consider yourself goth? Yes, no. I love that. Amanda yells back. I wouldn't necessarily try to fall under any one specific label, but I guess if I had to choose, I would do more describe myself as a twee hipster with some no normcore leanings. <laughs> I love that. Normcore? <laughs> Bats are cool, though. <laughs> Ah, uh, uh, I love our daughter. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> She's great. Uh, Best character. Ah, uh, pity. Are <laughs> you enjoying the party so far? Oh, definitely. Thanks so much for putting this on. It's nice to be in a cul-de-sac where everyone is so friendly and welcoming. Uh, yeah. Amanda walks up to the conversation. I also like The Lost Boys a lot. Really good movie. Does that count as God? <laughs> Yes. Uh, that is. <laughs> oh, actually, that it would, my dear. I don't believe we've had the pleasure of meeting Damien Bloodmarch at your service. Not his name being Bloodmarch. Bloodmarch. <laughs> Damien finishes the sentence with a flourish and a bow. I love that. Come on, come on, Chino. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Producing a single rose and offering it to Amanda. Oh. Amanda blushes and returns the jester with a curtsy. Wait, where did he get the rose from? Adorable. <laughs> yeah. Nice. He's a magician. <laughs> How to treat a lady. Ah. Oh my god. Oh god. Who wants They're to be the creepy oh, Hello, Amanda. Hello, Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> Seemingly out of nowhere, Joseph's twin kids appear. Gosh. Uh, are they speaking in unison? Whoa. <laughs> hey. Won't you Won't come, you play, come with play with us? Huh? Um, come play, come play with, with us, us forever. forever. Oh, God. <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> Guys, enough with the cre creepy twin stick. We've talked about this. <laughs> Christian and Christy slowly back away. Christian and Christy are definitely going to grow up and be cult leaders. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. oh my god. I see that. Um, Mary, Where that's the mom. Where did that from? Uh, Mary pops into the conversation wine in hand. Yeah. I uh, don't know. Mary takes a long sip of the wine. Get it, girl. <laughs> Get it, girl. I think I might have taped over VeggieTales VHS with a shiny. Who knows? <laughs> 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 she takes another sip. Where's Chris? Ugh. Wasn't he with you? I'm supposed to take care of yeah, this way. woman. <laughs> I'm telling you, they're both closet. You had him a moment ago. Right. Hmm. He's probably just sniffing dirt, or stuffing dirt in his mouth. <laughs> It'll be alright. Our toddlers are pretty resilient. Mary tips her glass to me. Ah. Ain't my first time to the rodeo. It's my fourth. Yeah, I can count. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna squeeze four little. Sweetheart, would you do me a favor and please find Chris? That would be great. <laughs> hmm. oh, I'm sure he's fine. Yeah. Mary. Hmm. Okay, geez. Mary finishes her wine and wanders off. Mother of the year. Yeah. Dad, can we go oh now? Oh my god, that's my son. Ah, <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, Lucian. 
How about oh I introduce my God, you I call, to? I can call oh. Shino Daddy now. <laughs> Bonnie. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We we met the two twins. We met grumpy little blue boy. This guy and a small baby. That's well, five. This guy no, is no, the no. Damien's kid. Damien's yeah, kid. Yeah, this is Damien's oh, kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 This is my kid. Yeah, so I guess I could, I could call Shino Daddy no, now. No, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. No. <laughs> and you can't deny it, Chino. In this context, I mean, you may be. <laughs> oh, good lord. Did you read that? Oh, yeah, I, I already did. <laughs> hey, it's that punk from Amanda School. I remember you. Whatever. Hmm. Uh, that's no way for a young man to speak to his elders. Be polite. Lucian bows. Whatever, sir. Lucian bows again. Wow. <laughs> this was me in high school, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Han has gone back to his uh, his rebel stage. I mean, I, I, I didn't dress that way, but that is exactly how I talk to you. <laughs> Mr. Crin Mr. Christensen, may I have a veggie burger, sir? That's their last name. Oh my god, his last name is Christensen. No. <laughs> <laughs> Christensen, Christy Christensen. Oh, Come right up, bud. Are you vegetarian? Christian Christensen. Yep. Huh. Make that two veggie burgers. Did you know that some people in the Victorian era, era were vegetarians? They described carnivorous type people as blood lappers. Oh my god, he really is Edward Cullen. He's a vegetarian oh. vampire. I think so. Wow. Yes. Dad. Yeah. E. <laughs> no, that's not what you're saying. That's not what it said. Oh, Hana, don't even try that. <laughs> Sneaking that in there. I heard that. <laughs> that's really interesting, Damien. Joseph turns to the girl. Just a hint of a tattoo peeks out from underneath his sleeve. Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> I can't believe I didn't notice it before. It looks like the bottom of an anchor. Was he a sailor boy? <laughs> Whoa, is that a tattoo? Yeah. Uh, yep, I was always a youth pastor. You know? I wasn't always a youth pastor, you know? That's so cool. Want to see mine? I. Oh. What? Lucian pulls back some rubber bracelets, revealing a lopsided 666 oh, no. in black ink. Oh. My buddy gave me a stick and poke tattoo last no. week, and it's really not pretty good. <laughs> Lucian! <laughs> We'll talk about this later. Yeah. That's pretty cool. What's the significance of the tattoo? Uh. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it looked sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, in my opinion, the only reason you need to get a tattoo is because you want one. Careful, though. That number carries weight. Ma'am. Joseph is a way cooler youth pastor than I thought. Oh, yeah. I just figured youth pastors popped out of the womb with a Bible. I wonder what he did before preaching. Or who he did. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, talk to Robert and Brian next. Alright. I glance a, uh, across yeah. the yard and notice Robert and Brian chatting over drinks. Man, I don't think I want to deal with being one-upped by Brian right now. But I guess I could live with learning more about Robert. Oh no, they caught me staring. Yeah, no, 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 they're staring right back at us. Oh no, Brian's waving me over. I'm over here! Shit. I flash a smile and walk over to them. Hey, guys! Sure, Nick says he didn't change him. Oh, Vanna! How the heck are you? Is that new in the neighborhood all right? Oh, you betcha. I got the living room in order, at least. That's great to hear. I've been doing some living room work as well. Finally got the 50 inch in there. The game's looking great in high def. Oh boy. Oh. Havana, have you met Robert yet? Yeah, we've met. 
Robert regards me over his whiskey. Good seeing you again. Ah. We were just talking about the most recent campaign camping trick. Spent a night out in the woods with Daisy and Maxwell. She's definitely an outdoorsy one. Even caught her first fish. At ten oh. years old. Nice. Mm-hmm. It's good to see you taking your daughter out like that. I bet she loved it. Hey. And it's great that she loves the outdoors. Mine loves being inside. I can relate. Brian raises his eyebrows at me. Being inside making art. She won a local competition for that art. Yep. Hmm. Did I put it on too strongly? Robert stares at me blankly for a hey. second. Anyway. Whoa, whoa. I haven't gone camping in years. Not since the last time. Same here. Well, things change once you have a kid. Wait. What happened the last time? Hey. Robert takes a long sip of whiskey. Well, old Johnny Boy and me were out in the back country. Johnny Boy's a strong kid. Met him in my army days. Comes from Kansas. They build them tough out there. Anyway, things go south pretty quick. Johnny Boy breaks his ankle when the rope bridge snaps. You could see the bone popping out through the skin. Johnny Boy's screaming now. Crying out for his mama, losing blood. We're two days out from the next living soul, and here I am with my dear friend bleeding out in front of me. I'm able to dress the room, but not able not but now I got a fireman carry a six foot, one hundred and eighty pound man over some of the toughest terrain I've ever been in. I won't lie to you. There were moments during those two days when I thought about leaving old Johnny Boy. But you build a bond with your brothers in arms, and that bond never breaks. I got that boy back to civilization. But I lost some of me out there. I guess that's camping for ya. I'm never going camping. <laughs> <laughs> Brian and I stare in disbelief. Robert takes another long sip of whiskey. I'm just kidding. My friend John and I went in the tube down a river and he lost a flip flop. Missed that kid. <laughs> Brian and I laugh nervously. Or am I kidding? Oh my god, Brian Robert. I up again. <laughs> I'm kidding. Phew. Amanda and Daisy barrel up to us laughing. Daisy is holding a paper plate in front of her like a steering wheel. I was like, we're gonna get off this haunted truck. I drop things. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the ghost locked the doors. <laughs> Quick, hit the emergency escape button. Apparently, for this game, we need 20 voices. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm gonna remember that next year. <laughs> <laughs> the trucks don't have emergency escape buttons. Uh. uh then hit the brake, I guess, and then we'll get out of the truck. Huh. The imaginary truck. <laughs> anyway, we're safe from the ghosts, but how will we ever survive this arctic tundra? Daisy, you might have to eat me. Are you prepared to do that? <laughs> I'm prepared to do anything to survive. She's ten! She's ten! <laughs> yeah, 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 ten, ten, ten. Careful. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's cold-blooded. It could be like her. She's too, too, she's too young. She has to, she has to age. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sure. I know what I'm talking about, Merlin. She's got to get ripe in her old age. <laughs> got a juicy tender meat. <laughs> I'm not sure how the materials required to properly cook you. <laughs> you know, that reminds me of the last time I went skiing. FBI, <laughs> yeah, open up. <laughs> No, 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 no. We wait. We wait. <laughs> I don't know. Bitch, <laughs> I'm out of here, Jared. Oh, Robert. Sorry. Right turn. <laughs> I went down. I pet the cat and picked up my fruit roll up off the floor. Sorry. <laughs> Robert. 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 Sorry, Robert. sorry, sorry, Robert. sorry. Hiya, bye. Bye bye. Wait a second. You guys are playing long haul ice road paranormal ghost truckers? Oh, yeah. Amanda and I love that show. Though I love how Amanda's down to play with Daisy being a child, child like it's just the best sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> It's the best, especially that episode where Colm hides Flint's keys and 
flint retaliates by breaking an ancient cursed urn and sending the spirit after him yeah it's such quality reality television Wow! What? <laughs> that is that is that is how you retaliate. No. The yeah, that's one way. This is like <laughs> I don't watch a whole lot of television, but I do enjoy that show. That and war documentaries. Yeah. All right, Daisy. I found us a couple of bugs. They're they're gonna make a great meal. Lots of protein. Gonna keep us from starving out here in the harsh, icy wasteland. But there's a whole table of food right over. <laughs> Easy. It's a game. We're playing pretend. It's what kids do. Love a little. Amanda gives Daisy a handful of gummy worms from the snack table. They eat them with mock disgust. Let's go find kindling for a fire. All right. Okay. <laughs> but not an actual fire. Because we're playing pretend. You know. Their dialogue is almost like a kid's show. <laughs> where they're like, where they're like speaking everything out, like to make sure, like, we're, we're, mm -hmm. we're not actually gonna set a fire, kids. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't try like, to set a fire. Like, yes. Now you're getting it. Daisy and Amanda run off. What a cute couple of kids. Uh -huh. Man, I've never seen her get along with anyone so quickly. I guess Amanda just sort of has a way with kids. Oh. That's kind of amazing. Daisy doesn't really get along with kids her age. Hmm. It's nice that he's not trying to one-up me this time. Maybe we can have regular friendship after all. Oh. Really? She just kind of keeps to herself. Her teacher says she spends every resource in the library. I think the other kids are intimidated by her intelligence. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have to throw that in there. Isn't Amanda like eight years old? I think she's only seven, but yeah. Um, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Amanda was shy at Daisy's age too. She used to have a habit of crawling under the tables and crying every time we took her to a restaurant. She bit people what? too. <laughs> oh, kids, right? You'd make a good Santa. You, I was gonna say that. Was... Gotta love him. You're required to by law. Look at that happy face. I know. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> why why Robert do the ho ho ho? <laughs> I hear that. Well, since you're getting along so well, maybe we should try to put together a little play date for them. Aww. They do seem to get along really well, but the thought of continually hearing about all of Brian's accomplishments is rough. Yeah, that'd be nice. Oh. Well, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Go meet some of the other fellas. Alright. Talk to no. Matt, Hugo, and Craig. A favorite. Um, Ooh, look at those. They're so pretty. <laughs> they are beautiful. <laughs> and look at the baby. Matt and Hugo seem to be the baby. The baby. Still doesn't know what's <laughs> gonna happen. Like, I know what's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Matt and Hugo seem to be embroiled in an intense discussion. Craig looks on, smiling politely. I walk over and say hello. Well, I don't think it's fair to try and compare and compare two art movements like that. Periods in art only exist because they're a unique byproduct of the social and political climate of a time and place. And to try to take something like, say, the Rococo period and compare it to postmodernism in America, you're completely disregarding the context in which word of work of art is created. <laughs> yeah, write that down, write oh, yeah, that yeah, down. Yeah, we got this, we got that, we got that, we got that. Mm -hmm. Matt and Hugo seem to be so busy talking that they don't notice me. Craig leans in. Dude, I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> we want to talk to Craig or listen in on Matt and Hugo. Gotta listen in. I'm curious now. Mm -hmm. Talking about okay. art, clearly, but oh, yeah. it's a very intense mm -hmm. discussion. Yeah. Oh. It kind of comparison just eliminates the reason art movements are so important in the first place. Mm -hmm. hmm. You're not wrong, but I think there's no harm comparing one work of art to another. You could definitely say one painting is better than another if you're evaluating technical skill from a purely formalist standpoint. If I showed you a Matisse and then something by uh, the Dutch masters, which one would you say shows more technical prowess? 
I am so lost right now. I shoot a worried glance over to Craig, who returns it. <sighs> I just be Googling, dude. I know, right? Well, sure, you can say <laughs> that the Dutch phone. masters were technically more skilled, but I would argue that while the Dutch masters were better painters, the T's had better paintings overall. The baby looking like, what are you thinking about my dad? <laughs> I know. Well, baby, you're too young to know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Art is that? that? Ooh, that no. just shuts things down like real hard. You could hop in and be like, "That's pretty subjective." I was like, "Well, that's Come out yeah, but then, then, but then we gotta act like we know what we're talking True. about. We don't want to fake. Fake that. it, make it, man. Maybe we do. Yeah. So we're we're gonna go with pretty subjective. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're, we're gonna try to act somewhere. Okay, You're I got right. this. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> that painting of the guy with the apple in front of his face is pretty nice. Matisse rocks. Hmm. That's Madrid. I don't know who that is. Oh, I don't know. Oh. Mm. I don't know how to you pronounce. see what you see what we did? Oh. Yeah, yeah, who goes judging us now? Who oh. knows what the game was gonna do? We could have been smart. Uh, smart. <laughs> right. Art. Sorry. You're fine, dude. We were just discussing the importance of context when talking about artwork. Listen, all I asked was if you like Van Gogh or Picasso better. Hmm. <laughs> Hugo throws up his hands in frustration. <laughs> oh no. But they represent two completely different art movements. How could I possibly choose between the thick, creamy, impostoral hey, postmodernism and the abstract uh, beauty of cubism? Man, that's all way above my head. Oh, I saw it was thick oh. and creamy, so. Me too. <laughs> hey. Uh, uh, it's all good, man. The cool thing about art is that we all perceive it differently. A single piece could have a totally different effect on each person that looks at it. And that's awesome. Nice. Just one minute about that. You go, please. Oh. Sorry, sorry, I get really fired up about art stuff. Oh, Vada, how are you liking the neighborhood? It's pretty nice. Everybody's been super friendly. <laughs> Seems like your daughter is fitting in just fine. Craig, no. Oh, that's me. Wait, where'd Craig go? I don't know. Yeah, Craig, We're talking no. about too much about art. Matt, Matt points across the yard to where Amanda, Daisy, and another young girl are playing. They're all sitting cross-legged in the grass, picking weeds and weaving them into little flower, flower crowns. It's pretty adorable. The girl I don't recognize jogs over to us. Hey. What is it, sweetheart? Oh, that's why Craig left, so they can make uh, room. Uh, I think. That must be it. Probably. The competition was bullshit, Marilyn. Oh god, there's another kid. I'll take it. Uh, it's a flower crown. I thought you'd look cute in it. Hey. Well, there's only one way to find out. Matt takes the flower crown and places it on top of his head. Hey, yeah. Uh, Am I cool cute. now? Oh, he does That's look great. cute. Mm -hmm. looks so nice. The girl stares at him, thinking it over. Mm, no, but you're slightly less uncool than you were before you put it on. Oh. Huh. Hey, Ovana. This is my daughter. Hello. I, I'm Carmen Sita. <laughs> Amanda comes over with Daisy and Tal. Dad, look, I'm making friends. Are you making friends? You better be making friends. Yeah, actually. Amanda, you remember the cool barista from the coffee shop? And my old college friend? And, uh, your teacher? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Mr. Vita. I didn't realize we were neighbors. Yes. Yep. <laughs> well... He said it for you. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he said it for you. You know, him and, him and Matt are so close. It looks like they're holding hands. Right? Oh, I see that. <laughs> I see that. Adorable. Yes. 
You still going to get me that overdue term paper? Dad. <laughs> Crazy. Amanda <laughs> figure gets her way out of the conversation. <laughs> I love her. She's great. This is awesome. She, she, she lined the finger guns move for me. I'm very proud. <laughs> hmm? She's definitely a charmer. Speaking of which, where did my son go? What? Hugo looks around the party. He must finally spot him because his eyes go wide. Whoa. Ernest! Ernest Hemingway, Vega. Name of Ernest you Hemingway? Smoke. No way. Uh -oh. <laughs> the pretentiousness! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Ernest is holding a lit cigarette. Nope. I see Ernest across the way. He casually takes a long drag of his cigarette and then flicks it into the gutter. Mm. Unbelievable. Excuse me. Hugo marches over to Ernest and I turn my attention to Matt and Craig. Kids, right? Mm. Man, I do not envy Hugo. Uh, the last barbecue we had, Ernest tried to shove a sparkler down Joseph's pants. And he burned down half the yard. That's hilarious. Oh, nice. Ernest Hemingway, and you're wondering why he started smoking? <laughs> <laughs> and the barbecue we had before that, he actually burned down half the yard. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Holy fuck. And then it spread onto my lawn and burned down half of my yard, too. Uh, uh, Hugo walks back over to us, practically dragging Ernest behind him. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh no. Hmm. Hey everybody, sorry about that. Obana, this is my son Ernest. I don't know if I want to meet him. <laughs> yeah. the Hello. Of Ernest is a really good play. Ernest looks away, soaking. His hands shoved deep in his pockets. Okay, thank you for the dot dot dots. <laughs> Ellipses. Ellipses. Oh. Hugo nudges him impatiently. Ellipsy. Hey. Nice to meet you, Ernest. What grade are you in? Does it matter? Hmm? Ernest. Okay, okay, I'm in eighth grade. God, are you happy now? I'm sure you were just dying to know. Uh, yeah, good for you. Um. Can I go now? I'm tired of talking to old dudes who blame my generation for the failing economy. I mean, same. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Ouch. Hmm. Wow. Ernest. Oh, yeah, because I'm totally embarrassing you. Ernest puts his earbuds in and storms out to stand in the corner. Well, that was certainly something. Damn, that kid's only in eighth grade? Yeah. He looks like an eighth grader to me. He looks very young to me. Yeah, it's fine. He seems nice. It's Hugo me puts his... <laughs> she she wants her food at four, so she'll still get it at four, but Yow. she's gonna be meowing for a little bit. Sorry. That's fine. <laughs> Maybe we'll get a cat on screen that she, she uh, that she could voice. Yes. Hugo puts his head head in his hands and sighs. How old are people in eighth grade? Thirteen. There ish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's about ah. right. I mean, I'm sorry, he's having a really tough time. As much as oh, I want to be man, I have to be Jimmy's having a tough time, too. <laughs> and he clearly <laughs> resents me for it. Hmm. I mean, I think as a dad and teacher, that's about as authoritarian as you can get. Mm-hmm. True. Hmm. Honestly, are any of us cool dads? Is it even possible to be a cool dad? Yes, these three. What? I'm cool as a cucumber. Hey. See? That right there. You can't say that. Oh. My, uh, kids think I'm cool. But for how long, Greg? How long do we get to be cool dads? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Wait, he already said it. <laughs> <laughs> hey! I think we just have to accept the fact that, as dads, we become the machine we once raged against, and accept our fate to unironically wear socks with sandals. Oh, not, no, not me though. 
Your kids, <laughs> your kids may think you're cool now, but the moment they hit puberty, you're doomed. Amanda's 18 and she still thinks I'm cool. Oh, I thought she was 17. I thought she was 17 as well. Hmm. I yell across the yard to my daughter. Don't yell. <laughs> Oh yeah, so she'd be closer to okay. Yeah, she like she's graduated, so. Oh yeah, she's very close to graduating. Seventeen or That's eighteen true. isn't entirely wrong, but eighteen, yeah. Amanda, I'm cool, right? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Amanda just laughs. She keeps laughing. I see your point. That's funny. Um, <laughs> That's as much as we all want it, I don't think it's important to be a cool dad as it is to be a good dad. We can't all be best friends with our kids. It just doesn't work. I mean, look at me and Ernest. Hmm. Our job as parents is to make sure our kids turn out okay. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. But it'd be nice to have it both ways. Even these guys talks about this makes me think of my relationship with Amanda. We get along so well, but there might come a time when it won't be like that. This college when it happens. Oh, Nixus, you meant by his actions because he was smoking. Uh, maybe that doesn't feel as weird to me because I, I knew 13 year olds who smoked. So. Yeah. Yeah, I, I knew 13 year olds who smoked. Too cool for school. It's a disgusting habit, in my opinion. I don't like it. Yep. It's a bad habit, but. Ah. Don't let us see your time, Ovana. Go meet some of those other people around the neighborhood. Oh. Oh, Joseph just invited himself in. <laughs> Ooh, and without further ado, let's work some magic. Hey, yo, what kind of magic are we talking? Yeah. <laughs> are you going to let me see that tattoo? <laughs> Joseph closes his eyes, takes a deep breath, and gets to work. With the greatest of ease, he sets patties on the grill, flourishing as he flips the spatula in the air. It's easily some of the best grill work I've seen. Oh. You guys think this is my first time in front of a grill? He's working faster now, effortlessly tossing cheese onto patties and perfect, perfectly grilling onions on the side. One after another, the dads take notice and crowd around Joseph to admire his masterful oh. technique. All these dads are about to, like, cream their pants. <laughs> yeah. You know dads love grills. <laughs> hmm. You probably didn't know this, Ovana, but Joseph's known around here for his grillmanship. Hey. He's ungrillable. Oh. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> the massive groan. Wow. Apparently there was someone around your age who had a kid in like 8th grade. You think you've always just been boring? That, that's fair. I was boring too. Yeah, when I was in middle school, there were people who like had already lost their virginity and I was like, how? Like, <laughs> like I'm confused. Yeah. <laughs> Some people just grow up too fast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey. I've tried to get on his level, but I just can't catch up. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this entire, I'm going to cringe throughout this entire thing. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> Let us keep studying. He has a rare quality about him. <sighs> oh. Mustard, we keep talking about this. Can't we just appreciate the, the artist? Tommy. <laughs> this is We're wow. all dads. I've never seen him make a mistake. Oh, <laughs> okay, we need to stop. This is getting too cheesy. I'm done. Oh, <laughs> no. Where's Zach the Pat? I feel like he'd appreciate Please this stop. part. Rage oh, quit. Done. Oh, rage quit. I'm out. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> All of the children at the party boo the glorious display of puns and unison. Nice. <laughs> All right, guys, the freezer. Can you please form an orderly <laughs> barbecue? <laughs> Amanda groans. We all grab our food and hang out, enjoying perfectly cooked cheese burgers. Hey. Man, it's so wild how all of us dads live in the same cul de sac. Hmm. Kind of nice, isn't it? It feels like there's a real community here. Totally helps when you're just a single dad trying to raise a kid. 
Rare, hello, hello. Uh, I I completely forgot that I made your first your first chat Jin screaming. I was like, why do I hear Jin oh screaming? My gosh. <laughs> That's too much. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. That was great. <laughs> How are you doing, Rare? Which dad are we going after? We haven't fully decided, but I think most of us like Craig. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's I pretty cool. like Matt now. Can't can't help myself. The flower crown kind of sold me. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I like oh, Matt. Yeah, the flower Matt crown. is very Matt attractive. Matt is pretty great. It's looking pretty good. So like, I like Craig. I like Matt, and like, like, the terrible person in me really wants to corrupt Joseph. Yeah, well, Ohana's okay. on a mission right now. <laughs> <laughs> Again, like Joseph's wife Mary actually looks just plain evil. We got to liberate this man. Yes. Like I, I kind of want to corrupt Joseph. I'm not gonna lie. Like <laughs> we are like, saving. Let's him. make that man a Christ. I feel <laughs> like they're both beards for each other, though. I think that's why she drinks. I think she's also not happy where she's at. So. Yeah, yeah, I know. Probably, definitely. probably. Hey, drink. Drink. Hello. Welcome on in. You're good. Mm -hmm. Just at the gym listening. This yes. is your first playthrough. Uh, it's most of our first playthrough. I've never played mm -hmm. it. Um, Maluna and I have played m some of it. Yeah, some of it last year, but we didn't finish the whole thing. First time. Oh, God, I won't say anything then. I'm so excited to corrupt Joseph, though. <laughs> I think we're getting close to the part where we could actually date them. Mm, that baby's seen some things. Making our way. <laughs> <laughs> right? That, ba that baby's seen some shit. That baby's seen some shit. Oh. We're happy to have Joseph's you here, man. Joseph's the toughest one in the romance. I think you're gonna like this neighborhood a lot. It makes sense because he's married. Mm-hmm. Oh. Plus, Amanda seems to be getting along with all of the all of the kids. If she decides to get into the babysitting game, she'll really like. She'll really make a killing. Hey. <laughs> hey, why don't you add us all on dad oh, book? Oh no, that's a thing. Oh, it's that happening! A thing, it's happening! We're gonna slide in those DMs. Oh, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're gonna slide in those DMs. Oh. <laughs> is that the rare gangster? It is. The rarest of gangsters, I hear. The rarest gangster. <laughs> yes, the rarest of gangsters. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Dad book? Oh. Yeah, it's a great social network for dads to keep in touch with each other. We're all in on it. Uh, so if you ever need to reach out to anyone, that's the simplest way to do it. Huh. Sorry, I'm just an old-fashioned dad. Social media goes over my head sometimes. Don't worry, Pops. I'll help you figure it out. The rest of the barbecue goes smoothly. We all trade stories and drink beer as our kids play on the lawn. Amanda breaks up a fight between Carmencita and those weird twins. I think they want it or so. <laughs> Please. Oh, we did a lot, Alpha. We did so much. I mean, then I walk back to our place so as the sun sets over the neighborhood. <laughs> Why do they have to walk to a random alley? Where is this? Aren't they in the They're same cul de sac? Yeah, they should just go across the street. Yeah. yeah. Like, it should just be, like, across the street. What is now this? Now they're at the, like, the coffee shop again. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty fun party, don't you think? Uh, I feel like I was at a networking event. Wish I could have been playing Paranormal Ice World Truckers. I mean, I got a burger in me. Which one would we want to do? Uh, I'm between one and three. Uh, yeah, three. Three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Paranormal Ice Road Truckers. You and Daisy seem like you were having a way better time than I was. Are you one of the bots that was discussing whether or not I have a foot fetish in a mob chat? <laughs> well, Rhea, what, what is what is the answer? Yeah, yeah. We a burger, not a nice thick sausage. That's what I wanted, but they didn't. They weren't giving up any. <laughs> we have another air quality alert. Please don't say that to me. Oh no! I just got over a call. Thank you. No. You and Daisy seem like you were having a way better time than I was. And because we were. Mm -hmm. Well, hey, at least you met some other cool dads. You should hit them up on Dadbook. 
Maybe I will, if I ever figure out how social media works. I have a good feeling about this place. Yeah. Me too, Dad. Oh, I'm glad they're comfortable. <laughs> yeah, grow your own vegetables. It's cheaper, I think. It's not. I miss Holly already, right? She, she, she's no longer streaming anymore, right? Oh, yeah. I yeah, saw that she lot. had her final there's stream recently. Um, Amanda and I arrived home with the remnants of our veggie plate. Hmm, seemed like nobody was really into the cauliflower. No one ever is. I don't blame them. <laughs> no one ever is. Broccoli for the win. <laughs> Any big plans for this evening? Yeah, her final stream was a week ago. Huh. Actually, yeah, I'm going out with some friends. Oh. Huh? Is that okay? Of course, just keep me posted and be home before midnight. Hmm. You got it. What a cool dad. And be careful. <laughs> I will. Make good choices. Ah, of course. And call me if you need anything. Ah. Dad, you're not going to do the thing where you wait silently for me to come home in the living room with all the lights off, are you? What? No, I've never done that and I will never do that. Okay, do you have plans tonight? I, uh... My plans were kind of to eat ice cream and watch TV with Amanda, but I'll find something to do. I'm gonna work on some stuff, see how long I can sleep for it, throw a party. <laughs> <laughs> gonna throw a party, make her jealous. Yeah, they mm. Alright, let's throw a party. <laughs> a real rager. All the other dads in the neighborhood are invited. I'll see if I can get you a spot on the list, but honestly it's looking tight and you may just have to wait in line. I know the guy at the door, I'll get in no problem. I'm just relaxing tonight. Have fun, okay? Great. See you later. Pew pew. The finger guns. I love it. I watch Amanda drive off into the night. I really do hope she has fun. I plop down in front of the TV and turn on some wine and dine mastermind with celebrity chef Gavin Chapman. Looks like Gavin's making a roasted rack of lamb with rosemary mashed potatoes. Wow, that sounds really hey. good right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love yeah. to be able to cook like that. Although I think if I was actually good at cooking, I'd use my powers for evil. Like just yeah. making baked Alaskas all day instead of any food of real nutritional substance. Oh my gosh. Hold up, please. Man, Gavin Chapman just caught that thing on fire, but he meant to do it. What a <laughs> professional. I lose track of time as I blaze through several episodes of Wine and Dine Mastermind, and also one episode of some cooking show called Meat Hell. I'm not even sure what that one was about. It was just a lot of yelling. I glance at my watch. Man, it's almost midnight. I should check in with Amanda. I send a text. Hey, kiddo, you good? I wander into the kitchen as I wait for a reply. Amanda's phone is almost always in hand, so I'm sure she'll respond soon. Unless she's driving home now, in which case I hope she doesn't respond soon, because I definitely taught her better than to text and drive. I reach into the freezer and grab an ice cream sandwich. It's a little, it's a little late for this, but I think I earned it after a long day of socializing. I check my watch again. And then my phone. Nothing yet. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay, see, now I'm worried. Do I call her? Do I call the cops? No, no, it's too soon for that. I'll just send her a gentle reminder text. What's up? Half an hour passes. Now I'm really worried. The episodes of Gavin Chapman's Meet Hell are not only assuag assuaging my anxiety, but possibly exacerbating it with all the yelling, so I keep pacing around the house, waiting for her to come back. Why didn't I find out where she was going? Who was she even with? Why don't I know any of her friends' phone numbers? Why don't I even know any of her friends' full names? Who is Emma P? <laughs> <laughs> I decide to send her another text. Amanda, please text me and let me know you're okay. I can't help but think of all the awful things that could have happened to her. Oh, thank God, it's her. Amanda opens the door and shuffles in. Finally, finally she's back home. I'm glad she's okay. What's up? Sweetie, thank God you're Dad. safe. Uh, yep. But now that I know she's okay, I'm really mad. Why didn't you answer my text? Amanda pulls out her phone out of her pocket. Oh, whoops. Guess I didn't see those. She starts to walk to her room. Amanda Ann! <gasps> Whoa, we're pulling out the middle name now? Amanda, you came home an hour and a half after your curfew and you didn't respond to any of my texts. You really freaked me out. I was about to call the cops. Huh? 
Dad, you're seriously overreacting. You're not going to be like this when I go off to school, are you? How are you feeling? I was scared. Oh, yeah, I was scared. <laughs> I was scared. Share your emotions. Exactly. Don't be afraid. You weren't responding, and it was just it was just like when your dad. Ooh, that was too much. Ooh. Oh. I have to stop myself from tearing up. Oh, Dad, I didn't mean Aww. to. I sit down on the couch and put my head in my hands. I feel very tired all of a sudden. You really scared me. Just please don't do that uh, again. Uh, all right. I'm going to go to bed now. Amanda closes the door to her room and I head to mine. Jeez. As I'm falling asleep, one thing she said keeps echoing in my mind. You're not going to be like this when I go off to school, are you? I definitely didn't sleep well last night. I brew some strong coffee and make some scrambled eggs for Amanda as a peace offering. Mm. She eventually wanders into the kitchen. Hey. Uh, I thought about what you said last night. Mm. I should have texted you. I said I was going to do it and I didn't. I honestly just didn't even think about it. Mm. I'm really sorry, Pops. I won't do it again. Well... I trust you? Yeah. 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 I would say trust. Hmm. I also thought about it, and I'll try to give you your space from here on out. I gotta trust that you can take care mm. of yourself. Team Melbishi. Team Melbishi. Team Melbishi. Nice. <laughs> Amanda gives me a hug. Want some eggs? You know it. Sprinkle some cheese on them? Already did. Yeah. Bless you. Yeah. Amanda scarves down the eggs in the time it takes for me to wash the pan. <laughs> All right, I'm off to school. See you later. Wait, one more thing before mm -hmm. you go. What? What's that book? Aww. It's a social media platform. Wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? What's a social media platform? Uh. <laughs> Dad, I have to go to school. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Amanda. I'm an old man. I can't put together a dad book profile on my own. <sighs> All right, I'll help you. I'll help you sound interesting on the internet. Dad. Amanda spends the next couple minutes setting up my profile on dad book, which, as it turns out, is a place where dads can get together and talk about uh. fatherhood. All right, pops. We gotta fill out your profile. Let's get some likes and dislikes. Okay. Oh yeah. It is almost seven, so we'll actually take this opportunity to. Uh, um, take another break? Yeah, yeah. I got shower down on my feet. Right. Yeah, well, yeah. I think, I think Emmy will set us on fire if we wait any longer. <laughs> so, <laughs> Alright, so, um, is 10-15 minutes good for you, Shavana? Yeah. Okay, alright, so I will see you guys in about 10-15 to 15 minutes. In the meantime, enjoy some clips, my friends. Ooh, cool, cool. Yay! Ba -da 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 -da. Yay! Man, we are really making some time. We're actually doing well on this. Hold on, something is wrong with my thing. Let me see if I can. Can I hear myself? Can I hear myself? I can hear I can myself. Hear myself. Let me change. Let me change. This doesn't this change, doesn't change anything. anything. Interesting. Interesting. Don't mind me, I'm just checking a bunch of things. All right, let's...
That's loud. Oh, I don't know what all the noise is. What is going on? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, oh. Wow. That wow. Is so, that is so loud. loud. change some things. Oh, jeez. Okay. Man, ooh. why is it so loud? Why is it picking up everything right now? Oh, no. Oh, no. Give me a second, sorry. I know everything is breaking! Why is everything breaking? Why is it picking up everything right now? Oh no. Let's go with noise. What about noise suppression? Maybe if I add that. Why is it so quiet? Well, I'm trying to. I don't know. Something's happened with my my thing i have no idea what's going on self-destruction all right let me let me check my uh, all right testing testing, testing one testing two, one, two, that, one, is, two, man, one, that two. is man that is wow. Wow. oh gosh oh my god i know your model was like yeah the model it was adding a bunch of different things on there um, uh, give me a sec. Let me try to figure this out. Why is it picking up like everything right now? Oh yeah, no, the reverb. No, that, that was just me trying to, uh... Alright, let's take that out. Can I? Alright, let's put in the... Edit filters. Let's take away this filter. Man, I can hear everything right now. Alright, change this over to the... 
virtual mod. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, jeez, I think I messed something up. Oh, no. It's okay. Let's... We can always add... We can always add a filter on there. Oh, no. Self-destruction initiated? Oh, no. All right, let's go with some noise suppression on there. Does that sound better? I hope it sounds better. Let me check it out. Testing. <laughs> some of some of, some of that sounds really interesting. It sounds like there's a war running water back in the background. That's so weird. That's the best as I can do though. Definitely a little bit better, but you can still hear the computer. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I have no idea. I don't think it's like my computer that you guys can hear. I can probably turn it down just slightly. All right, let me turn that down. Let me check this. Yeah, it's somehow back I don't know, there. I probably have to restart something, but I don't want to in the middle of a stream. Um. Definitely this thing is being really weird. I'll probably, it probably, if I can just reset the computer, that would probably help it, but psh, whatever. Testing, testing. Testing, testing, testing. It sounds like there's, sounds something, like in there's the back, something in the back though. though. Oh well, oh well. Poopy scoopy Oops. scoops. Poopy scoopy in my pants. Yeah, no, you doubled the Shino? No, no, it's... I had to do... I definitely had... That's on purpose. That's definitely on purpose because I was trying to listen to my own volume thing. I have no idea what's going on. Something happened with my audio. It's really weird right now. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't know why things are so loud. I, I gotta stop messing around with, like, so many programs. <laughs> It'll be okay, though. It'll be okay. Ba -da -dun -dun. Let me make sure that everything's working fine. Can you guys hear me okay though? I hope you can. Da -da. Make that bigger. The ad book. On the just chatting again. Ah, but yeah. That's good. I definitely need to... Oh, thank you. I definitely need to, to figure out what happened with my audio. It sounds a little weird. I don't know why you can hear... My computer's even not going that, that crazy right now. I don't know. I probably should lower it down a little bit. Actually, let me turn down my volume a little. Because I talk really loud anyway. Don't know why. Princess, how's it going? Welcome in. <laughs> Yeah, don't mind us. We're doing uh, our little voice thingy. Ooh, don't you have like a Danganronpa stream this week? Or did you already do it? I forgot. Oh my god, wait. Also, why is your profile picture the, the fish? 
Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's tomorrow. Never mind. That's tomorrow. Boys thingy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> With a new outfit, that's true. Well, first of all, I already see that you have your, uh, your fancy uh, swimsuit outfit. Amazing. Is that, wait, is that your outfit? Is it the swimsuit? <laughs> you love that fish? Stop. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How have you been, by the way? It's so good to see you. Let me give you a shout out. Hold on. That's right, you're playing Xenoblade Chronicles. How's that how's that playthrough going, by the way? And aren't you supposed to be doing tonight is eastward, I believe. Still got like an hour for that, but <laughs> just finished work, so I'm just chilling before vi Ooh, violin practice! Been so tired recently. You finished it! Amazing! Wow, wait, you played you finished Xenoblade? Chronicles 3? Dang! How many streams and how many days was that, by the way? That's a- those are long RPG games, right? Maybe we need something a little bit meatier. That's all I know. <laughs> That's all I know about the Xenoblade. Ba -da -da -da. Oh, we raided into Ray. <gasps> That's awesome. I love Ray. <laughs> Possibly like 22 videos. Oh my goodness. Wait, are you gonna upload all of that to like YouTube or something like that? Honestly, that's something that I'm doing by the way. I am uploading a lot of my video. Um, well, I'm using, I, I just made it created uh, a backup YouTube f channel for all my videos. They're already on YouTube. Oh, I need to do, I should have done that long time ago. I'm kind of starting a little late, but that's what I'm doing. Retro, no staring. Well, no, no staring, no staring. Yeah, okay, all right, I'm gonna get back at, back to stream. Let me follow you so we can see, yeah, you don't have to, but thank you. Um, well, I do have like a regular YouTube channel, by the way, um, which has my edited videos, so, but yeah, yeah, it's literally Shinobishi. I get weirdly a lot of my That's, that is very interesting, but congrats though. Yeah. Hello there. Gina, hello. I am back. Welcome back, everybody. Yes, here. welcome back. Woo! Can you guys hear me okay? My, I had some audio issues, like, during break. It's, like, a little fuzzy, but aside from the little bit of static, it's fine. Let's see. Oh, yeah, gosh. it's not any more status than the last Dang one. Dang it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, pretty much, it's pretty much the same as earlier. Yeah. Well, all right, then. <laughs> But, At least you guys can hear me. That's all. I, that's all that matters. Yeah, no, it's okay. It's not a big deal. Yeah. All right. Oh, you just all throw right. all edited content. And, Let's get back into it. We have a little no bit more than an hour uh, to go. Yeah, I have one mm -hmm. for my edited stuff. Uh, on a Friday night, we are most likely uh, to pods on another. Polish and sort our current collection. Netflix and Grill Baby. That sounds cool. <laughs> I'll fall asleep watching the History Channel. That sounds boring. Torment our children with dad puns. Always fun. Or sink into blissful oblivion. Netflix and Girl Baby. I know, that sounds so much better. <laughs> I do like Netflix and Girl. That does sound cool. Netflix, Netflix and Girl. Coin collection. Netflix and Girl? <laughs> yes. Netflix and Girl Baby. Let's go. If you had one thing to take with you on onto a desert island, what would it be? Mm. Our trusty grill, the lost shaker of salt. That's a Margaritaville. A castaway, castaway on DVD for instructional purposes. <laughs> a boat, obviously. Yep. Or we don't need anything. Our survival skills have trained us for this day. Oh, that's real confident. Again, if we're going for for characters, I don't know which one we would want. But myself, it was over here like a boat. I know, I know. I'm over here like um, a boat. boat. 100%. That's what I would say. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking too. Oh. That's what I'm thinking too because I'm looking at the DVD and I'm like for instructions. Yeah, like where, how do you wait, where are you going to play it on? On a yeah. deserted island? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like what? Right, so we're taking the boat. We're going on Take the boat. boat. Let's go. All right. What are our turn Ooh, important Ooh. question. 
Mm. Do we like strong dad arms? Do we like tennis shoes with long white socks? No. A well manicured lawn? Mm. Street smarts? Mm. Top tier grillmanship? I mean... With someone who's comfortable with crying? Mm -hmm. I'm considering we answered Netflix and grill, probably <laughs> top tier grillmanship. <laughs> It's gonna get you Jota. Uh, True. I mean, I wouldn't mind a nice burger. Mm -hmm. um, I will say I am attracted to dude arms. Yeah, the dad so. arms are. I no. like strong dad, dad arms. arms. Dad arms are nice. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like strong dad arms are. Uh, what's his name? Um, Craig. Brian? Craig. Craig. Oh, it's Craig. I feel like it's Craig. I think tennis shoes are white socks, Brian. <laughs> uh, I guess it could <laughs> That's be. That's true. It, I, I thought maybe tennis shoes was Craig. Well, I'm not sure with the long white socks, though. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, you know what? Actually, maybe Brian is well manicured. He lawn. would take care of his mm. lawn. <laughs> yeah. Street smarts is obviously, what's, uh, is Robert. obviously Robert. Yeah. yeah. And top crying. tier, I think, is Joseph. And com yeah, and, Joseph, and comfortable, and yeah, comfortable be... crying is me on the weekends when I have me. <laughs> 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 uh, would you say that's? Oh, I'm trying to decide if that's Matt or if that would be who? Who do you think Lucius is? Oh, tennis shoes with long white. Socks. Oh, I, he oh. would not be the tennis <laughs> shoes with long white. Shoes. Absolutely not. Uh, I don't even know what what Lucius would I'm, be. I'm 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 between strong dad arms and top tier grillmanship. Yeah, uh, strong dad arms. That's me. That's me. But yeah, I'm, I'm a dad arms. Okay. Dad arms. Okay. Right, we're going for the daddies. What did you want to be when you grew up? Did we want to be a tech writer for manual and in instructions? Yo, that makes money. <laughs> um, a salty boat captain. Yarr. A pro skater who was also an astronaut. Dude. A Did good father, know? or the president of space. <laughs> well, not politics, so. <laughs> Although um, space, though, I mean. <laughs> but I mean, astronaut, though. I mean, true. Okay. Skating on the moon. Mm -hmm. hmm. Again, I don't know why you guys are letting me making any choices when I told you my track record <laughs> is not good. No. What would, what would you want to be when you grew up? Hmm. I feel like if we go with good, good father, good father, that's gonna like earn points for a bunch of them. Because they're all like dads, right? So like, yeah, true. I'd, yeah, I think I go with good father just for you know that. Yeah, sure. Unless you want to be a pirate, a good daddy. <laughs> <laughs> a pirate, yes, exactly. <laughs> What's your favorite movie genre? Do we like war documentaries? Sean Connery's entire filmography. Anything on Laserdisc, romantic comedies, whatever will make us cry, old comedies that haven't aged well. Who's crying all the I time? I know, well, like, seriously, like, hey, someone's <laughs> gotta be like, crying what? a lot. I haven't decided who's a crier. I don't know, maybe Matt, Matt cries a bunch? I don't know. You know. Maybe Matt, maybe, I feel like Luce just might. I don't know. Uh, Wait, who's Lucius oh, again? Oh, you mean Damien? Oh, Damien. Lucian Luc Luc is his kid. Yeah, oh yeah, Damien. Oh, my bad. I was like, Luc <laughs> Lucius, Lucius. I mean, he looks like a Lucius. He does look like a Lucius. He does. I'll give him that. <laughs> Yo, Athena, what's up? Merlin I'll wanted cry. to be a paleontologist. Oh, no. Princess, no. But that required 12 years of study, and it doesn't make any money, so you chose to do something different. <laughs> and you ended up in humanities, which <laughs> also doesn't make money. <laughs> I love that for you. I became a Twitch streamer. Let's show us. Twitch streamer. Where's the Twitch streamer like, part? Uh, <laughs> uh, I think I'm doing great. We're 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 off, we though. are uh, like? we're playing some dream dad. I like a good romance romantic comedy. Yeah. Thirteen going on thirty is my movie. Ooh. I used to enjoy the ugly truth. I don't know if it holds up. How are we feeling? Romantic comedies? Romantic yeah. I think rom coms, yep. What's the ideal? Ooh, this is the real stuff. Napping! Ooh, nap napping <laughs> together. Oh, will they really be napping together? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we can nap after. Oh, that's true. <laughs> it is a classic. Going on 30 is a classic. It is, it a, is classic. a classic. I agree. Sure. I agree. It's a perfect date. Athena knows what's Doing up. Doing a thousand piece puzzle. Nap Doing a thousand piece puzzle together, eating a healthy dinner at four, 
trying to geocache but getting hopelessly lost. Arson? Arson? What? <laughs> Casually in there. I mean, he did he throw. Did. No, yeah. Flame Flame tennis ball, ball into the police station. Yep. Yep. I'm leaning towards napping, but that's just me. Mm. <laughs> napping. Quote unquote napping. Screw it. I'll, I'll go for that. Napping. Do you know, Shavana, how y'all feeling? I'm either napping or the puzzle thing. Just because you know, doing I doing do a puzzle together, you know, you, you get to talk and get to you know do something together. You know, act, that is really cute. Activities are Even nice. Puzzles are cool. I feel like you do get to know each other. True. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I I I would be down for puzzles. But I mean, also. Nice. All right, I'm down. I'm down to go for puzzles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's do a puzzle. I my head can is that we're doing a 3D puzzle. <laughs> we could do a puzzle. We could do a puzzle. We could do a puzzle. Then do some other stuff, <laughs> and then that. And then yeah. yeah, what we're do, trying to do is trying to fit, you know, certain pieces together. That's that's our that's our puzzle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't listen to me. <laughs> what do you never leave home without? A sensible cardigan, my sick vape, Dude. <laughs> my book of word jumbles and a pen, a cool knife, my crippling, <laughs> my crippling. <laughs> I can't see it. Crippling no, no. low self esteem. <laughs> oh, it's just... I frequently forget my phone keys and wallet at home sometimes. Oh, geez. Just like me for real. <laughs> God, if that ain't me, yeah. Mm. None of these are me. Yeah, no, I was about to say, it's like, mm. Mm. The last one's just funny. Could just go with the wall. Yeah. All right. I am. I spend a lot of time thinking about conspiracy theories, mm. how proud I am of my child, potential ends of the world, <laughs> me. <laughs> if I'll ever be able to love myself as much as I love That's my girl. That's a lot of that man. <laughs> that is all about that grill. When Just I can next get a cup coffee, of coffee, that's that's, that's that's Maluna. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's <laughs> true. Oh my <laughs> god. god. Modifications. It's absolutely Maluna. <laughs> that's my. You vote coffee? Yeah. I'd say coffee. coffee. Yep. I guess. Both are complete. <laughs> See, that wasn't so bad. Not this trauma, man. Yeah, that was actually oh, kind of fun. No, we're speaking new. I could totally spend all day on here just looking at people's profiles. Hey. You should message one of them, or more than one of them. All of these dads seem pretty interesting. Dad book. Mm, I agree with you. Amanda's encouraging my sluttiness. I love <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah, it's great. We all need an Amanda in our life. Mm-hmm. Hey, handsome, you want to do a puzzle together and see if we can fit my nub in your home? <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> Whoa. Dang. Yo. Going straight for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I promise I'll make some friends. Amanda gives me a hug. Go get him, Dad. Oh wait, Dad! Wow! Step. <laughs> you know, you know. I just, I just want to say that I was much worse at this the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I think I read almost every single one of Maluna's lines last time. <laughs> It because was I was so just funny. reading so much, so sometimes it just happens. She's like, stop. Yeah, He's yeah. like, stop being my understudy. <laughs> my goodness. <Ugh. laughs> Go get him, Dad. You always have time for a beer. Uh, you've got Dad. You've got <laughs> Dad. Oh, oh, we got a mess. We oh got my a God, mess. Look at her picture. Ooh. Dad man. Dad man. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I hope I had to meet your dear old friend from way back in the day, Dad Manda. I'm delighted to see you signed up for Dad Book. They've recently added this exciting new messenger service, so you may find yourself receiving messages from other dads, like myself. Take care not to miss them. Beautiful. Thank you, Dad Manda. Yeah, no problem. Who's Dad? All right. Dad. All right. So, who do we want to message first? Ooh. Let's bug, uh, let's bug Matt. Spend it. Ooh, yeah. Going for that coffee. We, we got, coffee is that too, we want Matt? Let's bug Matt. Maluna smells the coffee. I know, I know. Ooh, mm, mm. <laughs> All right. 
So Matt Sella, he's an avid music enthusiast, passionate coffee drinker. Mm -hmm. You can find him most days selling bean juice over at the Coffee Spoon <laughs> or hanging out at the park with his amazing daughter. Hit him up about 80s no wave music. <laughs> On a Friday night, he's most likely to perfect his cur his cold brew setup one drip at a time, Ooh, baby. He got that drip. If you had one, if you had one thing to take with you onto a desert island, what would it be? Fine tunes to pass the days away. What are your turn ons? Multi instrumentalism. What did you want to be when you grow up? A barista. Weirdly enough. What's your favorite <laughs> movie genre? Shit with subtitles. <laughs> What's your ideal date? We go to the animal shelter and seriously Aww. they're adopting a cat. Oh. Fuck yeah, I love him now. Wow. What do you <laughs> never leave home without? It's old. My headphones, both in-ear and over-ear, just in case. He spends a lot of time thinking about where did writing commas into song titles come from and where did it go? Did we all just agree that it's a bad idea? I, I kind of want to look at the other pages real quick. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Craig Khan. Dad of three, business entrepreneur. Oh, you looking at Joseph? Hey, yo. Juggling work, family, and fitness is a tough gig, but someone's got to do it. On a Friday night, he is getting one last good cardio session in. Okay. If he had one thing to take with him on a desert island, it would be a box of energy bars. <laughs> His turn-ons are a sub six-minute mile. Um, What did he want to be when he grew up? A beer pong world champion. <laughs> that sounds like him. <laughs> Um, his favorite movie genre is buddy cop movies. His ideal date is, a, is scaling a huge, dangerous mountain for fun. What does he never leave home without? An extra tube of energy gel. What the hell is that? Uh, I don't know. Um, and he spends a lot of time thinking about my mild time needs to be so good. What happened? Have I peaked? Give me one second. I keep getting a call. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what do you guys know what a, a tube of energy gel is? Nope. Energy Ener gel? No. Energy gel. Now I'm curious. I'm looking at it. Right? Up. No, no. I, I really like Craig. He's awesome. But. And he has the cutest little baby. Energy gel. Is it like Gogurt except Whoa. like energy drink thing? No, I don't know. Basically, that's what I'm looking at. Oh, really? It's like a yogurt tube. <laughs> Like a yogurt? Go-gurt tube? Yeah, basically. <laughs> At least that's what I'm seeing. Like a yogurt tube that you open. Athena says what it's the gel that you take before working out. Gatorade apparently has some. Huh. I've never heard of this before. Interesting. Energy gel. Energy sugar gel. in gel form for energy during like cycling races. Easy to digest <laughs> calories from carbs. Live immediate and sustained energy without the stomach distress. Huh. That's cool. Nice. Gatorade has some of the three series. Huh. Interesting. Huh. I didn't know that. Yeah. Sounds. Thank you for those facts. Wow. We're learning a lot today. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So energy gel is like sugar and gel. gel. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty much uh, quick, cool. quick carbs. We were wondering what it was. Yeah, we all end up looking it up. <laughs> Interesting, interesting. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. That's fine. All good. Um, good. Alright, Brian. Brian. Brian Hardy. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> um, hi, I'm Brian. I spend most of my days hanging out with my awesome daughter and thinking up new ways to grill things. If you like fishing, then we'll get along. On a Friday night, he's most likely to see just how slowly he could cook a piece of brisket. Nice. Um, if he had one thing to take with him, it'd be a p fishing pole. Smart. Mm -hmm. What are his turn-ons? A keen understanding of steak cuts. Wow. What did you want to be when you grow up? A fireman. I could see it. What's his favorite movie genre? Romantic comedies. Really? What's his ideal date? Deck building. What do you never leave home without? His portable fishing pole. Spends a lot of time thinking about how his daughter is smarter than he is. <laughs> Robert. I think he's nice, but at the same time, he's I can guarantee he's the guy that has a holding up a fish in his profile. Oh, it would be. It would be. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, like outside deck. I, I, I'm assuming that's what he means. 
Right, that's totally a dad thing to like. Want oh to yeah, build. yeah, always building. Maybe he wants decks. to call you to call him and find out, Merlin. Maybe you gotta ask. Yeah, call call Brian and find out. <laughs> uh, when the internet gains sentience and decides to destroy us oh, all, you know he'll use this information against us, right? Oh, you're one of those. <laughs> On a Friday night, he's most likely to be making a deal in an alleyway. Have it go badly. Who's the cop? Was it Gio Como? I trust the Gio Como. If he had one thing to take with him, it'd be a gun. Oh. Wow. What are his turn-ons? Don't talk to me. What did you want to be when you grow up? Drifter. <laughs> What's your favorite movie genre? Italian neorealism. What's your ideal date? Grave robbing. Oh, what? What do you never leave home without? At least four dimes. I spend a lot of time thinking about you ever really look into a rabbit animal's eyes? Oh, okay. Either, this guy's either really annoying or he's like super soft and squishy underneath his exterior. Maybe. Oh, yeah. we, we could speak to Dad Nanda more. But, you know. Oh. Oh. I was like, why is it still like highlighted? But here you go. Amanda, is that you? What are you doing on Dad Book? Why, Ivana? I never. We've known each other since business school. How could you possibly confuse me for your amazing and talented and easy to buy things for a daughter? <laughs> so I am, of course, flattered. You should buy Amanda more things. <laughs> Amanda, you know I didn't go to business school. I barely even managed to get my degree. Wait, no. Wow. I didn't say that. Oh. You never heard that. This is gold. <laughs> I was a great student, I swear. I graduated at the top of my class because I worked hard and ate all my vegetables. I'm totally ho holding on to this for later. Wait, do you remember what I majored in? I declined to comment. Cool. Conversation ended. Oh, wow. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Cute. On to Damien. Ooh, Feng Chao, what'd you get? Can we like? I love some uh, good boba tea. No, we can't. Okay. Damien Bloodmarch. How do you do? I have finally decided to join this information superhighway. I'm not entirely sure how this works, but I will try my best to understand. I love long strolls through graveyards and spending time with my son. If you would ever like to chat about the latest in Victorian fashion, the inevi inevitability of our own demise or black cats, please send me a letter. On a Friday night, he is most likely to listen to true crime podcast while he taxidermies. Dragon fruit speech. burst. Nice. <laughs> I oh recently God. got the strawberry overload. I, I think taxidermy good. is so gross. <laughs> wow. Oof. I'm not a fan of it. I have friends that are, but uh, not for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. I don't know. No, thank you. Now I just got to think of the most disturbing things to send to Brian that has to do with Dexter's outside stuff. Hey, handsome, you're handling a wood for your strong, your big strong deck has me waiting to pitch a pitch of time. Hey, yo. <laughs> wow. If you had one thing to take with you onto a desert island, what would it be? A coffin? What are his turn ons? Pronouncing. Oh, now nah, nah, I'm scared to pronounce it. Do it, do it, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Bosom. 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 Yeah. Correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Bussy. <laughs> I can pronounce that. <laughs> what did you want to be when you grow up? A bat. Blah. What's your favorite movie genre? Foreign art house horror. What's your ideal date? It's night. We are at an industrial dark wave club in Berlin. The music drums to the beat of our hearts. Okay. Cute. What do you never leave home without? An upside down cross. Yeah. Isn't an upside down cross just a cross that's upside yeah, down? Yeah, just put upside down. <laughs> To spend a lot of time thinking about mortali mortality salience. There's a lot of big words they in these games. <laughs> there, are, there, are, there are a lot of big words. It's just challenging my vocabulary. <laughs> Take my degree away. <laughs> <laughs> Damien has got to have some strong as fuck acid. He be hanging out with Edward Cullen too much. Mm. All right, Hugo Vega. Middle school teacher, high school teacher, writer of scholarly articles on 18th century literature for various esteemed publications. If you're on here to tell me that my son put a cherry bomb in your trash, I know, and I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's... On a Friday night, you're most likely to brew some strong tea and paint my miniatures. miniatures. That's cool. Ooh. Miniatures, paint minis. Wow. If he could take one thing to Desert Island, it'd be A Remembrance of Things Past by Marcel Proust. His turn-ons are muscles. Ooh. I mean, same. Is he called Hugo after Victor Hugo? Could be, mm -hmm. yeah. 
Maybe. Uh, what did you want to be when you grew up? Movie star? What's your favorite movie genre, documentaries on art history? What's your ideal date? Each of us read a different book on the opposite sides of the couch in comfortable silence. Honestly, that sounds very nice. Hmm. Um, I mean, what do you never leave home for? Yeah. I'm a stick of the mud, but he's good on paper. What do you never leave home without? My glasses, I actually forget them at home a lot. Oh. I spend a lot of time thinking about, I worry that people who are against e-readers are more in love with the idea of books than actually reading them. I actually kind of agree with that. Interesting. This guy is wholesome. Out of, yeah, out of all of them so far, he's got the he quite, goes, right? quite best profile, at least as far as, far as his profile, like interest and stuff. Yeah. yeah, at least his turn on is like an actual turn on. Yeah, right? like, yeah, like yeah, I just read Joseph's turn on and I'm screaming. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, Ooh. Okay. Joseph Christensen voted Maple Bay's number one youth minister for five years running, living in his hometown. Yeah, he was a green flag. Wife, Robert's a red flag. And they have four amazing kids. Um, if he's not in church, you can catch him out on the open water, setting sail on the seas of adventure. He loves playing the guitar and crushing his kids at Candyland. On a Friday night, he is most likely to lead the community in a fun mixer. If he had one thing to take with him on a desert island, it would be. His six string, mm, fun. his turn ons is his loving wife. Mm. Um, what did he want to be when he grew up? A ship captain, so almost a pirate. Um, his favorite movie genre is feel good movies. His ideal date is a lovely night on the town with his wife. What do we? What does he never leave home without a good book? And he spends a lot of time thinking about how he could be a better man, husband, and father. Classic. Well, Joseph, when I'm done with you, you will not be a good husband. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> so two out of three, maybe. Joseph, we're coming mm -hmm. for you. All right. So who do we want to message? Whose DMs are we sliding into? Mm. Well, I think we're gonna start the corruption. Do you want to start the corruption already? Dang. If he's the hardest to get, we got to get on that. I mean, yeah. Robert just seems like a red flag. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> red flag. Robert's a huge red flag. Yeah. <laughs> I also feel like Robert wasn't answering honestly. Yeah, he wasn't. Right? He, he was like, he started, he started, he started off with that thing about how. Yeah, but why start with lies, my dude? I know. <laughs> Still, yeah. again, a red flag. I'm sure he's a sweetheart underneath, but. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm like. He's a good person to have around as a friend and all that. Like you trust him, but you know to date. Mm -hmm. uh, like at so least so much sarcasm there before we actually get to the goods, and I'm just like, no. Nah. I don't know. He may be too <laughs> far into conspiracy theories too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait. I'm so who do we want? Matt. All right. So we have a vote for Matt, and I think it was a vote for Joseph. Mm. I'd go for Matt or Joseph. I go for Those are Matt. Good. I go for Matt or Hugo. Matt or Hugo. Mm -hmm. okay. it, it looks like we're going to try Matt, man. Let's overlap Matt, on Matt. For, let's go for a coffee boy. Let's go for coffee boy. Maluna smells it already. Eat a lot of broccoli. Eat a lot of broccoli. <laughs> Yay, coffee. I navigate to Matt's dad book page and type out a message. Hey, man. Hey, great man. getting to see you at the barbecue. We should definitely hang soon. You free later? A minute or two later, I hear a ding and see Matt's ding. response. Hey, dude, I'd be so down for that. I'm actually catching your show tonight at the Sound Garden. Want to come out? I think for a moment. Hmm. What's the Sound Garden? The Garden of Sound. It's a concert venue, but also a band that a lot of people listened to back when it was cool to have soul patches. Hmm. Oh, man, I haven't been to a real concert since Amanda was born. Am I ready for this? While I'm thinking, another message pops up on the screen. P.U.P. Pup? P.U.P. is playing tonight. Cool little indie pup, pop punk rock band out of Canada. Should be a fun one. Soundgarden like it's ancient. He makes it sound like Soundgarden is ancient. <laughs> yeah. Um, Merlin votes against Hugo. He's the exact kind of pretentious art person that he really hates. Oh. <laughs> Um, it's funny because I'm looking at Chino's chat twos and I see there's like a vote for Hugo and then a vote against. Yeah. 
Um, I didn't know you were allowed to string that many words together to describe a band. Whatever, let's get out of our comfort zone. What, what just happened? I don't know. Yeah, there was another text there. What? What? Wait, what? <laughs> there was another message. What happened? <laughs> You kind of just shut it down, dang. <laughs> yeah, did we ruin it? Just like, did we ruin it? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I log off a bad book and think for a second. Wait, when was the last time I went to a concert? I mentally backtracked decades through memories of denim jean jackets and moral panic over teenagers turning to the occult. Oh god, I had a mullet back then. Oh god, I thought it was cool. Oh god, other people thought it was cool. I finally remember the strange 80s prog rock I used to listen to. And then something in Yeah, we'll all never know. I'm sorry, Athena. We Man, couldn't get Hugo, Joseph, or uh, Matt. Okay, so I haven't been to a concert in a long time. What do you even do at concerts now? I spend most of the day pacing around the house and thinking about my relationship with coolness. I mean, I always thought I was cool at least, relative to a bunch of other dads my age. Dad, what are you doing? I look over and see Amanda at the door, just getting home from hmm. school. Her eyes are a little puffy, almost as if she'd been crying. Oh. Hey, what's wrong, Panda? I'm um, nothing. I'm fine. I just got sad because I realized that society collectively refuses to take pop music seriously, despite the fact that some of the most interesting musical innovations are coming out of that genre. Sure. <laughs> I think it's just yet another thing that we write off because we can't take young women or their interests seriously. Mm. Are we vibing with? Maybe are I'm you sure? sure that yeah. Are you sure? I feel like Noah turned her down or something like that. I don't know. If there's, you know, anything going on, I just want you to know that I'm here for you, and I'll always be here for you. Whether you need a shoulder to cry on or a strong dad to go kick someone's butt, I'm only a phone call away. Thanks, Popsicle. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, no, that's that. a cute nickname. But I'm fine, really. I'm unconvinced, but I'll stop badgering her about it. I'm sure she'll tell me when she's yeah. ready. Anyway, what's up? Mm. Amanda, how do I be cool? Mm. Let me put on a pot of coffee first. This is gonna be a long night. Oof. Oof. No, seriously, Matt invited me to a concert and I don't think I've been to one since you were born. <gasps> yeah, you have. You took me to one when I was 12, remember? I'm suddenly overwhelmed by the memory of a sea of screaming preteens. Oh, oh god, I tried so hard <laughs> to forget. <laughs> the one where I had to camp out with you in line so that you could get a good spot and then you cried and screamed the whole mm -hmm. time? Dad, it was so much more than that, and I'm not even sh ashamed to say it. Oh, you're not ashamed? You seemed pretty ashamed when I found all those drawings you made of those dancing boys kissing in your trap keeper. Ooh. Yeah, well, you didn't even find the good stuff. Hey, yo. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you should be all set for the concert if you remember that. Just bring a big glittery sign and cry a lot, and you'll fit right in. Well, it's at a smaller place, and I think Matt mentioned that they're a punk band? Mm -hmm. Like, DIY cutter punk? Thrash? Straight Edge? Come on, Dad, give me something to work with here. Mm. Are they post-punk? Proto-punk? C-punk? Jeremy punk? Who's Jeremy? <laughs> What's <laughs> Jeremy punk? <laughs> I made that one up to see if I could get away with it. Hmm. I'm learning stuff. I know, right? <laughs> I know some- Hey, I know some of those words. Hmm. They're not positive hardcore, are they? Is everything okay? Yeah, Sharana, you are- yeah, I just spilled my water. It's fine. Oh, oh, oh yeah. No. It's, it's fine. Oops. Is trash a punk genre? I'd consider it more metal. You've acquired dinner, steamed broccoli and cauliflower with eggs, and some Ritz crackers with cheese and some grapes. Ooh, Ooh. Ritz crackers sound so good right now. I love grits crackers. So good. So buttery it's goodness. So good. Uh, he said that they're... Canadian punk? Ah. Oh, yeah. He'll be fun. Does the idea of Canadian punk seem contradictory to you? 
I don't see friendship and politeness as core tenets of the punk scene. Mm. Well, punk is kind of a big genre that might not be as dangerous as you think it is. Well, let's find out, Maluna. Is punk a thing up there? Is punk what? Is punk a thing up there? In the myst mystery <laughs> land of yeah. Canada? What? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you Absolutely. guys listen to punk music? <laughs> I mean, there's definitely a subsection. But don't worry, we, they exist. <laughs> they are there. <laughs> Charvana's looking it up. <laughs> <laughs> there's so much more than just counterculture rebellion. What I'm trying to say is just enjoy the music. That's it. Hmm. I mean, yeah. It's not like you're gonna jump into the mosh pit or anything. You don't know my life. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, this is the Sum Forty One and Simple Planner from Canada. Wait, are they yes? really? Uh, no. I think so yeah, there's a couple <laughs> of surprising names. Wow, fancy. Man, so yeah, I have them. Don't worry, we exist. <laughs> <laughs> we exist. <laughs> we are here. Yeah, I, I, I knew. I, 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 I knew it was a thing. I just wanted to fuck with Beluda. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, just that's think of which was exactly off the top of my head, but I was like, I know there's like some surprising names out there that you're like, wait a minute, really? Yeah, that's fair. I just am not very versed in where people are from. Interesting. Like, Interesting. <laughs> And if a strange dude in a set your goals hoodie offers you to buy offers to buy you merch, don't accept it and definitely don't go on three awful dates with him afterwards where he takes you to a nice restaurant and then forgets his wallet literally three times in a row. What? Huh. Never mind. Just have a blast tonight. I show up at the coffee spoon at eight in what I hope is content appropriate attire. I see Matt out front. Locking the door to the shop. Hey, hey you made it. You <laughs> ready for tonight? Yes, of course. I definitely know what I'm talking about. Ready? I was I, born ready. I'm going to go ready. I was born ready. That's me. <laughs> all right. All right. Is that two vo votes for born ready? Mm -hmm. It's got to be that one or well, it's been a while. Okay. Uh, let's go born ready. All right. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> any situation, any outcome, I can handle it. I sleep with one eye open. I am prepared to kill. Are you? <laughs> oh, 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 wait, wait. Born ready was good enough for me. I know. I didn't say anything about <laughs> born to kill. What is it? Yeah, right, right. Oh. When did that happen? Well, no. no. Matt didn't like that. Nope. No. no, he did not. Well, that's a him problem. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know, like, come on. Man, I really want to see what's under that shirt, too. <laughs> yeah, just, oh. Oh. Like, <laughs> chance. Oh, man, I gotta admit, I haven't been to a real concert since per Pet Rocks were cool. I have no idea what I'm in for. Oh. Did your daughter make you her, make you take her to one of those boy band concerts where everybody holds signs and screams and cries? Yeah. I got two lined up next month. I still can't get the glitter out of my car from the last one. <laughs> Stay strong. Hey. Uh, but dude. I get to take you to your first concert in a long time. This is gonna be awesome. Just hang with me, Ovana, and you'll be good. This scene is super supportive. It'll be a blast. Quick question. Oh. Shoot. What is scene? Uh, uh, <laughs> All of us just like collectively Facebook. You kind of did. Oh my god. Matt lets out a tiny laugh. Oh, uh, sorry, sorry. It's just weird because scene can describe a music scene as it pertains to a community of people who like the same genre. 
but can also describe a genre of music no one wants to admit they were into. Matt looks off into the middle, off into middle distance. He says nothing, but I can tell he's thinking never again. That's confusing. Hey. You'll get it. The important thing tonight is just to enjoy yourself. Come on, let's head to the show. After waiting in a short line to get in, we finally find ourselves in a small venue with a stage at one end and a bar at the other. Most people here are closer to Amanda's age than mine. I suddenly feel very out of place. My waiting youth is showing. I am suddenly aware of my mortality. <laughs> when were the good years of my life? Will Amanda still love me as we both grow older? Wait, is C Punk actually a genre? <laughs> Ooh, we have a new voice. Who wants to take it? Oh. Shavana Maluna? You cast. I cast? I don't know who this is, so uh, let's go with Shavana. Let's go. Matt, you made it. What? What? A younger kid runs up and high fives Matt. Mm. The kid runs off and Matt turns to me shuddering. <laughs> <laughs> I get nervous when people surprise high five me. Me too. Hey, uh... I'm like a small animal. Loud noises in large groups of people. Something, something. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I accidentally clicked. They frightened me. <laughs> <laughs> I like moved, I went to like move my arm and my finger was like, okay, click. It's okay, it's okay. I have your your uh, stream up so I, I caught the last part of the, <laughs> the sentence. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, do you also enjoy curling up in a patch of sunlight to take a nap? Oh, that's my favorite thing to do. How'd you know? A couple other people noticed that Matt's in the crowd and y'all hey as well. Hey. hey. Matt waves and hugs a couple people. <laughs> he seems really in his element here. Aw. Hey. Matt turns his attention back to me. Hmm. Ah, I'm so afraid of all of these people. <gasps> wow. Oh. <gasps> Is he the crier? I think he's the crier. Oh, he's no. the emotional one. <laughs> ah. Let's go grab a beer. Matt and I line up at the bar in the back where a couple of the older concert goers hang out. A couple more people notice Matt and tip their drinks at him. Seems like you're a popular guy out here. Ah, uh, yeah. I go to a lot of shows. It's a really cool spot. Oh. But it's, what just happened? But it's times like this where I realize I can only be charming and funny for about five minutes before I run out of stuff to talk about. And then I become keenly aware of where my hands are. Hmm. And that, that that's there's no comfortable place in your mouth for your tongue to rest. <laughs> Yo, he got some serious anxiety. Uh. <laughs> God damn it, where do I put my tongue? <laughs> See? <laughs> Like I never thought about it this way before. Oh, I shouldn't be. I shouldn't think about it. I actually shouldn't think about it. <laughs> well, I've known you for more than five minutes, and I still think you're charming and funny. <laughs> well, just you wait. <laughs> Matt, my mouth would be a comfortable place to rest your tongue. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Tongue goes to the ceiling of the mouth, no? <laughs> Hello, Hello, welcome on in. <laughs> welcome, welcome. We grab our drinks. This scene seems really friendly. I don't know why people wouldn't want to admit that they listen to it. <laughs> oh, sweetie. Let's check out the merch. <laughs> hey. Matt and I walk over to a small booth in a corner of the room where a crusty looking teenager crusty <laughs> 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 It's crusty looking. <laughs> um a cards a selection of shirts and records. He singles me out from across the room and hops up on his chair. Malone, you wanna do this voice? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Be as crusty as possible. The crustiest. <laughs> you have to what? <laughs> you have to be as crusty, be as, crusty as, possible. as possible. 
Oh dear lord, I don't know, man. Oh my god, Merlin, do not apologize. I love degenerates. Did you not hear my sound command, sir? <laughs> the sound command is curse. <laughs> oh god. Step on up, get your merch here. I got t shirts, I got tank tops, I got all the gifts and accoutrements and discerning concert goer of considerable taste in my wine. You. I just I just said to myself, my face flushing red. Yes, you. You look like a fella who knows their music. It has about a fine, twelve-inch long playing vinyl record made and distributed by Pop Canada's premier punk rock outfit. Oh God! What did I walk into? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't question it. <laughs> Don't question it. <laughs> That's why I am so sorry. You did not hear what you just heard. I swear. Johnny <laughs> uh, Ho, good sir. Johnny Ho, good sir. <laughs> Tally Ho, good no. sir. Is that what we yeah. like? Because that's what I like. Oh, that's you know what? Good. Sure, go for it. Yeah. Well, see here, fine shopkeep. Your enthusiastic salesmanship has aroused my interest and suspicion in equal parts. <laughs> How can I, a consumer of the finer goods in life, <laughs> trust your wares to be a true of spirit? Oh, God. A fine question from a discerning patron. Pablo. Okay, Pablo. You can see, give it a rest. He likes, he likes it. it! You can give it a rest. Let's Yay. go, that work! Yesterday I went into someone's stream and they were talking about vaginal teeth. I'm not sure if this is better. Oh, <laughs> oh. Oh. Whoa. It really depends on who's on my stream. I might get into that conversation. Oh, because I think it wasn't mine. Was, did I saw I know I thought about teeth yesterday. Wait. <laughs> you're good. You're good. <laughs> oh god. It, it depends on who's on my channel. Sometimes I'm down to have that kind of conversation. Well, there's a there's a movie called Teeth Literally. But, yeah, uh, yeah. Teeth. Mm, teeth are weird. <laughs> the teen hops off his chair and takes a seat. Your friend looks lost, so I figured I'd give him the old razzle dazzle. How the hell are you, Matt? <laughs> day by day, my man. They do that thing where they high five, but also turn it into a hug. Oh. Wait, who does that? I'm confused. What? Your mom doing better after last night? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh more like a clap. She's still single. If you want to be my dad, I can make that connect. Oh wait, I was kind of kidding. I was, I was kidding about that day. <laughs> oh, and have to deal with you every single day. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be the bro hug, but I don't really consider that a high five. It's like the secret handshake. Hmm. Uh, fair enough. Who's your bed? Ah, hey. oh, that's Ovana. I thought I'd bring out a concert, pal. Pablo leans close to Matt. Is Ovana cool? Looks like he's like oh. caressing his cheek. For real. <laughs> right? <laughs> Matt eyes me. I I am back. Hmm. He cracks a smile. Hey dude. Ooh. Girl, I was already drinking. <laughs> mm. Do it again. <laughs> More water. Matt was making me thirsty. I had to like drink a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, thank you for the hydrate. Pablo brings me in for a bro hug. My dude. I'm not sure what to say, but give the courtesy two pats on the back as is customary in our society for people that you don't know super well but still want to be friendly to. Oh, Pablo's a total card. Kid plays the heck out of a base. Oh my god, Chino, I love your chibi. It's so oh, cute. <laughs> so, well, someone redeemed it, so I had to <laughs> get out of here. It's so cute. Oh, thank you. I love his little. I love his little jacket. Yeah, the blue accents on it, so nice. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. When are we starting our witch house band? Witch house. Oh. 
You know I'm out of the game. It's a shame. You know. <laughs> you know Vacant Veil when it's slayed. Vacant Veil. <laughs> It'll slay once you start actually making music instead of just printing out a bunch of band shirts. <laughs> we got the sickest logo. While Matt and Pablo talk, I check out the merch. These shirts are really nice. I can't get over it. Hey, I, it's fair. That's fair. Pablo's stomach. It looks really dirty. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> looks like the like, Pablo needs to take a shower. Oof, yeah. It doesn't look like he's he's washed that thing in a it's while. The it's the t-shirt for me. If he changed shirts, he'd be fine. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You can see like there's a stain running down from like the center down to the very bottom. Mm -hmm. Looks like the openers Again, are if you coming just put, on. Like, a normal shirt on here, you can. Let's get a spot a spot up close. Trusty looking was his descriptor. That's true. Oh. Matt and I walk over to the stage where a crowd begins to form. The band walks on stage and picks up a variety of strange instruments. Is that a harpist harp harpsichord? The lead singer addresses the crowd. He has a mandolin slung behind his back. A mandolin. Hey, what's up, everybody? With Don we're Jonathan Jones and the Speakeasy Choir. My name's Daniel. Let's start the show. Oh, no. These guys. <laughs> Oof. Harpsichord? What? Mandolin? So who is the daddy and who is looking for him? We are all looking for a daddy. <laughs> He's one of them. <laughs> Without time to respond, the band starts playing the most cacophonous noise I've ever heard. What is this? <laughs> Matt doesn't say anything. He just hands me earplugs. Dang! Ew! I put the earplugs in, and whatever the hell is assaulting my ears gets a lot quieter. Yeah, we haven't officially chosen a daddy. If a band is bad, they sure do seem to be <laughs> having fun. I guess that's what really matters. <laughs> Jesus, did the, cel the, did the cellist just break his bow in half? I don't get this. <laughs> The set seems to go on forever. There's no breaks in the song, and I think one of the band members' jobs is specifically just to burn poetry on stage. <laughs> I turn to Matt and try to start a conversation. So you go to a lot of concerts out here, huh? <laughs> what? Do we ask again, or do we drop it? Ask, ask again. again. So you go to a lot of concerts out here, huh? What? Oh god. Drop <laughs> it. Ask again. Ask again. He's gonna scream out with the silence. So oh, no. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. <Right>. Okay. <laughs> Ew, this music. I don't pop grab Oh god. Those fuckers are expensive as fuck. <laughs> Matt turns his attention back to the show. He can't hear me, so I just stop and try to enjoy the music. Oh, God. That's like an interesting show to see, not if they're an open at all. Do you guys hear this mess? This what is, is going not, on? This is... Ugh. I don't know. Are they killing a cat right now? <laughs> <laughs> Hide in me. Hide in me, stat. Oh, she's already hiding. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, no, this is impossible. How long have they been playing this same song? <laughs> 10 minutes? 20? A year? A year? Eventually, eventually, the set ends. But only after the drummer sprays his ankle joint, he stacks him up. <laughs> Why is the drummer. God, wait, oh my what? Oh my <laughs> his God. saxophone solo. <laughs> they promised it was part of the act as he was carried off stage crying. Matt and I both pull out our earplugs. <laughs> Man, that was uh, something. I promise PUP <laughs> is much better. <laughs> I just have a lot of questions that I don't know of, I never get the answer to. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. He sprains his ankle at every show. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> they were being oh real upset. They were being real about that. Dang. Thanks, Merlin. Lord. The dedication, though. Hey. 
Uh, let's grab let's another grab beer. Hey, you Damn whoa. it! Oh, hot. Wow. <laughs> oh, Hana, stealing my lines. <laughs> Maluna, I'm just jumping on everyone's line. Mal Maluna, I, I, you can read everything. That's okay. I know. I didn't want to. I, didn't like I wanted to read it anyway. Let's go grab another beer. <laughs> Hana, wow. <laughs> Matt and I work our way out of the crowd and back to the bar. More and more people file into the concert space as it gets closer to the main act. It's getting kind of crowded Siraj, in here. yeah, sorry, no yeet. We grab our beers and I try to follow Matt back to our spot. But there are so many people that I'm having a hard time keeping up. As I work my way through the thongs of excited concert goers, I realize I've lost Matt entirely. I stop and look around, seeing nothing but a sea of hip 20-somethings. I'm lost. How am I ever going to find Matt here? Where's the exit? Are there even exits? What if I'm trapped in this building forever? Am I going to see my daughter ever again? What if that terrible band gets back on stage? What if... <laughs> Suddenly, a hand reaches out to grab me. It's you Matt. It all. Hey. <laughs> Almost lost you, buddy. Ooh, I got really nervous for a second there. Hey. You and me both, dude. He takes my hand and leads me back towards the stage. I can feel myself blushing a little. We finally settle back into our spot and wait for the band to start. Busy place, huh? Hey. Yeah, PvP really brings out the crowd. So you go to concerts a lot? Hey. Oh yeah, it's one of my absolute favorite things in the world. I think it's one thing to listen to music and connect with it. But when you're in a room full of people connecting with the music just the same way that you are, that's magic, man. I suddenly have the urge to pee. Curse this tiny dad bladder. <laughs> I've never heard it put that way. That's really beautiful. Also, I have to pee. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, man. They're about to go on. They're about to go on. I squeezed my way out of the crowd towards the restroom. I really should have gone before I left the house. But Amanda was watching beauty videos in the bathroom. <laughs> she had an eyeliner wig going halfway across her face, which was actually a pretty good look. I'm so proud of her. Oh god, they were in over. <laughs> I make it to the restroom finally, but it's one of those single person restrooms with a line forming outside of it. As soon as I finish my business, the band starts. Crap. The people that were initially milling around the venue all crowd up against the stage as Pup plays their first song. How am I ever going to find Matt now? Go ask your oh? mother. Go ask your mother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is this? Oh. Then why are there pills all over the... Oh. <laughs> I, I want to say those are... Bottles? Oh stuff. my god. Ooh. I believe in you. Oh yeah. no! Oh, you're God. running into them. Oh no! Oh no! 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 We worked really hard Ooh. to lock it down for Ooh, this heart. Oh, good, good, good. I don't know where I'm going. Holy, okay, okay. Why y'all zooming? Why y'all zooming? They're zoomers, and you're a boomer. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> Song that you're listening to. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this? The heart, heart, heart. Dang it. Ah. Uh. Oh my god, they're talking about us. Yeah, it said something about streamers. Yeah, right? it's like so that we yeah. won't uh, content ID. Uh, co you know, streamer, streamer, friendly, oh god, oh god. I love the streamer friendly end of Monster Camp song. I think it's so cute. Pup and their song called DVP. <laughs> DVP. DVP. The song is great and the video is tight. Yes, take it from Ooh. me. <laughs> okay. It's like footage of NES and Hey, 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 <laughs> hey. Whoa, like chill. God, this place is gigantic. Jeez. Just got 30 seconds left. Wow. 
So we added the song oh, no. that you're listening to right now. Here. Don't you think it's better than risking content ideas? <laughs> <laughs> to you streamers <laughs> and let's players, I have one decree. Please check out the band called Pup and their song DVP. I survived the crowd! Yeah, let's go! Nice. Hey, hey, yeah. hey. Ba -ba -ba. What'd I get? I got an ass no. blast! Pop, pop, let's go! Hey. Heck yeah! Don't eat too close what to your bedtime! I'm finally able to work my way through the crowd to where Matt originally was, but he's nowhere to be found. Shoot! Well, I guess I should keep looking. I'm bumped into from behind, and I keep myself in the middle of a bunch of youths running around in a circle to the music. I'm in the pit. How do I get out of the pit? Out of nowhere, you shoulders himself into me, and he keeps moving into the circle. Hey! I guess I'm moving in the circle now. I frantically search for a way out, but all I can see is an ocean of youths rhythmically slamming into each other. I love imagining them slamming into each other this song specifically. <laughs> How the fuck do you circle pit to this music? This music is the stream, the streamer friendly, friendly music. Oh, that's true. You switched it to uh, streamer. No, it's it's uh, it's specific for stream. Yeah, uh, I, I I switched it to streamer mode. That's smart. That's so smart. Um, that's why. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, I guess Pup is actually a real band. It's telling us to check out their music. Yeah. 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 So Pup is actually. <laughs> oh, a real yeah, band oh my god, these lyrics out. are so good. <laughs> <laughs> I frantically <laughs> yeah. the way out, but all I could see is an ocean of youths rhythmically slamming into each other. Another youth slams into me and I lose my balance. I'm about to topple over. This is it. This is how I die. Trampled so under the boots of counter culture. Who grabs my hand? Someone familiar. Right I look up at T Matt. He pulls Don't me back up onto my feet. <laughs> You're wild. Ooh, dude. Oh. Oh. Bang. Matt throws his arm around me and we jump back into the circle, bashing into use left and right as Pop plays a killer circle. <laughs> I didn't know you messed with the pit. Let's go. <laughs> me neither. I can't believe this. I'm having fun. I'm a little mad that I didn't stretch before physical activity, but I'm having fun. The song ends and the pit finally dissipates. Everyone cheers on Pop. That was a beautiful that was, ending. That was wonderful. Like, yeah, that's right. Mm. For the, the song saying stop. Oh, I know. The word saying stop. Good. Maybe I only got enough pit energy for one song. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Let's retreat. We'll show these kids how it's done another day. Pup sounds more like circle pit music. Hey. We work our way back to a more comfortable spot in the crowd and enjoy the rest of the show from a safe distance. Pup puts on an amazing set and basically had to beg themselves off stage after the encore. <laughs> With the concert over, the crowd starts making their way to the exit. Hey, I'll meet you outside. <laughs> Gotta say bye to a couple of people. I hang outside of the venue until Matt finally shows up. Hey man, thanks for waiting. Got you a present. T-shirt. <gasps> Matt hands me the T-shirt I was looking. I, I was looking at earlier. Whoa! Thanks, man. Hey. Saw you eyeballing it back at the merch booth with the crusty teenager. <laughs> 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 and I mean, anyone who tears it up that hard on their first time back to a concert deserves a reward. I wonder if we we got the. The eggplants and stuff because of the mini game. Yeah, I think so. Probably due to the grade we got. Yeah, so like maybe if I had failed. Yeah, probably. The use will finally accept me. Amanda will love this. I'm never taking this off. Mm. What are we going with? <laughs> it's got to be one or three. Yeah, I'm leaning towards three. Seems like really nice. Yeah. All right. Excitement. I will continually wear it until it is tattered and a little smelly so that I can truly embody <laughs> Ooh, we have a new voice. Who wants to take it? <laughs> Char? Hey, Matt. Oh. Hey, it's Pop. Wait, he knows the band? Hold oh, up. Oh, oh, okay. Apparently. Have a good night. Thank you so much for hanging out. 
Good night, Espa. Yes, have a good night. Hey, dude, didn't realize you were here. It's literally just the whole band. Wait, is that okay. actually literally just the whole I wonder band? If that probably is. They're all speaking in unison. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look them up. I wanna see yeah. if that's how they look. <laughs> well, they all speak it in unison. Hey, dude, didn't realize you were here. All in unison together. <laughs> Oh my god, Pup is actually short for pathetic use of potential. <laughs> you know what? This is how they look. <gasps> that actually wow. is! Hold on! Wow. That is how they look. They just straight up put him in the game. That's wild. <laughs> that must be an honor for them. That's rad. I wonder if they're friends. Hey. I'm so glad I could make it. You guys put on a great show. Thanks. Hey. Well, see you around. <laughs> Starstruck. Wait. You know Pop? Hey. Oh, yeah. I met him a couple of times when they first started touring. Good kids. Well. Hey. Uh, come on. Let's grab some diner food. Ooh, a show and and some dinner. Let's go. Wow. Knows how to treat it and treat a guy. I'm just saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm about to replicate that sound alert for him. <laughs> I suddenly realized just how hungry I am. Man, mosh pits take a lot out of you. Matt and I walk to a tiny little diner with a cute neon sign. We tear into some bacon and. <laughs> 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 yes, yeah, that one. Uh, we tear into some bacon and eggs in a co corner booth. Oh. So there I am, in the pit, trying to explain to the face tattoo guy that I didn't mean to elbow him in the face tattoo, but he's already seen red. I mean, not from the face tattoo, which coincidentally was red. All right, so he's lumbering towards me, and there's nowhere to go. Oh. It's the end for me, right? Then, out of nowhere, I get this idea. I just lean back, spread my arms, just like that. Crowd surfing away <laughs> from him, slow motion. Should have looked, should have seen the look on his face. <laughs> That's pretty badass. That's rad. That's so cool. Hey, hey bought him a beer afterwards. We were cool. We still follow each other on social media. He has beautiful kids. Glad you guys worked it out. I know, right? Hey. Yeah, man. Just goes to show you that Punk's not dead. It just drives a minivan and has to hire a babysitter. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so how did you get to see all of those amazing concerts? Oh, uh, I used to tour in a band. We were small, but it got us all around the states. Whoa. Oh, man. Yeah. I mean, we were poor, and we had to scrape a lot together just to survive. But I wouldn't trade those experiences for anything. Hey. But yeah. That's how I knew a bunch of those people at the show. Music like this builds an amazing community. Especially in a town like this. Just a lot of positive energy and good vibes. I got that feeling. Plenty of friendly people, especially that Pablo kid. Hey. Oh man, everybody loves Pablo. His mom's been raising him on her own. You can tell that it's been tough on both of them. I know he looks up to me, so I try to help him out whenever I can. That's really nice of you. Oh. Yeah, thanks. Those single parents just really have to look out for each other. How old is his kid? I don't know. I don't think they said. Mm, I'm guessing. A... How's Carmen Tita? Hmm. She says she wants to learn the drums. She she's probably like maybe 14, 15. She looks like in between um, Brian's kid and our kid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would say so. Yeah. Oh boy. Hey, yeah. <laughs> It'll be loud. And I'll need to take a lot of aspirin, but I'll manage. Can't really blame her. I'm suddenly very grateful that all of my daughter's hobbies are super quiet. Photography, collaging, whatever it is that she does on the internet. Thanks, Amanda. Mm. I'm 
trying to be supportive of Carmencita's uh, rebellious phase, but I guess that can kind of defeats the purpose of it, doesn't it? I think it would be a good daddy-daughter activity to find something to rebel against together. The machine. I mean, like what? Fashion, consumerism, hmm. big budget remakes of foreign films. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Remakes. All right, remakes. <laughs> Let them be originals. I'm surprised. I'm, I'm surprised there wasn't consumerism one of them like say. the man or something like that. You know, consumerism. I'd say is the man. Mm. Yeah, I would say consumerism is like the man. Well, the last two. Fashion's fun. Fashion's forever. Yeah, fashion's great. Mm -hmm. Why would you rage against fashion? I rage against fashion. <laughs> rage against consumerism. Or... All right, so remix or consumerism? Hmm. I don't care. <laughs> Either one of those mm -hmm. are great. I don't know. Uh, consumerism. I don't know. Okay. Why do we gotta get up early the day after Thanksgiving and line up to buy things? Why can't we, like, share things? Hmm. Comrade, you're speaking of <laughs> dangerous things here. <laughs> he and I laugh. We keep digging into our big plates of greasy dining Delicious. Food. The breakfast I ordered for dinner is absolutely hitting the spot. I would never. I hate breakfast for dinner. What? I love Brenner. I love breakfast food. Uh, I just don't like Any time of day. I, I just don't like breakfast food in general. <laughs> so. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan. Like. Oh, bacon, hash right. brown, pancakes. Mm. Oh, we were, oh, man. I just got done um, listening to that part in our video where we were discussing pancakes and stuff. It was great. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, I can't wait for those videos. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, for your, your, your podcast, right? Yeah, yeah, our Power Wash podcast thing. Power Wash Power Hour. <laughs> <laughs> Being a single dad is rough sometimes. It's a lonely feeling. I understand that all too well. I mean, at least we have the rest of the dads to talk to. True. Yeah, I just... I don't know. Mm. I get really nervous sometimes talking to people. Ooh, it's getting serious. Matt gets nervous talking to people, but he's so he's cool. So cool. <laughs> Me too. I've never really considered myself an extrovert and never really considered myself an introvert. I'm just uncomfortable in every situation <laughs> always. Hey, yeah. uh, just like me, for real. Uh, you're fine. You're actually really easy to talk to, you know that? I smile. Matt and I spend the rest of the night trading daughter stories. Turns out our kids are a lot alike. We finish up our late night dinners and head out. Aww. We walk back to the cul-de-sac, back to our respective houses. Oh. Tonight was a blast, man. Loved it. Although I'm probably gonna feel it in my knees in the morning. <laughs> you and me both. I, uh, don't usually like going to these things alone. It was really cool to have you there with me. I'm glad. Hmm. All right. I'm calling it quits for the night. Stay cool, man. He called me He's cool. He's so cool. Matt called me cool. He's so cool. He don't cool. All right. I think we should stop there. So that we could um, uh, um, close things out oh, wow. and then raid out, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it yeah, is yeah. almost eight thirty, so. Dang, time flies. I just gotta save it a million times. Give me a second. <laughs> just to make sure. Just to make sure. <laughs> Feel that. Just to make sure. Right? Let's don't see if forget we can get another day to come finish. Don't forget to floss every day. <laughs> oh, true, true. All of our daddies. Dream Look at daddy. Them all. <laughs> oh god, this Look intro. Daddy. Oh.
right. Let me lower this music down a little bit. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for hanging out today. I had a lot of fun. Oh, thank you for inviting us. This is amazing. Yeah, thanks for Absolutely. having us. Thanks for, for having this pride celebration for us. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I haven't done yes. enough for it. So thank you. It, yeah, it was fun being a little degenerate with you guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dad tip number five. Everybody needs to know how to use power tools. There you go. God. Perfect. I think I, I'm, yes, I'm going to go you. back like... and clip the part where we're all doing the dad puns. Ugh. <laughs> At the barbecue. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> oh my god, that part was so rough. <laughs> it, but it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. It'd be cool if we could finish it. Yeah, we at least got to go on one maybe, date. That was maybe, nice. maybe try to pick up somebody else um, to uh, add to the voices. <laughs> because there are just so many voices. I swear. Yeah, it was a lot to read. This is definitely better. I swear, when we come back, I'm going to forget uh, what voices I gave everybody. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you're, gonna just, you're just gonna have to watch. Sure, sure. We're just gonna revoice, like we're just gonna give everybody different voices. Who can recast everybody? Like, all right, let's switch up. I'm gonna be Brian this yeah. time. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> have you been a good little boy? <laughs> <laughs> all right, Chino, do you know who you're gonna read into? Um, I'm thinking about uh, well, Ray is doing some of her own art on stream right now. Ray Star cosplay, Ooh. love her. Oh. I she does art. Well, she, yeah, right now she's doing they do like her shoes of her own actual art. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's super cool. She's super amazing. Well, I'm down to double rate. Yes, love doing the double rates. <laughs> Sick, yes. I actually don't follow Ray, so I'll drop her a follow after. Yeah, yeah, I'll just, I happen I'll just throw, into, throw it into chat real quick. Bam. <laughs> oh, no, I picked it up already. Oh, fair, fair. <laughs> be your dream sorry this music yeah is... i saw she was in your chat so yeah i love her this is good music right actually it's so good really music. it is good they did a they put a lot yeah, of work into this game by the way they yeah did. they did they I did they did characters super their own character too mm -hmm. yeah yeah i i absolutely adore the characters i think they're great yeah. Um, like Amanda is such a good character. Oh my gosh, Amanda yes. is amazing. Man, she's amazing. Yeah. She's so fun. Yeah, I want to know what's wrong with her. Yeah, mm -hmm. like, why did she come home crying? Well, <laughs> after, like, you know, super puffy around the eyes, too. Well, yeah. I feel like it's got to be... Ha it, it has something to do with that ultra-specific scenario she gave us where she went out with a date with <laughs> three times and this guy forgot his wallet three, three times. times my goodness Ugh. it's gotta be boy troubles it has to yeah. be but i feel like it's boy troubles as well yeah it could be the whole like college don't know where you're going for college true yeah all that well i true. mean she did get rejected too so she probably doesn't know what to do and she's probably seeing like everybody getting excited for all the places that they're going to and she doesn't have a place yeah. I wonder that's probably the biggest thing. I forgot that like she got rejected like at the beginning, and that's probably when school started to drop off. Maybe. Oh. I kind of wonder if there's like uh, just one problem that she has, or depending on which daddy you start to date, she has different problems. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. interesting. That could be interesting. Wow. That would be really in depth for this week. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Ah. Uh, well, I'm gonna start preparing preparing things on my end so I can read out. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So we're gonna go say hi to Ray. Yeah, let's say hi to Ray. Let's go say hi to Ray. Awesome. But before you guys go, I also want to throw out some shouties for you. <gasps> thank you so much. Thank murder you, by numbers. You. What, Charvana? What is murder by numbers? I'm a mystery streamer, so it's uh, a murder mystery encompassing around a lot of nonograms on this one. Ooh. Huh. So, <laughs> That's yeah, cool. Kind of like a, a harder Sudoku, if you will. But Interesting. Community loves it! Interesting. <laughs> That's and I really cool. enjoy them, so, so it, I love, since love murder you're it with such. murder mysteries, do you have your own like magnifying glass and hat? 
I do. <gasps> you do? You I really? Have a hat. Oh. I do have a magnifying glass in front of me. Oh, that is so. Yeah, that is, my numbers is fun. That is so on brand. I love that. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Um, before before we go, um, will the three of you like to um, let us know if you have any special events coming up? Um, I'd love to see, hear what's on your ca- um, your schedule coming up soon. Um, we can start with Shavana. Okay. Um, uh-huh. I am still playing so a bunch of follow. Rare by Numbers, which is what I just was talking about. <laughs> Merlinovich. Right. Thank you. So- Welcome to the Shinobi Squad. And also, uh, this weekend, I will be a part of a raid train <gasps> on the 25th. That should be really, really fun. The summer, uh, summer streamers raid train, and I have a special announcement <gasps> on that day. So Ooh, Ooh, excitement! Be sure to check Ooh, that out, you guys. That's a secret right now. <laughs> I'm excited for your special announcement. Mm-hmm. I hope I can catch your stream. You said it's on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Twenty fifth. Mm-hmm. Nice. Oh, I can't catch your stream. Uh, <laughs> no. uh, uh, I will say why shortly. But, um, Maluna, your turn. Uh, just kind of going through Berseria now. Getting back into Stardew every now and again. Yay. Uh, changed all my mods again, so, you know, it all looks all different. Um, and then also in the summer raid train, uh, but on the 28th. Nice. Mm. Kind of closer to my regular time, so. Yeah, you're, you're early in the morning, right? Yeah. yeah that's true. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. It's 10 for me, so an hour earlier than normal. That's it. Ah, you can do it. <laughs> yeah, we got this. We got this. You It'll got be a fun time. Probably just going to go through Missouri on that day. I'm not too sure yet. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm doing anything special for mine either. No, I think it would be pretty casual, you know. I get that. No. Yep. How about you, Shino? Oh, um, well, tomorrow, uh, around my same time, I'm probably going to finish up the last bit of my Legend of Dragoon series. So I'm excited about that. I'm like right at the end, I feel. And then after that, okay. obviously, Final Fantasy 16 comes out. So I'm going to be going on that on Sunday. Heck yeah, that's awesome. So excited. Oh, I'm excited for you. Yeah. Hope you enjoy it. Yeah, and then obviously my normal uh, Honkai Star Rail stuff. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you guys all for joining me today. Mm-hmm. It was a lot of fun for sure. Happy Pride, everyone. Yeah, happy, happy Pride. Pride. <laughs> yes. As for me, in terms of special events, Ooh, yes. um, I, have a, I, have, I have a couple things coming up. I'm also a part of that summer streaming um, raid train. My slot is next Friday, um, June 30th. I'll be going at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And as I said, I don't think I'm doing anything special. I think I'm just going to play Tra- Trails to Azure. Unless I'm like really, really close to the end. At that point, maybe I'll switch because I don't want to do like heavy spoilers. Um, but other than that, I'm probably just going to play a regular game. Um, but besides that, this Sunday, um, June 25th is my charity stream. Ooh, okay. um, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Um, I am participating in a um, charity initiative with several um, other um streamers um for the national children's alliance um we will be um raising money for their gonna grow fast campaign which leads into their help kids heal campaign but it celebrates sonic's birthday it'll be my first time playing sonic i'm very very excited um but i have my incentives up on screen um you know it'll be i'll be starting at 11 a.m eastern time going for 12 hours um, I'm very, very excited. Afterwards, we'll be raiding into somebody else who is doing a Sonic stream. Um, I do not know who that person is yet. It's not a raid train, um, but they'll, I believe there'll be someone um, streaming by the time I get off. So um, I saw that there's a few people starting at 8 p.m. So um, I'm very excited for it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, for every donation I receive during the 12 hour stream, I will be donating one pinwheel. Um, to a local children's advocacy center um, in that person's chosen name. It could be your Twitch name or your real name. Um, yeah, like your real first name. I don't want your full name. Um, <laughs> but um, <laughs> uh, I'm very excited. I think it's going to be really cute. The children advocacy center is very, very excited to get the pinwheels. I'm excited to deliver them. I um, mean, we have some cool milestones planned out, um, including um, w- which... Um, this is for my $500 goal for the stream. Um, if we get to it, 
my next 24 hour stream which will be my birthday stream um will become a 30 hour stream so that's gonna be 30 30 30 hours of me not sleeping but on top of that 30 hours of collabs so sharvana maluna shino get ready okay Ooh, that's how it's gonna be let's go because you guys are obviously on my list <laughs> uh, um but besides that for every 25 dollars i reach um i'll be doing something that you guys might know um you might have seen uh sharvana do it as well um i'll be uh eating spicy beans oh no oh no the spicy beans. um yes i'm not excited so but for every $25 um, each, I'll eat one spicy bean. Um, and we'll see how that goes because I don't do well with spice. Um, but yeah, I, th I think that's everything. Those are all the special events I have planned. Um, yeah, I'm scared. I'm going to have milk right next to me. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <or something>. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, one more time. Thank you guys so much for joining me. No, thank you. Thank you so much for having us. Uh, all right, how about we go raid out? Let's do it. Let me go. Let me give one more shout out to Raystar Cosplay. This is who we'll be raiding out to. It'd be good if I take up my incentives. Um, <laughs> if you are lurking and or watching the VOD, um, just uh, make sure to check Ray out. You can click that link right there in chat. Yeah. YB, hello. Thank you for stopping uh, in at the end. Anyway, I, I also put it. my own um, <laughs> um, uh, raid messages. Here copy are and paste. our raid messages. Go ahead and show them love. The top one is for sub users. The bottom one is for everybody same, else. Same, same. Um, use whichever one works for you. Yay. Yeah, yeah. um, and I'll see you guys on the raid. All right. See you later. See you later. Bye. Bye. Happy raid. Happy pride. Yay. That was fun. All right. You guys know the deal. Thank you guys so much. You guys are so wonderful. Uh, I love you all. Um, make sure... Oh, let's turn to our regular thing. But yes, tomorrow we're going to be playing the rest of uh, Legend Dragoon. And yeah. I'll see you guys then. And I'll see you guys on the other side. All right. Bye.